Okay, this is Matthew Rose. We're an 18 year old kid who lives in London at home with their parents. We're unemployed and our dream is to become a professional footballer. We're currently a youth player for EFL League 2 side Salford City and we play as a box to box midfielder. And having just turned 18, Salford City manager Neil Wood has invited us to train with the first team to see if we're good enough to become a professional footballer. And we just got news that Salford City co-owners Gary Neville and David Beckham will be in attendance for this season's first training session. This is the biggest moment of our life and we're freaking out. Like if we don't play good enough, don't get signed to a professional contract, our dream will be lost and we'll be forced to go work at McDonald's. Like this is our one chance. We just can't mess this up. Yep, that is right. Welcome to our brand new FIFA 23 My Player Career Mode series. And you have never seen a My Player like this. We're going to see the life of Matthew Rose on and off the pitch with storylines, life and career decisions, family, and ultimately trying to achieve our dream of becoming a professional footballer. So Matthew Rose, an 18 year old midfielder from London, 5'10 height. We're box to box. So we defend, we attack, we score goals, we assist, intercept preventing goals the whole midfield that is our role like pretty much just an all-rounder if you guys like the sound of that and want to see more of this then drop this video a like down below it's time for the biggest moment of matthew rose's life all right today is the day we woke up ate a great breakfast okay not that great we did some push-ups looked into our own soul trying to prepare ourselves for the biggest training session of our life but it's time we grabbed our stuff said bye to the parents and head off for training now the main events for today are two 11 v 11 training matches at salford city stadium it's free attendance for fans one in the morning, one at night. But first, we got some warm-up drills to run. We got through passing, attacking scenarios, and also defending scenarios. All right, so through passing, pass to our teammate, and the teammate has to score. See, it sounds pretty simple. It's our passing, our through passing. As a midfielder, we got to be able to play in the strikers, wingers, and allow them to score. And we got to show the manager we can pass. That's the first thing you got to show as a midfielder. All right, one more. Into our teammate. Our teammate's going to score. We did pretty well on that drill. Passing was one of our best stats to start, so we got an A on that one. All right, next one, attacking scenario. It's pretty simple. Just uh, score the ball. It's about working with your teammate, teammates, being unselfish, making the right pass, and also scoring. Uh, we, just, we just embarrassed ourselves right there. Matthew into teammate. It's going to be Smith. Smith, easy goal. This is just a warm-up for the real thing happens. There's a slight warm-up. Let's see if Matthew can score right in front of goal. Matthew, can you put it in the back of the net? That's a very decent strike right there. Smith into Rose, tap in. There's another goal right there. We gotta be on that one. Now comes our least uh, strong attribute defending. We're box to box mid. We're definitely more balanced towards the attacking side. But if we wanna be a professional footballer, be a professional midfielder, you gotta be able to defend and attack both ways. You gotta be able to do stuff just like that. And also timely tackles. That was pretty, actually we just fouled him. That wasn't so good. This is the first time we're ever playing with actual an actual first team. We've only been playing with the under 17 squad, under 16 squad. These are grown men that Matthew, we are playing with. Okay, that's gonna be a goal defend well there at all i mean it's still sovereign city it's it's still league two quality but it's just a whole another beast for us yeah see like our defending it's got to get better the manager is seeing our weak spot right now yeah we get an f on that drill all right we head off to the stadium now it's time for the main event an open doors training match with club owners david beckham and gary neville in the stands watching we are starting in the midfield for team b wearing black like this is our chance to prove to the manager we are ready to become a professional footballer all right we got a lot of salford fans that showed up the attendance was free like free tickets to watch basically the first team play the second team a versus b team so our team is for the players who aren't quite as good and it's our first actual time playing with like the first team like these are grown men we're playing with right now so a training match number one it's like 12 p.m kicks off and we show the manager we belong here we belong to be a professional footballer yeah that wasn't that wasn't a great start now the expectation is uh team a to beat team b for us to lose all right matthew rose decent pass out to the left back we know we can do a lot of things but we don't exactly know what kind of player we are yet all right matthew rose good touch can we lay off to a teammate maybe teammates in a better spot to shoot it's going to be Loon with the shot right at the keeper. I mean, not a bad attack initiated by Matthew Rose. All right, A team is about to score. Actually, keeper makes the save. I mean, everyone's fighting for game time right now. But we're fighting for an actual contract. That's what we're fighting for. All right, team A might score here. Team A are going to hit the post. Almost make it 1-0. Now, once again, defending is not our strong suit. So we're at top of the box here. It's one thing we definitely got to get better at. That is for sure. Into the box. Okay, what a great save for the keeper. This keeper is showing out. Okay, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Blocking the midfield. We were there blocking that with three other teammates. All right, Matthew Rose dribbles around a few, gets to the left winger. Are they going to finally score? They hit the post again. This A team, they're shooting. They didn't bring the shooting boots today. Soon as we say that, they are finally going to score. The A team, the red team scores. 28th minute, our team is down 1-0. Now, we haven't played bad so far, but we haven't really uh, stood out yet. Are we going to get our team going a little bit? So, we're going we're gonna to move the ball, get on the run. Matthew Rose into the box. Matthew Rose, chance to score his first goal. The shot 
Hits the post. We almost just scored. Hey, we made a very good run there. Just the ball would not go into the back of the net. All right, that is halftime. So the best chance for Team B goes to Matthew Rose. But off the post, could not score the goal. Obviously, there was a lot of nerves here. Like, this is the biggest game of our life that first half. It was kind of timid, a little bit nervous. We had a good moment, though, towards the end. Now, second half, can we build on that final chance and actually make something happen in this game? All right, Team A is going to score again. The defense is struggling. It's not really our fault. The center backs are not really marking uh, Team A's forward. So we are now down 2-0. All right, Rose and this left winger have a little bit of chemistry going. That's going to be into Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose chance to score. He gets tackled from behind. Ball goes right to him though. Rose, a second chance to score and Matthew Rose is going to score in front of the Salford fans, in front of David Beckham, Gary Neville, the 18 year old scores in his first time playing with the senior squad. Now the first shot was a decent attempt, but ball goes back to him. He's got composure in the box. Goes to his left, right footed shot into the corner for Matthew Rose. A Neil Wood in the side right now has got to be a little bit impressed with that because Matthew Rose just got his, uh, the B team back in this game. All right, let's see Rose switch the play as a midfielder. Oh, Matthew Rose, that pass is so good. That was Steven Gerrard-esque. I think even we were a little surprised that we actually got that pass off. Defense, though, still having so many issues. This game is 3-1. All right, Matthew Rose finds the left winger in space. He's doing a good job of finding his teammates. Once again, Matthew Rose finding his teammate in spots. They can't attack, though. This is a decent attack. Left winger is going to be so offside. As a midfielder, we're doing our job right now, though. Like, we're trying to get back to defend, trying to find those spaces right now. We're in the box, and, I mean, we were blocking that pass, the striker at least. And Team A has scored again. So this is 4-1. Now we're happy with the goal, but the way our team is performing, we're worried that uh, that our goal is going to be lost and how bad the whole entire team is played. Like, wouldn't even know if the manager's watching us, if he's seeing the things we're seeing. Although, it could be in again. That's going to be out to the left winger. Ball into a Galbraith, and he's going to score again. 5-1. That's what this game is. I mean, in our opinion, we're the one bright spot in this team, but we don't know if the manager sees that. All right, that's going to be it for the first training match. Full-time whistle, Team A wins. I mean, we scored a good goal. We did defensive work. We had a good passing. We had a 7.2 match rating. I mean, like I said, we think we played good, but we don't know. As we walk off, our teammates are congratulating us on our first game with the first team. Like, once again, no more youth players, no more kids. We're playing with actual grown men. Now, this is just League 2, but we played with professional footballers, and we scored and played pretty good ourselves. Like, 96 pass accuracy. So, manager Neil Wood calls us over and tells us that he's impressed with our performance and he tells us that he really wants to see more tonight from us in game number two later on so we get showered up we get cleaned up we get back home for a short break for the next training match and now we're feeling so many emotions like we're happy with the way we play the manager seemed happy with us but now we're worried if we can actually have another good game tonight because i mean if we don't then it'll just look like that first game was a fluke and like that goal we scored was just lucky we got two hours to kill so of course we played some fifa we ate dinner and after we we had some issues and just like that it was time to go again we left to go to the second training match Match scheduled for 8 p.m. Now, as we arrive at the stadium, we notice that David Beckham is still at the stadium. We ask our teammate Elliot if he was supposed to be at the night match too, and he says no, they did not expect him to be there for game number two. Now, Gary Neville has left, but Beckham is sitting with another guy we don't recognize. But anyways, can't focus on that. Like the match is about to start. Now, this time, Neil Wood has put us with the A team, so we're starting midfield for Team A Red. Now, we have to show that first game wasn't just a fluke. We have to show that we are ready for this. All right, game number two begins the night game. If we play good here, there's a very good chance we're gonna be having with the outcome so game number two kicked off we need to play good again we can't play bad and once again we're playing with the a team now we're playing with the starters pretty much all right mckelney into into matthew rose into morton and just like that matthew rose has an assist team a goes up one nil immediately and rose was the one to play in the striker and he scores could not be a better start than that i mean we're in a very good attacking mid spot there and Play the striker. It's a good shot. We played our midfield right there like to a T. That was perfect. We need to keep it up though. Ball working around the box. Matthew Rose on it. Okay, that was a heavy touch. There is a bit of the rawness in our talent right there. Okay, good move by Team B, and they score. Okay, this game is 1-1. Team B does not want to lose again. 14 minutes in, it's already 1-1. It's already and it's going to be 2-0. Okay, Team B is coming out firing. Now, we can't lose both of the training matches today. If we do that, it's going to look very bad on us. Like, we are with the starters. we got to win this game. All right, Rose is making a run for the midfield. We are on a one-on-one -on -one situation for maybe our second goal of the day. And we put that away like a striker. Game number two, we score again and equalize this game for our team. Like, we look like a striker right there. We took that so well. Neil Wood, are you watching right now? Are we playing good enough to actually secure ourselves a contract? We got a goal and an assist to our name already in game number two. All right, Rose, good pass out to the winger. Ball's played out wide to the right back. We're in, we're in a good spot here to support. Into, into Rose. 
Back heel to McAllenny, and we just got another assist, and that was a back heel. We are absolutely showing out right now. Like, biggest game of our life, and we're showing what we're capable of. Look at the back heel into our left winger, and he scores. Three goals, we were involved in all each of them so far. One goal and two assists right now. Now, internally, we are freaking out. We gotta just stay calm and keep playing, though. We gotta act like we've been here before, even though we have not. All right, that's first half, so 3-2 score. And we've got one goal and two assists right now. Now, at halftime, walking away off the pitch, we can't help but notice that David Beckham has gone up to Neil Wood, and they're talking. I mean, we have no clue what they're talking about but we did make a mental note that Beckham did say something to Neil Wood and before we know it second half is kicked off so I mean we are playing amazing in this game right now we just gotta somehow try and keep it up now we gotta focus on winning this game because if we don't it's gonna be bad and the game is 3-3 49th minute it's all tied up once again all right we're gonna small forward into Matthew Rose Matthew Rose chance to shoot Matthew Rose just hit a finesse shot and hit the crossbar. And that's something we've been practicing, but I mean, we didn't think we'd actually pull it off that well in a game, especially the biggest game of our life. All right, Matthew Rose, great ball out wide, right back. Gonna swing it in. It's into Matthew Rose. What a volley attempt. We are continuing our play from the first half. All right, manager wants to see us actually take a corner. Now we don't usually, but we're pretty much an all-rounder, so we probably can make this uh, not the worst. Actually, actually, not bad delivery from us. Neil Woods like, hey, go ahead, go take another one. Corner lofted in, and that is not gonna be as good as the first. All out to Matthew Rose, though. Okay, what kind of cross we got from here? Actually, a great cross. No one gets to it, though. Ball into Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot. Oh, man, we are so close to our second goal right now. All right, we're defending the middle here. We're trying to do our work uh, blocking the passing lanes, but... When our center backs aren't even doing that, what are we supposed to do? Like, we're fighting for a contract. Everyone else, I guess, in this team, the, the A team, is just relaxed. We're fighting for our professional football life right now. So we're trying to defend. We were almost that block. We are not going to clear that, but the keeper saves it. Okay, that was almost a very bad moment for us. Like, we don't want to make Neil Wood question our defending ability, even though he probably should. Into the box. We're looking for this pass. We almost blocked that one. We were there for it, though. And Team B scores again. It's 4-3 off a corner. Yeah, I mean, after the astounding win in the first game, I feel like the A-team, they're a little bit clocked out right now. But once again, we're fighting for our life right now. Rose, trying to get into the striker. Can't do it there, though. All right, Matthew Rose. Chance for an absolute long shot. And Matthew Rose has just scored the goal of the day. How did we even score that? Where did that come from? We take this pass and we just channeled, like, Steven Gerrard, Frank Lampard, all the other great English midfielders. We channeled them. And we just scored an absolute banger in front of David Beckham. We were having the game of our life in game number two. 79th minute. This game is 4-4. We got two goals. We got two assists from the midfield. Ball into the box, and Team B is going to score again. These center backs are not helping our reputation here. Like, hey, we're playing great, but we can't help but think we might be on the losing end of both games today. Like, that just doesn't look good. So we are fighting for this. Morton into Matthew Rose. Can't get that. That could have been a chance tied up again. All right, Matthew Rose out to the left back. Can he get it back to Matthew Rose? Matthew Rose tries. Didn't get to the right mirror. Can't do it. We're trying to show that we're not selfish at all. Final minute. Can Team A find this equalizer? Bailey. He's going to try to find a pass. He's going to pass it back. Can't quite get it to his teammate. We got one minute left at the time. Can we tie this game up as a team? Our right winger gives everything into the striker. Can't quite get it to him. And that's going to be full time. So we're going to lose 5-4. So we were on the losing end of both games today. We played great, but like I said, we can't help but think about that. Like, that does not look good at all. On the bright side, we had two goals and two assists. An absolute banger in front of an English legend. But that's the game. That's it. Like, we weren't quite sure we could pull it off again, but we did. And even better this time. Teammates congratulate us more. And once again, Neil Wood calls us over to chat now he tells us how impressed he is with us and how we played and that Salford's management team should have a contract ready to sign within the next few days he's that confident in us like we just basically secured our first professional contract but before we could even thank him Neil tells us he has some friends that really want to talk to us next thing we know David Beckham introduces himself to us one of the greatest English footballers of all time wants to talk with us he introduces his friend who we did not recognize Steve McLaren current assistant manager of Manchester United and Beckham tells us that they both are impressed with our play and if we're interested could maybe get us a trial for manchester united's under 21 squad now we were just told we might have a Salford city contract within the next few days but come on efl league 2 compared to the premier league even if it's just an under 21 squad like we know the difference there there's a huge gap we of course say yes we are interested and beckham tells us to keep our phone close that we should be receiving a call within the next few days and then we should start packing for a small trip to manchester we might have a chance to get signed by manchester united so we head home we shower and and we hop in bed but we're just unable to 
asleep. So we just stare at the ceiling and wonder, is this the start of our professional footballing career? Okay, Matthew Rhodes has a trial for Manchester United. Now we were just offered our first professional contract by our youth club, Salford City. But then we were also offered a chance to travel to Manchester and trial for Manchester United's under 21 team. And this was offered by David Beckham. So we got the call, the travel plans are set. Like we're about to head off to Manchester. Now, if we fail this trial, we'll be forced to come back to Salford City and we could be trapped in the EFL League 2 for the rest of our career. Like we need to impress Manchester United, impress Ten Hag. Like our career is riding on this. And also, if you guys want this to be a full series on the channel, then drop me a like down below to let me know. It's time for our Manchester United trial, which we're going to talk about the details of that in a second. So of course, we've said bye to the parents and we head off for the biggest two weeks of our life. And after a long day of traveling, we finally head to our hotel room. And let me tell you this, Manchester United, they are spoiling us. Like how about a little hotel room tour? Of course, they got us the big flat screen TV, a computer, a laptop. I mean, maybe we'll play a little bit of football manager while we're here. Of course, we got a beautiful bed here. Now it's a hotel, so the walls are pretty plain. But let me show you this bathroom. Like this bathroom is just stunning. We of course got the walk-in shower. It looks beautiful. And then to our left, we have a hot tub. I mean, like, do we need a hot tub? Probably not, but we have one and it's a beautiful one. And then of course a beautiful sink. And we even have one of them fancy toilets. Okay, bro, that's a fancy toilet. So of course we get in here, we get into the hotel room, we get settled in. Like we're gonna be here for two weeks. Okay, we might as well get comfortable. But our mind is on business here. Like we are looking up the schedule for the next two weeks and also the details of our trial here at Manchester United. But now it's time we probably go over that. So our trial consists of three games over two week span, three under 21 Premier League matches. We got Leeds, Southampton, then Newcastle. Now we're going for playing in League 2, Salford City quality, to playing like the best young Premier League talents in England. So three games, we play good, we get signed. But if we don't, it's back home to Salford. But by the end of the two weeks, we could be a Manchester United player. It's entirely up to us. Now, of course, so before our first training session, we got to blow off some steam. We got to break in this hot tub. But okay, enough of that. As we head off to our first training session with Manchester United. Here it is, our first training session with United. This is actually insane. Like Salford City to Manchester United, this is such a big difference. And there is head coach Mark Dempsey. He's the head coach for the under-21 one squad and our coach for the next two weeks. He's the man we gotta impress. All right, once again, some training drills to complete. Our first one is just beat the goalie, just trying to score these one-on-one -on -one chances. Now, once again, we're box to box mid, not our forte. We do score some goals though. I mean, you can imagine the nerves we're feeling right now though. Salford City to training with United. This is just a whole different beast. In our first drill, we absolutely fail in front of the manager. We're gonna blame it on just nerves. All right, now Dempsey wants to see us hit some free kicks. Now, we're not terrible at free kicks. We definitely have some ability there and we're gonna try and show that off. We didn't show it there though. We're setting in a set piece. We're having like a bunch of different training training drills here and I mean we didn't score from that one but delivery was decent though all right another free kick chance can we actually score one of these though if we score one in training it'll be a huge like moment for us from the free kick spot Matthew Rose is going to hit the crossbar we almost just scored in training okay one more chance can we score chance number three from the free kick spot we just hit the crossbar again are we doing the crossbar challenge all right now he wants to see us do a penalty which uh penalties we should be decent at. I feel like we practice these very often. And oh, that's a beautiful penalty. Okay, we're sending this one in the box. See if one of our teammates can get on the end of it. And he does. And he just ruined that chance for us. That was a beautiful cross by Matthew Rose. Okay, we got a C on that drill. So like better, but not the best. It was definitely a nervous like first training session for us. All right, but that is it for the day. All right, fast forward to game day, game number one. It is at Old Trafford against Leeds United. And obviously we're playing in the under 21 league. So there's no fans in the arena. It's kind of like a closed door league pretty much. Consisting of pretty much a bunch of youth players. We got Garnacho, we got a Langa on our team. But before we head to the stadium, we're going to have our very first My Player interview. So these are basically just like the press conference, but for My Player crew modes, we're of course going to keep track of stats, trophies. So first comment, like what you do with the Ronaldo crew mode, you should set challenges for Rose and if he completes them, he gets attributes higher overall. Yeah, we're not going to use like the typical FIFA My Player like upgrade system. We're going to have our own upgrade system that evolves throughout the series. So pretty much our growth is based on how good we play. Next one, love the idea. Would also love if you become a beast at set pieces like David Beckham. I mean, being a midfielder who is pretty much all rounded, like pretty decent at everything, I feel like we're well suited to that if we can get our free kick stats up but first our goal is to actually get signed to a contract because we're still without a team all right it is time for game number one though like we are actually gonna play at old trafford as we arrive in the dressing room we notice uh, someone sitting near our locker turns out it's harry Maguire. like he must be here from a, like a training session or something involved i don't know why he's here but he's here Maguire says hey i don't recognize you and we tell him that yeah we're new we're on trial here and he tells us good luck and he walks off now like we're kind of shook here like we just spoke to the captain of manchester united and also their worst center back and also just to make it a little bit more 
more dramatic. For game number one, Ten Hog is going to be in the stands watching. Like, this is our chance to prove we're ready for this level, this level of competition. So we're starting in left center mid. We got Garnacho to our left. Our trial for Manchester United officially begins. All right, so this is what it's about. Behind closed doors, no fans in the arena. Okay, a little bit of fans. But Old Trafford is basically empty as we play this, like, under-21 match. Let's make our goal get at least a 7.5. That's got to be our goal here. Like, we'll say it again. Now many players can go from League 2 to Premier League quality. We don't even know if we can. We're going to try, though. May United versus Leeds. Game is kicked off. We're going to see what Matthew Rose, what we can do in our first game. It's nuts that we've been playing at Old Trafford right now. Now, obviously, there's no fans in the in the stadium, so it's actually pretty quiet. It's a little bit unnerving here. All right, that was a very good interception there, showing our defensive stats, although... We don't have much. We just got taken out, too. They're giving us a warm welcome to the under-21 Premier League, and Garnacho loses that ball. All right, we're defending this free kick. That's a decent free kick sent in. And, okay, Leeds United score first. We are not off to a good start here. That's only, like, 10 minutes in. I mean, we were the farthest man in middle field, so it wasn't our fault. His defense could handle it. 12th minute, 1-0 to Leeds United. Yeah, we got to get in this game because we haven't really been in it yet. We got to show that we can actually play at this level. Ball out to Alanga. Alanga. Finds Rose. Okay, okay. We just got, we just got another. We just got like elbow to the face, and the ref doesn't even call it. We're getting pushed around like a rag doll over here. Alenga, two rows. Alenga, I need you going to run, bud. Get on a run. Okay, we just lost it. This is they're just playing so much faster than what we're used to. Alenga gives it to us though. There's a good spot from us. Can we try and cross it to the striker? We can, and we almost just got an assist. All right, that was our best moment so far. Like it was not a bad little dink to uh, the striker. Okay, we gotta try and get in the mix here. We're in the box. That corner is not gonna be sent to us though. Ball out to Matthew Rose. Want to go for a long shot. We're going to find the right pass, though. We're going to find him. Alenga right isn't going to lose the ball. All right, rating was 5.8. Now it's up to a 6.3. The manager sees that little improvement there. All right, Rose, over to teammate, into Alenga. Alenga. We've only trained with this team a couple times. Like, we're not, we don't have that much chemistry going right now. All right, we're going to pass to do Garnacho on the left. Garnacho gives it back to us. Waiting for Garnacho, and we can't get the ball to him. Okay, we're kind of struggling here a little bit. I would say a decent bit. We're going to go for a tackle there, and we just took him out in the box. Are we going to get a red card? Is, there, is that a card at all? This is not a good moment for us. We didn't even get the ball at all, and that's a penalty. Mark Dempsey is not happy, and we just gave up a penalty to Leeds United, and they are going to... They're going to score. It's 2-0. We just costed our team a goal. In your first trial game, you don't want to do that. We just did that. Okay, we got to try and bounce back from that. That is that is a horrible moment. Oh, we got to make up for it. Garnacho. Good ball to Garnacho. Garnacho, he's going to try and cross it, and I think... Is actually blocked. We gotta we gotta do something here. All right, striker over to Williams. Alenga into Rose. Rose, chance to maybe get something off. We're gonna try to pass it to a striker. Okay. We just we're struggling right now to make decisions and move this fast. Like Salford wasn't playing this quick. Short corner to Rose. Cross it in. Good cross. Striker can't get to it though. Alenga into Matthew Rose. We're gonna try to take a shot, and it's a very poor one. This has been a very interesting first half. Like a few good moments, but a lot of not good moments, to be honest. But that is the first half of this game. We gotta try and bounce back because that that penalty was not good. We can't play in the midfield, we give up penalties. Like Ten Hag plays a 4-3-3. He wants like solid box-to-box -box mids. Alright, second half begins. We got to try and bounce back from that. Alright, that was a very good touch from us. Get it to the striker. Works ball around. Okay, much better. Garnacho, play us in. Garnacho plays in Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose is in, and our shot is absolutely horrendous. It was so good up until that shot. I mean, is that is that really our quality? Is that the level we're showing that we're not ready for this? All right, that's a good pass by uh, Matthew Rose. I think Palestri is on for Garnacho, so we got a new player in the field. And that is almost going to be 3-0, but it stays 2-0. I mean, we got a 6.7, so the manager's seeing some good things, but we're definitely not playing as good as we can. We know that. Still got time. We're going to play it to Elena. Up to the striker. We are in again. Matthew Rose in again and maybe score his first goal in the under 21 Premier League League. And we do. Okay, wait, grab the ball. We're down 2 1. Grab the ball. We can't celebrate. Matthew Rose, what a goal on our left foot. Made up for that previous shot. We've had a shaky game, but we just pulled a goal out of nowhere. Like, we showed a little bit of pace there. We're not the quickest. We showed some pace there and some dribbling ability. Okay, trial game number one. We do score. That's very good. Dempsey's coming for us there. Now, more importantly, can we get our team back in this and actually, like, either draw or win this game? Matthew Rose plays in the striker. Striker takes a shot. It's going to be saved. All, right, all of a sudden, a much better spell, though. That's going to be a weird corner. All right, Matthew Rose cross into the striker. Decent chest. It can't get anything on it, though. Rose to Alenga. Back to Rose into the striker. This is some tiki taka. Oh, Alenga can't find us, though. Okay, all of a sudden, we're actually getting a hang of this right now. Leads are going to. Okay, they hit the post. Very close to making this game uh, done, actually. We got 15 minutes. Can we do something here? Okay, we're not feeling that confident to shoot that out to Alenga. And Alenga loses it. Man, we're not going to win if our teammates can't do anything. I think this game has been glaring our, our defending issue. We're just not good at defending in the midfield. Like, we're not good enough to play striker. We're not good enough on the play on the wing. We're not quick enough. Like, we're a midfielder. But, I mean, we're not going to find game time if we're not good enough defensively, though. All right, Matthew Rose out to Williams. Into Rose. Try to get it. What a ball by Matthew Rose. Into the striker. 
and he hits the post. What a good pass by us. Oh, I wish he would have scored that. Get it back to him. Can he do something? Back heels it, and he's going to lose it. Oh, we almost had the assist to grab us a point in this game. We got three minutes added on and try and get a point here. Otherwise, they might end this, which they almost do, but that might be it. So our first two training matches at Salford City, we lost both of them. I think game number one of our United trial, we are also going to lose, which once again, does not look good on our track record. And that's going to be full time. So we did score a goal out of nowhere, but we lose 2-1 to Leeds United. I feel like we struggled a lot. We scored which was one of our good moments but other than that we struggle in the midfield to get things going towards the end we definitely had some good moments but like we're disappointed with how we played especially that we gave up a penalty all right manager mark dempsey tells us that he liked our goal but we still got a lot to work on so straight into game number two we're facing southampton we got two more games left of this manchester united trial first game was so up and down how is game number two we're gonna go like the fact that we're going around and playing in actual premier league stadiums though this is nuts we just graduated from the youth squad of salford city like a week ago but okay game number two again Southampton. All right, immediately. That's a good block by our defense. We get the ball out. Can we get a winner in our belts. We've played how many games? We have not won one game. Our Nacho out to Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose back to Garnacho. Get it to the striker. Beautiful. We're overlapping. We're overlapping. Could not find us quick enough. Out to Alanga. Alanga cross it in. Alanga crosses it in. Rose up for it. Not going to get to it. On find the pass. Williams shot. That's going to be a good shot, but it's blocked. And then Alanga steals it back, though. Alanga is going to find Matthew Rose. We're going to try to get it to Garnacho. We do. Garnacho shoots. We almost got another assist. Okay, that's a decent start to this game. Alanga, long ball to Rose. We're making a darting run there from the midfield. Couldn't quite find us, though. I feel like we're creating a very good uh, friendship with uh, Alanga and Garnacho. Our time here, that's probably the two players we're closest to. Okay, ball in the box. Shot. We were not in a good spot there. Our like, defensive IQ in the box is is undoubtedly our worst attribute. Oh man, out of position, chance for Southampton. That's gonna be a good save by our keeper. All right, this is a very good spell for uh, Southampton right now. Third corner, we did not stop that pass whatsoever and our team almost conceded because of it. All out wide, once again, we're struggling to get into good spots here. But our center backs do get the ball out. We actually have had not much tacking in this game since that early chance. All right, let's switch this to the middle, get it to uh, Woods, into Matthew Rose. Decent first touch, but we're gonna lose it. All right, almost half time, this game is still nil-nil. There's not much happening. Been a very sloppy game for both teams. All right, that's first half. Not much happening in this game right now. I mean, we're not playing great, but overall, it's a very sloppy game. So if it comes to life in the second half, we currently got a 6.2. So I would say that's extremely average as we cannot receive that pass or get a touch on that. Okay, we just lost the ball. Is he going to score this? Shea Adams in on goal. Hits the crossbar. And we get the clearance out. We almost just caused the goal, though. We caused our team to concede. Once again, we're not used to the, the speed that we're playing here now. We're going to try to play a long ball to Garnacho. You know what? It's not the worst idea. Not the worst pass. Doesn't work, though. Williams out to Garnacho. Garnacho crosses it to Rose. We were up for that. Couldn't get to it, though. Oh, man. Shea Adams. We're going to try and... We tried to slide there, but it was already too late. Southampton up 1-0. Yeah, once again, we've been on the losing end of every single game we've played so far. This is just like the last game, minus our lucky goal. Or I'm calling it lucky. I don't know. Okay, wait. That's a bad pass. We play it above to our teammate Alanga gets it Alanga can we find the pass here we're in the middle we're in the middle Williams goes to shoot and it's gonna be saved all right short corner to us we are gonna swing that in far post that's not a good cross that's a waste I mean Southampton just adding the pressure here they've, they've been the better team in this game I would say by far it's been sloppy but they found the right passes they've played together more and we're actually at risk of being subbed out here so I mean Dempsey is not liking what he's seeing and they almost just probably sealed the game with that goal right there almost all right we gotta show some energy here show that we still should be on the field Alanga gets it to us gets to us but we lose it like we have lost the ball way too many times this game like giving up your team's possession is not a good thing especially as a midfielder probably the one of the worst things we could do rose gets it to our striker get it back to rose play it out to the winger he crosses it in it's gonna be it's gonna be cleared try this again okay that's a that's a better pass to our, our winger semenyo Gets it over to someone. I was there for the pass. He couldn't find us, though. Oh, man. We're get we're just getting sandwiched here, and we lose the ball again. We are looking uh, out of place right now, I feel like. Played out wide, and of course, we played that right to a Southampton player. We're going to try to steal the back out of frustration. We actually do. Showing some character, at least. But we got two minutes at a time to maybe score a goal here and tie this up. Not much urgency. Rose. Played out wide. We need him to cross it in. It's going to be Williams. Crosses it in. It's going to be right to the keeper. And that is going to be game. That is another loss for us. And this time, we didn't score a goal. We didn't really do much at all. Like, that right there was a, was a very rough game. That was not good at all. We almost got subbed off. That shows how bad we played. Yeah, the boys in the locker room are not happy at all. Dempsey's not happy with us. So, two games so far. And game number one was, was okay, but shaky. Game two, absolutely shaky. All right, after a very tough day, we get back in the hotel room. Like, we know we haven't played our best here. We know that like we only have one more game to prove that we actually 
you should be signed by Manchester United. We get informed that after our next game, they'll let us know about our trial and if we're going to get signed, any process after that. So one more game after that, we either get signed, we stay in Manchester or we fail and we go back to Salford and we're forced to maybe get stuck in League Two. Like this is our career right here. Everything's riding on this. We try and call our parents, you know, have a heart to heart with our mom and dad. So see if we can get some words of encouragement. But okay, come on. We got one more game still. Like we can still turn this around. So come on. We need to try and get puffed up here. Now loosen up a little bit. Get some energy pumping into these muscles because we still have one game left here. All right, still though, everyone's got to eat. We got to order some food first. So we got our pizza. We got our dinner. I mean, it might not be the healthiest pregame snack, but it's better than nothing here. We're going to eat this, go to sleep. And then tomorrow is the big day. Our final game for Manchester United. All right, morning. Here we go. Final game. We wake up and then of course we're off. All right, one final game. After this game, we find out if we've actually been signed to Manchester United. It's just our final chance to prove ourselves that we're good enough to play at this level. So facing Newcastle United, we've lost now four games we've played. Can we get a win under our belt? Like David Beckham got us this trial. We don't want to come here fail the trial and then let him down make him look foolish for getting us this trial but as i'm saying that newcastle they might score they almost just did and our biggest struggle since uh coming to this trial was that the speed of play like that's been our biggest struggle to to like adapt to like salford city youth leagues did not prepare us for this but we persevere langa yeah it's it up to the striker into garnacho garnacho we gotta we gotta help him out ball into rose rose Good turn. We're going to shoot. We almost just scored. Not bad effort, though. Langa to Williams into Rose. Rose, we get to the striker. We almost did. We're so close to getting an assist. And ball into Garnacho. Garnacho, get it back to Rose. We do. We're going to go for a long shot here, and that's just completely blocked. We're feeling the pressure here. We want to impress. We want to score. It's our final game. Might cause us to be a little bit selfish here. Rose to Alanga. Alanga up to the striker. The striker can get the shot away. No, he cannot. If there's one game we got to show energy in, it's this game. Like, it might not be the finished product yet. We got to show we're willing to put in the effort, though. Matthew Rose out wide. Williams cross in Rose. We're fighting for that cross. Can't get to it. Into Matthew Rose. Rose chance to score, maybe. We're going to shoot, and the keeper denies us our goal. Another good chance to score. Corner sent in. That's going to be out to Matthew Rose. Volley attempt by Rose. Hey, that was in the danger spots. Chance still alive. Arnacho gets it to Rose. Maybe can't get it to us. Okay, that's a little bit of a good spell for us there. Got to defend that. Okay, we didn't really protect our keeper there, but he made the save. Okay, we're on a run here. We got no support, though. Matthew Rose is it's showing our pace, though. We get around this defender. Go round one. Beautiful dribbling from Matthew Rose. The striker can't score, though. This striker. We've had so many chances for assists, but he's he's not scored any of them. Short corner into Rose. We're going to cross this in. It's not the worst cross. Gets to it. Actually, a great cross. Same exact thing. Can we pick out the right player? We're going to try to pick him out far post. It goes right to the keeper, though. Rose into the striker. He is going to send that far wide, I think. I would say this game so far has been better, at least, than the Southampton game. Saying that, though, they might score. Defense. Can we hold up? We're trying to block the pass. That hits the post. That's cleared. Chance. Not over yet. Into Rose, and we just got saved by the ref, I think. All right, not the worst first half. We showed out a little bit there. Almost scored. We had two good shooting chances. 45 more minutes of our Manchester United trial, though. Rose into the striker. We got to try and get something. I think we need a goal or an assist in this half. Arnacho gives it to Rose. Rose into the striker. He's going to shoot, and he hits the post. We almost get another assist. Oh, man, we should have like two or three. Corner sent in into... Actually, Rose is not going to get it, though. All right, we're a little caught out here. We're going to go in for a tackle, and... And okay, we just miss our tackle completely. Thankfully, the shot is blocked. Okay, we are box to box here. Get it out to Alanga. Beautiful. Alanga gets it to Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose. We got Garnacho far post. Cross to do Garnacho. And Garnacho is going to score. One nail to Manchester United. We just got the assist. That is a beautiful little ding to Garnacho. Our, our pretty much our best friend on the team. And he puts it in the back of the net. Helps us here. All right, 56th minute. That is a great start of the second half. Oh, man. Our, our head is racing right now. A week from now, we could be playing for Manchester United. If we keep this up and have a good last game, there's a good chance. All right, Nacho, two rows, out wide. Williams gets it back to Rose. Rose, cross in, decent cross, and that's going to be two assists for Matthew Rose. Oh, man, what a second half we're having. 2-0 to Manchester United. That was just a beautiful little dink. He, he made the run, we saw him, and it's into the back of the net. 61st minute, 2-0, and we got two assists. Hey, we better start looking for apartments in Manchester because we're moving out. Just keep this up. Garnacho, we're having a very good second half here. Over to Garnacho. Garnacho. Gets it back to Rose. We're going to shoot. And that one was... That was a bit of a scuffed shot right there. It's okay, though. Corner sent in. That's going to be cleared. Out to Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose. Finesse shot chance. And that's in the back of the net. What a goal by Matthew Rose. Two assists and one goal. And that was a banger. We're pointing the camera because we know mom and dad just saw that goal right there. That was beautiful. Okay, coach is loving that. This has been, like, almost this, the best second half of our life right now. Against, like, some of the best young Premier League players. Rose plays it through to Palestri. Back to Rose. We're going to try to find the striker. Can't quite find him, though. Whoa. He almost just uh, blocked that. Rose 
into McNeil. McNeil shot. He hits the post. We almost had a hat trick of assists in this game. Ball over the top. They are going to get one back. Okay, 10 minutes is 3-1. That was an extremely good goal right there. We got five more minutes left of our trial, and we're just trying to do everything we can here. Matthew Rose into the striker. He's going to try and play it back. Okay, striker gets a chance to shoot. We should be in this team over him. I'm not going to lie here. We're being serious. All right, doing some defensive work. Whoa, that dribbling is beautiful from us. This has been our best game so far, without a doubt. Pretty much one more chance for the team. That's going to be stolen. That is going to be it, though. Our final game of our Manchester United trial ends 3-1. We had two assists. We scored one great goal. And right now, we're feeling great. We're feeling absolutely beautiful. Our first two games are shaky. We did score in one game, but this game, we just proved we can play at this level. My teammates, of course, congratulating us. What a game for Matthew Rose. All right, after the game, we head into the tunnel and we see Steve McLaren. Of course, Dave Beckham's friend that helped get us this trial. And he's here to tell us if we get signed or not. And once again, after that game, we're feeling like we're pretty much guaranteed to get signed. So, of course, we say hi to him. We say thanks for the opportunity. Opportunity, and we tell him that we were informed that after this game we would be let known how this trial went and what do they think of him now like after a game like that we came into the tunnel and we were expecting like seeing a lot of smiling faces you know like excited faces but Steve McLaren does not have a smile on his face he tells us that the management team have made a decision on our trial and he tells us that they liked what they saw they saw a lot of good things but they also saw a lot of stuff that we need to work on as our heart is just sinking he tells us that at the moment there's not room on the squad for us that they don't think we're ready to take the leap to the Premier League or even the under 21 Premier League. We're almost shocked. We can't believe this with the game we just had. Now, he reassures us that in the future, there's still possibility we can come back and be maybe another trial, that future possibilities are still open. He tells us, thanks for making the trip. Thanks for this two weeks of effort that in the morning, a bus will take you back to Salford City. Like this is the most heartbreaking moment of our life. We try and keep our composure. We say goodbye. Again, we say thanks to him, but we are just devastated. We go to grab our stuff. Even Garnacho is wondering if we got signed. We told him, no, we didn't. And even he was surprised. He thought we would get signed, but that is it our trial we failed pretty much so we get back to the hotel room absolutely devastated like tomorrow morning a bus will take us back to Salford City back home we hop in the shower of course before we go to bed like we play some video games try to get our minds off what just happened to us but honestly we just can't but instead we just call it a night we get into bed try to fall asleep and we prepare for tomorrow going back to Salford City kind of feel like we're restarting like we failed our trial now middle of the night 3 a.m our phone is ringing so of course we pick it up to see who's, who's calling us and it's actually Neil Wood our Salford City manager he tells us he heard how things went that he's sorry about he feels bad for us and we tell him yeah it sucks but we we'll back tomorrow at Salford City get ready for training and then he tells us wait hold up one second apparently our game against Newcastle a certain Premier League scout saw that game and we might not be on our way back home just yet because Neil Wood tells us they've inquired to Salford City about purchasing our contract like a Premier League team wants to sign us so of course we ask him who, who is this team and Neil Wood tells us the team that wants to sign us will be revealed in the next episode okay Matthew Rose just failed his trial at Manchester United now we played three games for Manchester United's under 21 squad and we had two goals and two assists in those three games but it wasn't good enough to get signed to a contract and we were about to head back home when Neil Wood our manager at Salford City let us know that a certain Premier League team watched our three games and now actually wants to sign us like we thought we failed our dream of becoming a Premier League footballer but this is actually just the start of our journey but okay you guys have shown an insane amount of support on this series so far I appreciate that so much so once again if you want this to be a full series on the channel then drop me a like down below okay man I didn't let us stay in this hotel room, but it's time to check out. And also say goodbye to that beautiful hot tub because we have a huge meeting today. Now, we got one small issue though. Um, we currently don't have an agent. It's a bit of an issue. Every footballer needs an agent to handle like contract negotiations, legal stuff. But luckily for us, Neil Wood has volunteered to help us out today as our meeting today is to negotiate a contract with a mystery Premier League team that wants to sign us. Like we are so close to our dream, but it's time to check out. We're off to our meeting. But before that, let's have a little chat. So first comment, Matthew Rose could be loaned out to a team like Inter Miami because Beckham is their owner. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that doesn't sound like the worst idea ever. Our problem is like once you get, once you go to the MLS, I don't want to turn like Ricky Pooj where it's hard to get back to Europe. So it's kind of dangerous to get loaned out to an MLS team. Like you could get stuck there. Best player career mode, can't wait to see you have your re revenge against Manchester United in the Premier League. Yeah, I mean, we're not sure what's gonna happen, but we if we find our way in the Premier League, we face Manchester United, you know there's gonna be a lot of personal feelings we're gonna have for that game. Okay, we arrive at our meeting. It's a little like low-key cafe. We're about to find out which team wants to sign us. We say hi to Neil Wood. Thank him for coming out. 
you know, helping us in this deal. He, of course, has no problem, but he does say we need an agent in the future for sure. And like, we gotta hire someone we could trust though. So we just sit down as we wait for a representative from the mystery team to show up. And after about five minutes, they show up. He introduces himself as Phil Giles, a football director for Brentford FC in the Premier League. Now he tells us he was notified by a third party of our Newcastle game, where we played great. We had like two assists and one goal in that game. He says they watched it and they're very interested in the prospect of signing us. We thought our dream was over, but it's right in front of us now. Now he tells us he knows we were just trialing for the under 21 squad, but Brentford manager Thomas Frank thinks that we can contribute to the first team this season. So they're looking to sign us to the actual first team. He tells us they have a three-year contract ready to go, ready to be signed. And we're like, give me a pen. I'll sign that thing right now. But Neil Wood tells us, hold on, let's read the contract first. And after about 10 to 15 minutes, Neil Wood says we're good to go. The contract is ready to be signed if we are ready. So the contract is a three-year contract with a starting wage of 15,000 pounds per week. Now, must I remind you that we are currently unemployed? 15,000 pounds per week? We almost can't believe it. Neil Wood leans over and asks, like, are we ready to sign this contract? And we look him in the eye. We tell him, yes, we sign our name on the dotted line and we've actually done it. We are a Premier League footballer and a new player for Brentford FC. Like undoubtedly the biggest moment of our life just happened. Now, Phil Giles tells us that things are gonna move fast here. Like Brentford need us the next week for the next game. He tells us, go home, get packed and now get us into an apartment very, very soon in the next few days. As you know, we're from London. So Brentford is in London. We're not going too far from home. And he tells us he'll be in touch very, very soon. We have just signed our first professional contract as a professional footballer. Like this is our dream. So of course we go back home and tell our parents that we just signed our first professional contract. And of course our dad is so happy for us. Like we tell him that we just, we can't believe what's happening. And we also tell them like, we got to move out. We got to get our stuff packed. So of course we get upstairs, you know, try to pack our stuff. Our dad's helping us. Okay. He's not really helping us that much. Now, as we're packing, we notice a phone call and guess who calls us? If your guess is David Beckham, then you are right. David tells us he heard about the Manchester United trial. He's sorry about that. We once again tell him thanks for getting us that trial. And he tells us he wasn't happy with how the trial ended and that he may have had a part in notifying Brentford of our performance. Now, I mean, it's not like he forced them to sign us. He sent them our game film from that Newcastle match and they really liked our performance. So of course we tell him thank you once again. He has helped us so much and he tells us no problem. And also that his son Romeo is currently playing for Brentford and then he would like us to to meet probably once we get settled in. So we of course say, yeah, we'd love to. And he tells us good luck that he would try to stay in touch as much as he can. Okay, we're already behind schedule here though. Like we gotta get our stuff packed. We gotta get ready to move into this new apartment. And also of course, show up to Brentford Media Day and be unveiled as their new player. So one day later, we arrive at Brentford's training grounds. I mean, it's literally a dream come true. We meet a lot of people and staff, including cooks, including everyone. We also meet the manager, Thomas Frank, like a big reason why we're here. And we do a little physical, a little medical, just to make sure that we're fit. And then we put on the Brentford kit for the very first time. This is just once again, a dream come true. So Thomas Frank pulls us aside, tells us, welcome to Brentford FC, introduces himself. Of course, we tell him that we're so excited to be here. We're excited to get to work. And he tells us that they think we have a lot of potential. If we work hard in training, we could find ourselves game time in the Premier League. So we, of course, just tell him that we're going to work as hard as we can. All right, now it is time to move into our new apartment as welcome to our new apartment. This is our new home. So of course, how about a little tiny tour? So you walk in, first thing you see is the kitchen. I mean, it's a solid kitchen. It's nothing special. It's simple and it's what we need. And now as we go to the left, here is our living room. Now I know currently it's not that much. Like you got to remember, we just moved in. We of course brought our Xbox from home. I mean, we got a nice sofa. We got a nice TV. Like for right now, that is, that is perfect. Now the bathroom, once again, ain't nothing special. I mean, it's decent. And then here is our little bedroom. We got a bed. We got a dresser. We got a mirror. Now, of course, as we get more settled in, we're definitely going to buy more stuff like spruce up the place. Right now, though, this is perfect. And like, hey, we got a little decent view outside our windows, too. So we got training in about an hour. So we're going to have a little bit of lunch. And I mean, hey, we're on our own. So we got to cook our own meals here. We don't have mom to cook for us. Like, we're going to have to learn how to uh, how to cook. OK, uh, we just flipped it on on the, on the stove. That's not good. You know, I would say we're doing a fine job here. Oh, uh, look at that. Our very first meal in our new apartment. That just looks wonderful. So of course, we clean up after our, after our lunch. And it's time to head off to our first training session. All right, here we are. First training session as an actual signed professional footballer. And Thomas Frank wants to see us do some attacking scenarios. Now, right now, we're not really guaranteed game time. He told us if we play good in training, we might find ourselves on the field. But like we're an 18 year old kid that just signed. Like we're not we're not a starter by any means. By the way, we are playing this uh, training drill with Ivan Tony, probably Brentford's uh, best player. OK, we just dribbled around that man. We almost did. I mean, if we could feed Ivan Tony to let him score more, we would love that. He's just a proven Premier League goal scorer. That's what he is. All right, we're going to get a shot ourselves. Matthew Rose finesse shot. We just hit the crossbar. We love hitting the crossbar. We love that. And we score the final drill. Yes, we can. Left footed, low driven shot. And we get an A in our first training session at Brentford. And after that, Ivan Tony actually formally introduces himself. We of course tell him it's going to meet you. We're excited to be here. And he tells us the same thing the manager said. Work hard in training. We'll find game time. And I mean, we did pretty well in that training drill together. So he tells us he's looking forward to being on the field together. So we signed for Brentford in late August and they've already played three games, which was a loss against Chelsea, a draw against Man City, and then we lost to 
leads. Now our first potential Premier League debut is coming up here pretty soon. And by soon, I literally mean tomorrow. Our first game at Brentford is away at the Molyneux Stadium against the Wolves. So we get home after a long training session. Tomorrow, we make our Premier League debut. So we try to blow off some steam, you know, relax a little bit, plan some Xbox. We go to have a little snack. You know, we're trying to eat a little healthier. So we got some low-fat Greek yogurt. Okay, we're getting serious about our fitness here. But just like that, it's time for bed. Like, we need a good night's rest for tomorrow. All right, today is the day. So as we sign our contract, we're 68 overall. And we're also number 21 for Brentford. We got, like, decent pace and everything else is pretty well balanced. So we get to the dressing room. We see all the Brentford, our Brentford teammates. And, like, we're kind of freaking out here. And Ivan Tony notices, comes over to us and tells us to relax. Everyone's nervous at the first game. Tells us if we get on the field, don't be nervous. Just play how we know how to play. I mean, the best player on the team tells you that, you're definitely going to feel a bit better. So we tell him thanks for the advice. And then Thomas Frank comes over to us and tells us there's no guarantee, but the midfield is currently let right now. So there's a good chance we might get on the field in this game. So we got to be ready to make our debut. Okay, the game has started. First half, Ivan Tony misses a penalty in the first minute. And then 53rd minute, Damatrari scores. It's 1 0 to Wolves. And now 62nd minute, Thomas Frank is bringing us on for our debut. We're playing right center mid. Like, this is the official start of our professional footballing career. We have worked so hard to get here. Matthew Rose, we are making our Premier League debut. Like, this is it. This right here is our moment. We're going to remember for the rest of our life. Now, Manchester United did not believe we were ready for this, but we are here. We have to show that we can actually play at this level right now. All right, Adama Traore is kind of like hurting our, our defense right now. We got to try and find this attack here. Look at that steal from Matthew Rose showing our defensive uh, capability there. The little bit of it. Now, Ivan Tony up to Visa, into Matthew Rose. Chance to score on our debut. We actually scored a goal, a Premier League goal. I can't believe it. Matthew Rose on his debut scores and ties this game up for Brentford. Talk about a dream debut. Tony flips it up and then the other striker finds us and it's a solid little finish. Like not the most clinical, but one touch, half volley. And we passed it basically into the left corner. We just scored our first goal. I actually can't believe it. 77th minute. This is 1-1. Okay, we got to keep this lead though. We still got we still got 15 minutes. A lot can happen in these 15 minutes. We scored, but we got to show that we can also do other things in the midfield. We got to show that. Doing some defensive work there. Trying to help out. Oh man, this passing insane. Okay, keeper, what a save. Corner sent in. Matthew Rose tries to clear it. Can't, but keeper grabs it. I mean, are we going for this win? Okay, we just we just fouled Cunha. That's not a good foul. A little bit too aggressive there. Now, a good thing it's pretty far out, so I don't think we'll be in danger here of uh, conceding. Although it is Ruben Neves, and that free kick is horrendous. All right, six minutes. We're trying to go for this win, but we're trying to be conservative and not lose this draw. We've come on the field. We've had an insane impact, scoring a goal. Can we do more though? Can we actually do more? That's a great steal by Nordgard. They get the ball back though. The last Kaladzic shot and Kaladzic scores and Wolves might have just won this game. Oh man, our teammate lost the ball on the top left side and they won it back and it was a counter attack. What a shot though. We got 2-1. We have four minutes. Can we do something in these four minutes? Okay, that's a great steal. We have a chance here. We are having a pretty decent game here though. Out to Matthew Rose. We got maybe one chance at an equalizer. Can we find our striker? We're going to try to cross it in. Okay, he's going to be, he's not going to win that. One more chance. Matthew Rose, hold it. We need to keep possession. We do. Come on, get it to us. Oh, the ref blows the whistle when we were on an attack. That's going to be a 2-1 loss. Oh, that is hard. Heartbreaking. I wanted us to be the reason we got a point here. But you know what? We scored. We actually looked good on our debut. The nerves are gone pretty fast here. And one more time, the first goal of Matthew Rose's career. And I would say it was beautifully taken. All right, back in the dressing room. Now, of course, the team is uh, upset that we lost. We definitely could have won that game. We could have got a point. We should have got a point. But internally, we're freaking out because we just scored our first goal of our career in our on our Premier League debut. That's insane. Thomas Frank comes over and he tells us that was a very good goal. He tells us, keep playing like that. We're going to find a lot more game time. And then Ivan Tony comes over and tells us he didn't know we had that in us like he tells us that was a solid finish and i mean coming from our team's best striker a clinical finisher we of course tell him thanks we tell him next time hopefully it's us assisting him on a goal but man honestly like what a debut as you know though the premier league moves very fast we're already at gain or two against crystal palace at home now after three games uh we sit bottom of the table in 19th place like we need to get out of the relegation zone so a 64th minute it's nil nil and it's time for our second ever premier league match and also our home debut which is very nice okay first touch we should have won that. We should not have lost that. Come on, we need to have the same impact we had in the last game. At least we scored a goal, helped our team. We need a win under our belt, though. All right, Rose, up to the striker, into Ivan Tony. This is not the worst move. Tony, Ivan Tony, we see him. Cross to Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony in front of the goal. He should have scored that. That was a good ball by us. He, like, didn't know what to do with it. Oh, that was just a golden pass by us. Okay, short corner. We're going to call for a short corner. We got space to pick out a pass here. Cross in the box. Ivan Tony goes for a bicycle kick, and he hits the post. What did I just see? Into Ivan Tony. Tony. Oh, we can't get the shot away. What did I almost just see? I can't believe he went for that. He still has the ball. Okay, Ivan Tony wants to win this game. Jade, in to Matthew Rose. Oh, we can't fight. We can't fight for that. Oh, no, not after this. We got to try and block the middle here. They're going to try to cross it back in the middle. We were in a good spot. It's fine. 
Get it to us. Oh, man. Okay, that's going to be a foul. We're good. All right, 15 more minutes. Great ball to Rose. Rose gets it. Ivan Tony. Tony. Back to Matthew Rose. Is that going to be our second goal? The shot's going to be saved by the keeper. Oh, such a good move. We might win that. Are we going to win that? No, we're not. Oh, man. We want that shot back so bad. All right. Win that header. Decent win by Rose. Showing our physicality. Rose into Shade. Beautiful move. Shade. Can he find us? Oh, man. He tried to split the defenders there. We're close to this goal. We're close. The issue is Crystal Palace are now in. Wolford Zaha using his pace and... Raya can't make the save. He scores. All of our chances, we can't score. They go into the field and get one attack, and they probably just won the game. Oh, it's just heartbreaking. He's still got nine minutes to do something, at least. Ball to Matthew Rose. We find something here. Striker, get into a better spot. Can't exactly find him. It's really well defended. Are we even going to get another chance here, boys? Oh, no. Eduard in, and it's going to be 2-0 to Chris Palace. We had chances to take the lead, didn't take them, and Chris Palace took their chances. Oh, man, it's, it's so unfortunate. Man, Brentford are having a rough start of the season. It's probably why they signed us, you know, try to find something, some energy in into the, into the bench maybe so first two games loss against wolves and then a heartbreaking loss against chris palace where we should have took the lead but it's gonna be a 2-0 loss at the end of the day we almost had like the assist of the season if ivan tony would have scored that bicycle kick though all right into the dressing room after that game we're talking to ivan tony he tells us that he thinks we've been a bit unlucky there like he thinks we'll pull this around and start picking up points we also say like you almost scored the goal of the season and he's like yeah i want that one back that would have been insane and then uh, thomas frank calls us over and he tells us they're really excited about how good we've played he thinks we've been making a good impact off the bench but he also wants to ask us something now, there's nothing set in stone. There's no exact plans for it. But he asks us how we'd feel about a loan move in January. Now, obviously, we just got here. Like, we don't want to leave. But unfortunately, it's not really up to us. We tell him, like, I mean, we do what's best for the team, whatever they think is right. So, in theory, a potential loan move, we said we would be open to, I guess. And he tells us, okay, don't worry about it for now. You're here for the first half of the season. He's just giving us a heads up, like, hey, in January, anything could happen. Like, in this football business, stuff moves very, very fast. So, be ready. I mean, like, as such a young player, maybe they think, like, they should sign someone in January more experienced. So, we get home after after that after that game we try to relax a little bit you know watch a little tv but like we are rinsed this has been such a like crazy couple of weeks so we get ready for bed we brush our teeth we're calling in an early night like we can't help but think about what thomas frank said like would we be okay with a loan move like with how serious thomas frank sounded when he told us that there's a real possibility that in a few months we could be off to somewhere else we just gotta try to play our best and then see what happens okay matthew rose just signed his first professional contract to brentford fc in the premier league like our dream of becoming a professional footballer has come true but this is just the beginning on our debut we scored our first Premier League goal, but Brentford are struggling right now. Manager Thomas Frank let us know that we might go out on loan in January, so we gotta try to play good enough that they can't let us go. Like, we just got to the Premier League. We don't want to leave. Like, these next three months are huge for us. So, once again, the support on this series has been insane. If you guys want to keep seeing daily episodes of this series, then once again, drop me a like down below. Alright, someone's knocking on our door. Turns out it's Alejandro Garnacho. Of course, we became friends after our Manchester United trial, and currently United are playing uh, Chelsea, so he's in town. He's in London. He, of course, congratulates us on signing for Brentford and he also says that when we play Manchester United, he's going to score against us. Like, he's guaranteeing it. And we're like, nah, nah, that's not happening. Obviously, we show him around the new apartment, which we're going to try and, like, remodel, decorate at some point in this episode. Because honestly, right now, this place is looking a little lame. So, of course, play a little Xbox, you know, kill some time, hang out. And then Garnacho leaves because we both have business to get to. Like, we may be a Premier League football right now, but we got to play like one, too. Because, like I said, we are currently in 20th place. We had a very rough start starting with Chelsea, then playing Man City. But it does not get any easier. Because our next two games are Liverpool and then Spurs. And then the schedule lightens up a bit like this is just an extremely important stretch of our career here our early career okay it seems we've made a new friend because we're getting advice from carius basically saying that he thinks we should get loaned out to a championship team that we're not good enough for the premier league i mean talk about some harsh advice but honestly he might be right we've gone from league two to premier league that's a big jump we're not quite sure if we can consistently play at this level right now Fifteen thousand pounds a week is amazing for a young player yeah we went from unemployed to having like a decent bit of money here and that money will be spent upgrading our apartment in this episode for sure so it's not gonna just go to waste and as you guys know we scored our first goal ever so it's time for our first upgrade now honestly it's pretty pathetic it's just one skill point dribbling up to 67 now plus three we're now six and overall so man we're plus one overall this is barely just the start of us becoming a better footballer though barely just the start all right the Brentford midfield is pretty light here we've got some injuries so for the next few games we're pretty much guaranteed to come on as a sub at some point so let's get through some games see if we can prove that we actually play consistently at a Premier League level okay first game Liverpool we actually don't make it on the field like we don't get to play at Anfield yet I'm kind of disappointed here and this game ends up being a three nil loss to Liverpool all right, next game though is Spurs, and we do get an appearance this game in the 60th minute. Game is currently nil-nil. Can we help our team get our first win of the season here? All right, come on. Our third ever Premier League appearance at home in front of the Brentford fans. We got to help spur us to a win. Get it? Spur us to a win? We got 30 minutes. We need to help our team here. Rose, 
What kind of touch is that? That's a horrible touch. Horrible introduction into this game. Also, we switched up. We got yellow boots in this game. That's a little bit different than the white boots. They're also generic boots. We don't have a boot deal yet with like Nike, Adidas. We have nothing yet. We're in the good old generics. So we got to try and command this midfield. I feel like you haven't done a great job at that. We're going to try though. Oh, Visa. We were right there for that pass. All right, Rose. Good ball to Rico Henry, I believe. Yes, we do. Good ball to Tony. Into Rose. Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot. And that thing is deflected into space. Okay, we're actually taking a corner here. So Thomas Frank likes our corner ability. Can we repay the faith with him? That was a good service. Just no one gets to it. Ball out to Matthew Rose. We got to cross someone. Okay, that's not that's not at all what I wanted. Rose into Ivan Tony into Visa Visa. Ivan Tony shot right at Loris though. 15 minutes. We got to try and prevent a goal here. We are, our defense position there was not the best, honestly. Harry Kane into oh what a tackle by Matthew Rose. We kind of won that, but we didn't get back into position. Dan Juma shot. Get the ball out. Thank you. We do. Oh no, son. Chance score. Thankful he's offside. Boys, we need to win this game. Son. Okay, good defending. We got 10 minutes. Get the ball to Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose up to Ivan Tony. Oh that the first time pass. Tony, we need to be more patient. Right, new signing Dan Juma kind of destroyed us there a little bit. Ball into Sun and Sun is going to score. Boys, this team right now is struggling. 1-0 and we're maybe staring down another defeat. Honestly, the schedule is very unkind to us, but still. Here we got a free kick, Tony. I don't know why he's taking it, but he is. Get that to bend me. Bend me into Matthew Rose. Chance for a shot. We just get taken out there. That is the physicality that we're not exactly ready for. That's a bad clearance by Lloris. We played into Embuemo, and he's going to score. That's our first Premier League assist. We don't even get a celebration. We head the ball to Embuemo, and he scores, and this game's 1-1. That was out of nowhere, but that's our first assist, and this game is tied up. We need a bit of replay. Lloris clears it. We are the first one to get to it into Embuemo, and he is going to be the one to score. Okay, a point here could be a very large step in the right direction, especially against Spurs. We wanted to win, but as long as we get a point... I think we'll take that. Don't let them score now. All right, that's full time. We hold on. So we get a 1-1 draw courtesy of an assist from Matthew Rose. Oh, man, that came out of nowhere. But what a moment for our first assist. 1,000% helped our team. All right, still in 20th place. Next game is Southampton. 60th minute. We're coming on. And we're actually up 1-0 in this game. Come on. We got 30 minutes left. We got a one goal lead. This is our chance to get our first win of the season, actually. And funny enough, we were playing here a couple weeks ago in our Manchester United trial. And if you remember that game, we played terrible in this stadium. Cross in. We're trying to get in the mix. We're not, though. Out. Oh, man, that could have been that could have been such a good header there. I feel like our positioning is getting a little bit better. We're getting more, like, like blocking the attackers and finding those spaces. At least we're trying to, just like there. We made that tackle, and we are going to make that tackle. Look at the defensive ability from Matthew Rose. We're going against uh, James R. Prowse right here, one of the best uh, midfielders in the league, and we just got tackled. That's not good. We need to make up for it. Or Sitch. Okay, our, our teammate saves us there. Lord guard in to having Tony. Tony. Get it to Rose. Actually play it on the other side. We see the pass. We see the pass. We play him in. Oh, it's getting out. He's going to go over to us. Matthew Rose. Chance to score. And we've actually scored. What a move by Brentford. And that's 2-0. Oh, man. We started that move and we finished it off. That was beautiful. Yanel didn't have the pace to finish that off. And, uh, and Buemo leaves it for us. And we finish it. Second ever Premier League goal by Matthew Rose. And that was a very solid, solid finish. More importantly, though, this is 2-0. Okay, block James or Prowse. The manager's telling us James or Prowse. He's a danger man for them. Like, we need to prevent him getting the ball. If we do it allows us to get into better spaces keeper good save okay whoa grab it please thank you okay we're in a good spot here ball should be cleared out to us it is and we're gonna clear it again solid midfield work from matthew rose rose over to ivan tony ivan tony into rose we're gonna try to play it to jansen again he's gonna lose it though all right let's chill let's try and keep the ball here try and just be relaxed on the ball into matthew rose though Rose, we're going to try to find him. Buemo can't exactly reach him for the shot, though. Look at our energy and our pressing. It's just, it is, we are an energetic midfielder right now. All right, ball over the top. We can't let them score here. Into Orsic, and that's going to be a weird shot, but barely. Strakosha is looking very shaky in goal right now. He's scaring me. Five minutes, keep defending, keep being conservative. Orsic, we let him get that pass through. Gonna be back to Orsic, but Nordgaard and Rose, the midfield combo defending. And Bumo into Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony over to Matthew Rose. Oh, we were just offside. Ivan, you gotta wait a little bit or take that yourself. All right, Armstrong, we're in front of him. Defending. Decent tackle by Matthew Rose. Out to Ward Prowse, though. Armstrong over to Peru. We saw James Ward Prowse. We saw that pass, but we were too late. It's 2 1. We can't lose this lead right now. That might have been our fault. We might take responsibility for that. Ref, blow the whistle, please. There's not much time left. Ref, blow the whistle, please. They're going to get one more attack, maybe. Okay, good steal by Nordgaard. And we're going to get our first win of the season. Now, we had a very bad mistake at the end there, but we also scored the goal to help us win the game. So I would say it's a balance. Oh, man. It's about time, though. First win. It is about time. And after that game, Thomas Frank tells us it was a great goal we scored, but we 
we can't make defensive mistakes like that if we want to stay in this league. And just like that, we've climbed out of the relegation zone. Hey, still a lot more work to do though. Straight into the next game, we're facing Leicester City at home. It is, of course, the 60th minute again, and this game is currently nil-nil. We just need to somehow try and keep this up and prevent any defensive mistakes from happening because that can't happen again. We might have got our team the lead, but we also might have costed them the game in like a different situation. So that is the growing pains of a very young player who hasn't played much in their career yet. And saying that, we just gave up a penalty in the box. Oh man, Matthew Rose comes on the field, immediately gives up a penalty. We took out, we, we took out Tillemans. And all of a sudden, Tillemans comes up to us and wants to fight. And we're like, hey, calm, calm down. We didn't mean that. And Tillemans actually pushes us. And our instincts kick in, and we actually push him back. And then James Madison gets into it too. And he tells Tillemans to not waste his energy on a player like us. And he says we won't be playing here much longer. The ref then breaks us up, and we just play on. But I can't believe what just happened. All right, Tillemans now steps up, take the penalty. I hope he misses. Tillemans up to the spot. He is going to shoot, and he is going to score. We've been on the field for like two minutes. We just costed our team the lead. Of course he's gonna go crazy celebrating okay now we're pissed off like we got 30 minutes to help get our team something in this game now now luckily we're not in yellow cards so we don't have to worry about uh getting sent off elements shoots okay he's angry too we got two angry players in the field honestly if he's in front of us we might take him out again if it's not in the box shot by priot and it's gonna be saved oh man in the box again trying to not do the same thing we made a good tackle there ball doesn't get loose though ben me makes tackle we do get the ball out all right shade we're in space here we are in space i see ivan tony can we get the ball to Ivan Tony? We kind of can. He's not going to get it, though. All right, we're going to switch the play. We got to do something here. Time is running out. Our attack has not looked great, although that's a great ball. Shade in two. Okay, that's beautiful. Shade, shoot. Someone shoot. Oh, man, what a move. We can't put it in the back of the net, though. 15 minutes. Cross into the box. We're not taking this corner. It's going to be cleared. We are going to get the ball. We got no options, though. Nord guard into Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose in to Ivan Tony. He shoots. It's deflected. It's going to be another corner, though. Okay, we're taking the corner on this side. Matthew Rose swings in the corner. Looks good. Ivan Tony gets to it. Oh, man. What a save by their keeper. Come on. Get this goal. Another swing in by Matthew Rose. Ivan Tony again. It's the same save. Okay, we're sending this one in a little bit deeper. Third corner in a row. It's it's going to be cleared. Harvey Barnes trying to make a kind of get a shot off. We defended that pretty well. Indeed, he didn't find Pryor. That's a shot. And then Rico Henry gathers. We got five minutes, boys. We got so close to scoring there a couple times. Oh, man. Albrighton tries to get it over to Pryor. And Leicester City are going to score their second goal. And that's the game. Oh, man. We had a chance coming on the field to make an impact. We made an impact in the wrong way, though. Like a penalty within the second minute coming on. We get into a fight with Tillman's James Madison. Yeah, this we we had our best game in the last game. This might be our worst game right here. This is uh this is not going to look good on our record. And that is full time. So 2 0 loss at home. Man, like we're embarrassed. Like by far our worst game. And of course, James Madison Tillman's come over to us. And pretty much James Madison just says, I told you so. And he tells us we're not gonna last in this league. And we just try to ignore them and just walk away. Alright, into the dressing room. I mean, the boys are disappointed. Like, we are heavily disappointed in us right here. Cause we we feel like we let the team down. And our teammate Ben Mee comes over to us and he tries to tell us, like, don't be too hard on yourself. Like we can see that you're hurting. And we tell him, like, yeah, it's tough when you feel like we just costed our team the game. And he tells us that win or lose, we do it as a team. And also the whole team has our back. Like, we had a decent stretch of games there but i can't help but feel like that last game ruined it thomas frank comes over and tells us like don't worry about it too much you're a young player things happen just try not to let it happen again like learn from your mistakes okay we need to get our mind off football a little bit all right what does any footballer who's struggling what do they do normally how about spend some money because as you can see we have remodeled our apartment here okay we're making fifteen thousand pounds a week we might as well spend a little bit of it now first thing here is our new bed we got a new bed we got some new lamps we got some new posters and uh we also bought a keyboard because i mean once again why not okay we need something to take our minds off football that's not video games so uh, we've picked up a new hobby here now let's show off our new kitchen plus living room all right so here's the new and improved kitchen i mean okay it's not that different we got a new stove we got a new refrigerator we also got a new dining table and also we had interior decorator come and like recolor stuff and i think it looks much much better like it costed a lot of money but i think it was worth it now living room we got hardwood floors put in we have a new computer it costed like ten thousand, but you know we can watch a little bit of youtube you know search around we got a new desk a new gaming chair because once again why not i mean tv couch pretty much looks the same but we made one very large purchase here and that is a home pretty much a home gym system here because hey we got to try and adapt to like the physicality of the premier league so we got to start working out right now we're so weak we want to get stronger here to play in the prem i mean as you can see we're kind of struggling here we just we just bought this you know we got to try we got to get stronger we are serious though about improving we're very serious we also couldn't ignore the bathroom we got a new sink we got a new shower just overall everything is pretty much improved now as we're working out we get a call on our cell phone and the call is from phil giles the sporting director of brentford fc and he tells us that thomas frank wants to see us in his office first thing in the morning now like we got a potential loan move in the 
works. We just costed our team a game by giving up a penalty. Like we don't know what this meeting could be about. So like we are stressing out, but fast forward to the next morning, we head into Thomas Frank's office and he tells us that he's got something important he needs to say to us. And we're like, no, please no. He says, I got news for you. Now we're thinking we just upgraded our apartment and now we're gonna go on loan to somewhere else. Like this is horrible. But then he tells us it's not a loan move. He tells us that we are starting in the next game. He says he thinks we've played well enough to earn ourselves a chance to start. Now he tells us it doesn't mean you're a starter, but next game against Newcastle, you'll be in the starting 11. We of course tell him, thank you boss, we'll try our best. And he says, take advantage of the opportunity. We're about to have our first ever Premier League start. So after that last game, we have dropped back down to the relegation zone. This is our chance to have a very good game and also turn things around for Brentford. So we get to the stadium, we're heading into the dressing room and a reporter stops us. He says his name is Tim Slater. He's a, he was a reporter from The Athletic. And he asks us, how does it feel to be starting your first Premier League match? Like this is our first ever interview. So we're gonna caught off guard here, but we get together. We tell him like, we're excited to play, you know, try to have an impact on the field. And most importantly, help the team win. That's our goal. After that, we head in the dressing room and Ivan Tony comes up to us and he congrats us on our first ever start. And we tell him, hey, let's, let's try and make it a win. Okay, the game is about to start and we're lining up against the Newcastle players. And next to us is Bruno Guimadas. Now it's a little awkward. Like we don't know what to say really. So we look at him and say, hey, good luck. We're trying to have like good sportsmanship. And uh, Bruno Guimadas just looks at us and doesn't say anything. And we're like, okay then. And then just like that, we head out onto the stadium for our first ever Premier League start. Like we shouldn't have said anything. We just made a fool of ourselves. Let's try not to make a fool of ourselves on the pitch though. First ever Premier League start. Can we make an impact and also get a win in our first start? Okay, that's a decent start. A little interception. I like that. Out to Ivan Tony. Tony, find us. Please find us. Thank you. We got options here. Oh, we can't play it to Ivan Tony though. We just messed up that chance. Alan Wilson gets it over. Oh man, our defender got left in the dust there. Joe Linton, but it's also recovered pretty well. Yeah, Newcastle are a very strong team. This game could be tough. Like right now, we're marking Tim Maximin. Okay, we made a good tackle there. Corner sent in, and that's going to be cleared out to Matthew Rose, actually. Now we got fresh legs and also some stamina here. Problem is, we need some help. Okay, we need our striker. Good ball into our striker. He's going to shoot. Nick Pope makes the save. That was not a bad attack led by us. Oh man, this is end to end. Callum Wilson, chance to score, and our keeper makes the save. Absolutely end to end in our first start. Oh man, so awkward. Gets it out though. Can we try and win this. Oh, we just got pushed by St. Maximin. Dolenton into St. Maximin. Oh man, this is just such a hard mark for us. We got our teammates helping out though. Oh man, Matthew Rose, we see our teammate again. He's in. Can he score? He takes a shot. And he just hit the crossbar or post or something. What kind of shot was that? Norgard into Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot this time for us. Shot by us. And that's going to go into the right top corner. Holy moly. What a goal by Matthew Rose. We just had a wonder strike. That's like goal of the season maybe. I can't believe this went in. We're like 69 rated. It doesn't matter. Like half volley. And that thing just goes all the way into the right top corner. That is nuts. Our third ever Premier League goal might be the goal of the season. I actually can't believe that. It's 1-0 though in the 22nd minute. We just pulled that off in our first start. Okay, we got to calm down though. We still got a whole game to play. We got to do our defensive work just like that. Out to Rico Henry. Rico Henry. Ivan Tony into us into oh man that was one pass too extra maybe I was trying to play it to the other striker oh I thought that was the right pass Tim Maximin Tim Maximin we, we remember he pushed us before we will not let that happen again and we're trying to mark him here into Matthew Rose okay we got something on that can we clear that yes we can Tim Maximin oh Matthew Rose on Tim Maximin what a tackle this might lead to a counter attack actually Matthew Rose into Ivan Tony Ivan Tony gets it back to Rose back to Tony please be on side Ivan Tony shoots he's on side but he misses. Oh, man. You got to score that. Short corner to Matthew Rose. We flipped this up. We got to pick out a cross. Okay, that's not what we wanted. Whoa, what was that? That wasn't the plan. Great steal, though. Come on. We got him on the ropes here. Ivan Tony into the striker. He's going to lose it, though. I should have supported him more. Okay, one more attack for halftime. No, we don't. That is halftime. Man, what a goal by us. And that is currently the reason we're up 1-0. Man, that might be the best goal of our career we scored. Like, our full career. By the end of it, that might be the best. You got to win this game, though. It's got to be on top of a win. Matthew Rose trying to find Ivan Tony. Not going to find him quite. Putting pressure on Nick Pope. He almost just blocked that. That's going to be a bad clearance. In to Matthew Rose. We find Ivan Tony. We can. He shoots. It's going to be blocked, though. We're putting pressure. We're putting pressure on Lewis, but I think he is going to get the ball out. Right, all that pressing around the position, but okay. Our, our center back's doing a good job in this game. Ivan Tony up to Matthew Rose. Looking for that pass. Going to get it out to the fullback. Try to. We were too slow there. And right there, we don't look like we're ready to play in this league. We persevere, though. Get it out to the middle guy. Into Matthew Rose. Out to the striker. Into Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony, chance to score. Ivan Tony, he's got a goal. He's in a goal drought right now. He's got to score these, though. Short corner to Matthew Rose. Can we pick out the cross? We're going to send it. Okay, that's that was actually a great cross. I think Ben Me or no, who someone got to it. He almost just scored. All right, this time, sends it into the box. That's going to be Ivan Tony. Oh, man, he had a backwards header, and it skims the roofing of the net. We are so close to this two-goal lead. Joe Willick didn't get that pass to Joe Linton. That's not good. Trying to recover, though. Okay, we helped. We helped Mark Sam Maxman there. Going to get it to our teammate, Nordgaard. Into Ivan Tony. Nordgaard, that was not a good pass. Oh, no, it's going to lead to an attack. 
Miguel Amiron, defense doing so good right now. Defense, hold up. Jolinton. Okay, we blocked the passing lane. We gave Jolinton no options there. Matthew Rose up to our striker. Get it back to Matthew Rose. Into Matthew Rose. Into Ivan Tony. Gotta score that, and Ivan Tony scores. It is about time we get the assist, and Ivan Tony just gives us a two goal lead. Uh, Matthew's running around here. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's running around. Finally, we connect with Ivan Tony, and it's perfect. Okay, we still got 10 minutes, though. Two goal lead is not safe in 10 minutes. We gotta defend and be smart. Didn't block that pass. Can't get lazy here. Can't get lazy. Defense. Great job. Ivan Tony into Matthew Rose. We're tired, though. Do we have the legs? We need an outlet. We're gonna play it to the right sided player. Back into Matthew Rose. We find. Okay, we gotta, we gotta keep possession here. Good, good pass, actually. Find the right move we're gonna try and get it to our striker beautiful oh it's beautiful into ivan tony it's beautiful three nil we were so patient there we found the pass that was some good little triangle passing oh man first start it's gonna be a three nil win that is a beautiful triangle there to find ivan tony he's got a brace we got one goal we got one assist what a beautiful game for our first ever start we'll get a chance for one more we might get one more oh he's offside uh, that's embarrassing but that is full time three nil what a game biggest win of the season by far and we just redeemed ourselves after that lester game like we gotta be mad at the Match, unless they give it to Ivan Tony. Oh man, what a game though for us. What a game for Matthew Rose. And we do get men of the match. Oh man, first ever start men of the match. What more can he ask for? Like, bro, what what a game for us. Thomas Frank comes over and tells us great performance. And Ivan Tony says that's kind of win to help us turn this season around. And Thomas Frank tells us the media wants to talk to us. So it's time for our very first post-game press conference. So, first question is from Sky Sports. And they tell us congrats on our first start, congrats on our great goal in that game, and also congrats on the win. And they ask us, Do you think you should become a starter now now we know that what we say in these are very very important to our relationship with our team our manager everything so we try and have a very professional answer here and we say that we're ready to contribute to the team whether it's off the bench whether it's starting whatever the manager thinks is best next question is from espn and they tell us that after our tussle up with the uh, lester city and telemans last week that are we afraid of being labeled a hothead in the premier league that we start fights it's like hey we didn't even start that fight like they're talking as if we're the one that started it and like we're kind of shook we didn't expect this question we don't know what to say we try to say like stuff like that happens all the time on the football pitch that there's nothing else behind it it's just normal football stuff and the ESPN reporter kind of laughs it off and says all right thank you like we gotta know now when these in these press conferences we might be like cornered by questions like that so after that we get home after that game and like we do not like how that press conference went so we're starving so we make a little a little tiny snack I mean it's a classic PB and J like who doesn't like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and of course as we go to like wash our dishes and get cleaned up we get a phone call here like in the evening and it's actually Phil Giles again and he tells us that he feels inclined to tell us this that they have received loan interest from teams in the MLS the Eredivisie and also La Liga Smart Bank of course that is the second division in Spain. Now he reiterates that nothing's set in stone yet, but he is asking us, do we have a preference about which league we'd like to go to if we get loaned out? And he says, think about it, sleep on it, and then let him know later in the week. And like, of course, we want to stay at Brentford. We want to stay in the Premier League, but it's looking more and more like that Brentford want to loan us out. So we decided to take a little nap, but we got to start thinking like, if we have to be loaned out, where do we want to go? Okay, Matthew Rose just had his very first Premier League start, which was a 3-0 win against Newcastle. And we scored this goal into Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot this time for us, shot by us, and that's gonna go into the right top corner. Like by far the best game of our career so far. But we're still getting a feeling that Brentford wanna loan us out in January. And the trans window is only two months away. And also we have a very big game coming up that is going to have a lot of very, very personal feelings for us. But as always, drop a like for more daily episodes. And also with that sub button, we're trying to reach 200,000 subs. Okay, it may be 8 p.m. That won't stop us from getting a workout in though. And look at this, we're getting better at this. We're getting stronger. You can see the improvements in us. Like it's not as tough as it was in the previous episode. Okay, it's Okay, maybe it's still kind of tough. But what's working out if you don't eat a healthy and balanced diet? So today we're uh, we're eating some peas. I mean, look at us. We're getting healthy now. Yeah, after working out, eating dinner, we uh, have a little shower real quick. And then we decide, you know, we go on the internet, you know, search some articles, read about the Premier League, read about any like breaking news about the Premier League. And that's when we see an article about us. ESPN releases an article about our fight with Telemans. And they also interviewed him. And he says that our tackle on him was dirty. Like, come on, it may have been an accident, but it wasn't even that rough of a tackle. Like, this is not going to be good for our reputation here. And then we get a phone call. And it turns out, it's David Beckham. So he calls to like chicken with us. He hasn't spoken to us in a little bit. Says that he saw our Newcastle game. Said that was a great game for us. But he's calling because he just saw this article was released. And we're like, yeah, that wasn't even a dirty tackle. How are they gonna call us a dirty player? And Beckham says that current day players are soft. And says like back in his day, that was a normal tackle. And before we say goodbye, there's something we gotta ask him though. Like we've been told there's interest from the MLS in us on a loan deal. And we ask him like, is that coming from you into Miami? And he tells us, well, if that was the case, he can't really say yes or no to that question. He tells us, ask him in a couple weeks, and he might have a more concrete answer for us. So the MLS 
best interest could be from him, like from Inter Miami. But okay, it's time for bed. We have a very big month ahead of us. We got a very busy month in November, and then December 4th, we return to Old Trafford. Okay, first comment. Going by realism here, when Rose gets stronger through time, you should add some more pounds on him. Yeah, like adding to his strength attribute. I think that's definitely the plan. You know, we bought that workout. We bought that gym, basically. To help improve our weight, we're only 152 pounds. Like, we are a skinny boy. So, that is the plan. You should go to the Eredivisie, because big players made a name for themselves there, like Hakeem, Ziyech, Frankie de Jong, and Matthias Delic. Yeah, we know there's interest from MLS, Eredivisie, and then La Liga 2. And we were told in the last episode by Brentford's fo football director that he wants to know which league we prefer to go to. I think if we had to go on alone the Eredivisie, I wouldn't mind it. We have to make a decision to let him know soon. All right, last episode, we scored two goals, and we had two assists. So, that means four skill points to spend. The so first one, ball control, 68 to 71. I really want, like, our on-ball stats to be better. I feel like we're so, like, like sloppy on the ball. And then we opted for free kicks, 69 to 75. Like, I want Matthew Rose to be a free kick specialist. Like, David Beckham is kind of our mentor here. We're inspired by that, so we've been training our free kicks up. I'm hoping that means that Brentford manager Thomas Frank will let us take free kicks, but, I mean, who knows? And then shot power, 61 to 64, to pretty much help with those free kicks. Okay, we may have started against Newcastle, but Thomas Frank still sees us as a sub coming off the bench. We're like, we're not permanently a starter. But in good news, we've climbed up to 14th, out of relegation zone. We gotta try and stay out of it, though. We're gonna sim Bournemouth, so Brentford v Bournemouth is gonna be, it's gonna be a 1-1 draw, courtesy of Ivan Tony scored our goal. Uh, Matthew Rose got a 5.9 rating, so kind of like a below average game. Next game is Brighton, 60 second minute, we're coming on, and the game is currently nil-nil. So as we usually try to do, let's try to help our team win the game. Like, trying to build off that Newcastle performance where we scored one and assisted one. Like, after that Newcastle game, we kind of feel like we should be a starter, at least have another chance to start soon, but it was like Thomas Frank and Brentford, they're very cautious in how they're uh, utilizing us. Okay, that's a good tackle by Matthew Rose. Our defensive work is getting a lot better recently. It just feels like they're holding us back on purpose because we're so young. It feels like that. That's another tackle by Matthew Rose. Defensive impact. We have impact on winning the game, though. Okay, this is a good move, though. Oh, could have played as Ivan Tony. Should have been better. Nordgaard into Matthew Rose. Play it out to the winger. Into Matthew Rose. Can we get it? Oh, man, I tried to slide it to the left winger, I think. That was a bit sloppy. Oh, man, that's a, that is a great ball. McAllister scores. Ars was that Ben Mee? We got so caught out there. It's 1-0 to Brighton. Like, this pass was disgusting by Danny Welbeck. Look at this pass. Just beats Ben Mee McAllister. First time shot. All right, we are, we are down 1-0. Also, let's try not to get into any more fights, you know, because, like, we're already kind of being labeled a hothead. But we are so far from that. So let's not try and uh, hurt our reputation even more. Ball into Matthew Rose. We got a long shot chance. We're going to shoot this because we can. It's going to be right at the keeper, though. That was a bit selfish. Hey, after Newcastle, I think we got the green light, though. Rose in Tyvon Tony. Tony can't find the striker, though. Okay, it's us versus Matoma, one of the hottest young Premier League prospects. We missed our tackle. Matoma. He's studied how to get by us, but we just made a good tackle and we keep the ball in. We did decent there. Ball into Matthew Rose. We got options here. Ivan Tony. He's in. He's going to shoot. Ivan Tony shoots, and there's an assist from Matthew Rose. Ivan Tony scores. This game is 1 1. That is the impact that we need to have in every single game. Like, finally, ourselves and Ivan Tony are starting to click together as a duo. Like, that's a perfect finish. Like, that thing was hit with some, like, venom. That thing was dipping. All right, 10 minutes left. This game is 1 1. We have a chance to grab a winner here, maybe. Like, we're an energy midfielder. We're here to press, you know, put pressure. Now, we can give up the lead, though, after just equalizing. Okay, that was a good defensive play. Ball into Rose. Hey, okay, Tony, I see you, Tony. Ball into Ivan Tony. Oh, man. Inches away. That could have been the winner right there. Bro, we are putting so much pressure on Brighton, but they somehow get out of it. Oh, no. Danny Welbeck shoots. Good save, Strakosha. Corner sent in. That is going to be... Oh, man. That's good off the line. I think he just hit the post, too. Oh, boys. Get the ball out. Thank you. Jeez. Oh, no. Please. No. Please save it. Oh, Brighton are going to score. All our work is erased. I can't believe it. This has happened so much this season. Oh, man. What is it? We got three minutes now. Okay. Wait a second. We have a free kick. Oh, we're not taking it, though. I thought we may take it. 90th minute. We have a chance to maybe score here. Oh, I wish we were taking it, but it goes to our teammate. Can he score this? It's definitely scorable distance. We're going to try to get the rebound. If there is one. Shoots. Off the crossbar. Someone get the rebound, please. Oh, it's going to be cleared. Okay, find the pass, boys. Find it. Find it. Okay, good ball. Cross it in. That's going to be crossed to Rose. To Ivan Tony. Tony shoots. Oh, it's going to be blocked. That was the chance. Oh, man. I am heartbroken. That was the chance. It was a great It was a great free kick. Chance on the rebound, but it's going to be a 2-1 loss. Oh, man. We got an assist. We played good ourselves. I think that was a very solid game from us. But it's going to be another loss for this team. Okay, we got a short little interview after that game. And they ask us why we're not a regular starter. Like, it seems like every time we go off the bench, we have a good impact on the game. Now, like, we know what we really want to say. But we got to be professional, though. So once again, we say that we play whatever role the manager thinks is best for us. As long as it helps the team win games. But yeah, like we're starting to get a little bit annoyed here. Just a little bit. All right, next game is Fulham. It's currently 1-0. And it coming on again in the 68th minute. I mean, to be fair, like there's not many 18-year-olds like starting in the Premier League right now. But we feel like we're playing at a level where we could possibly start. But we just got to keep him off the bench. Having impact, that's all we can do. Keep trying to play our best game. Now up 1-0, 30 minutes left. We should win this game, really. Okay, that's awkward. That's going to be cleared. Matthew Rose get that clearance. Yes, we can. All right, this is Matthew Rose versus Mitrovic. Okay, our defensive ability is getting a lot better here quickly. Rose into Ivan Tony. Tony. Over the top to Matthew Rose. Waiting for the overlap. Waiting for it. Ivan Tony. 
Gets the ball. Side-footed finish. It's going to be saved. Our chemistry is going up, though. You can, like, see us connecting a lot more. Down the middle. Into Matthew Rose. Tries to get it to Aventoni. We do. Ivan! What was that finish? That should be an assist right there. Ivan, don't tell me you're doing it again. Don't tell me you're betting on the game. Awkward. Mitrovic. Ben me. Doesn't do a great clearance there, but we do get the ball back. That was very awkward. In to Willian. Please don't score. Defense holds up again. All right, corner to defend. That's going to be out to our teammates. And Strakosha makes an amazing save. Okay, this game is not that safe. Another corner sent in. We need to get a win on our belts. And off the line. Rebound. Out. Out to Rose. Out to Rose. Thank you. All right, give it to Ivan Tony. Tony, hold it up. So I got to do. In to Matthew Rose. Over to the striker. In to... Oh, man, we're not going to win that. Oh, we actually do. We cross it into Ivan Tony. Cross it in. Beautiful. Ivan Tony gets to it, but it's going to be right to the keeper. Bro, we are getting better, though. Oh, no. They got a free kick, I think, in a very good spot. Oh, no. They might score this. It's Willian. He's a very decent free kick taker. Free kick. And, of course, he puts it in the back of the net. We can't hold a lead to save our lives right now. Oh, it's making me sick. 12 minutes. The game is tied up. Get out. Into Matthew Rose. We find Ivan Tony. Oh, man. That was a bad pass, but we stay with it, though. We stay with it. Into the other striker. And he actually misses. Okay, was it saved? Okay, it was saved. I was about to get so mad. Oh, how do you still miss that, though? Corner sent in. Matthew Rose, we're fighting for it, but it's right at the keeper, though. Harrison Reed into that guy. I don't know who that is, but the shot is very tame. All right, boys, we got like six minutes. All right, Ivan Tony is making a little bit of a run. I like that. Oh, man, Yanelt. Yanelt finds Matthew Rose. We find the shot. Matthew Rose looking for the shot. And now we miss. How do we miss that shot? Oh, I feel sick to my stomach. I actually feel sick. A chance to score the winner, and we actually just put it wide. We got it two minutes. We play into the final whistle here. Yanelt into Ivan Tony. Tony gets it to Yanelt. Into Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose waiting for that pass. In. Oh, man. What was that? That was terrible. We get another chance, though. No, we don't, because Ivan Tony loses it. Oh, man. We just messed up that chance, too. And that game is going to end as a 1 1 draw. I actually feel sick right now. Our teammate has a chance to score off our assist. He misses. It actually was a good save, I guess. And then we just miss a great chance. Oh, man. This should have been a win. This kind of game where the manager looks at us and he's like, maybe he's not ready to play at this level. I don't even know. After that game, Thomas Frank comes up to us and he tells us first thing in the morning, he wants us in shooting training. I guess that's punishment for missing that chance. So here we are, bright and early in the morning, training on our shooting we just missed again i'm not gonna lie i am disgusted we missed that chance we gotta try and do good here at least have a little saving grace okay the keeper just took us out this is training sir like can you relax we just hit the post all right come on gotta score that one that's an easy one and we do score it all right next game is gonna be everton again 60th minute the game is currently nil nil i guess thomas frank just loves the 60th minute matthew rose sub man after that last game we can't we can't miss our chances like that once again the game is nil nil so a good chance to get a win against a very team that's struggling in real life right now all right that's a shot by dwight mcneil and that's right at strakosha all right right back it's matthew Rose into Ivan Tony. Tony gives it back into the right winger. This movement's decent. What a pass right there. Oh, Ivan Tony. That was beautiful, but he can't score. Okay, we're taking a corner. I like that. Matthew Rose swings in the corner. Ivan Tony. Someone's up to it. And that's actually an own goal, I think. I think that's an own goal. We send in the corner. Who is it? It is off. Uh, it's actually an own goal. An Everton player just acting like he was scoring. Who is it? I can't even see. I don't know who it is. It, it might be. Uh, I actually don't know, but. He just heads it right at Pickford. What just happened? Is that our assist? I mean, I don't think it is, but I wish it was. All right, 1-0. It was Decoray, 1-0 in the 60, I think, 8th minute. I mean, we'll take it. That is very weird. You don't see that very often. And now we're going on a run for our life. In to Ivan Tony. Tony plays it back to us. In to Matthew Rose. We can't miss the same chance we missed. And Pickford makes the save. How do we not score that? I am. I feel... I feel physically ill. How do we miss these chances? Oh, if they score now, I am going to be so, so upset. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, what just happened there? I don't even know. I think it was a good save, actually. That's going to be a, a bad cross out to Matthew Rose, though. All right, ball sent in by Everton again, and that's going to be one by Ivan Tony. I think that was handball, though. Maybe not, but that's a shot. Awkward. Okay, Jansen, great tackle. Oh, Nana brings it out. We're in the middle, blocking that passing lane. We're doing a good job, and we should just clear that. We do. Attack is not over, though. This Sean Dyke led Everton. Matthew Rose, what a tackle. Beautifully done. And now Matthew Rose into the striker. Please keep running. Why is he so slow? Keep running. Oh, man, he's got no stamina. And that shot was the most pathetic shot I've ever seen. You know, coming from us, we can't even say that. Never mind. Oh, man, that's a great ball. Oh, we can't stop that pass. Damari Gray, please no. Strakosha, great save. There's no way we lose another lead. There's no way. Please clear that. Thank you. We're first to it as usual. We got stamina. I am turning on the Jets. We don't have that much pace, but we're showing it. Oh, we got two men in the middle. Matthew Rose, swing it down the middle. 
That's gotta be a goal. Thank you, Ivan Tony, and that should be a win. We just use our stamina and pace there. Oh, thank you. We miss our chance. We make up for it, though. We make up for it with an assist, a game-winning assist. Thank you, Ivan Tony, and Embuemo for running the field. Okay, I feel a little bit better now. Right out to the right back. As of now, this game looks comfortable. If we just keep this up, all out wide, decent pass into Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose, chance to shoot. Pickford makes a great save. Bro, we're just struggling to finish our chances right now. Good ball, Matthew Rose. Have a chance to make it one more if we can play this smart. But okay, he just he was trying to just waste time, I guess. Okay, wait, we have one more chance, actually. Rose into Ivan Tony. Tony turns. Can we get on to that? We can. We get the shot away, I think, and it's going to go wide. It was actually saved. A little bit less embarrassing. Cross into the box. We are there for that. Not going to get it, though. And that's going to be probably another goal kick. Wait, chance still alive. Okay, Everton are on the ropes here. Rose, Rose, okay, keep it, please. Lay it out wide, good ball. Get into the box for the cross. Aaron Hickey, cross in, Rose is up for that. Oh man, we almost scored a header. It's gonna go wide. Hey, two nil win, we got the assist. We missed some chances still, but we got the assist that won the game. That right there was a better game. So I'm happy with that. Now, as we're walking out the field, Neil Malpai comes up to us and he tells us great finish, like being completely sarcastic. And we're like, hey, look at the scoreboard, bro. Like you lost. And he tells us, I'll see you on the pitch next time. Honestly, Neil Malpai is a little scary, to be honest. He's like, a, he's like a little pit bull. All right, next game, Villa, 60 second minute coming on. This game is going to be, it's gonna be a two one loss against Villa at home. Tony scored and we got a 5.4 with the rest of the team. All right, so we currently sit in 16th place. We're what? Only two points off the relegation zone. This We're still in a relegation fight here. But as you probably saw, our next game is against Manchester United Old Trafford tomorrow. Like we have a chance to get revenge on the team that basically said we weren't good enough. All right, it's been a very, uh, very long month of November though. Like we are absolutely rinsed here. So like we've been living in this apartment now for like what? Three or four months? Like, yeah, we can watch TV, play video games. Like maybe practice some piano while we're at it too. But we kind of feel like we're getting like cooped up in here. So we decided to take a little nap. And when we wake up, I think it's actually time to like go out somewhere. Okay, we wake up. It's about 5 p.m. It's time to go out like the streets of London for the first time and find something to do. Like quite literally outside our apartment, we have this nice big old park. So you know what? Let's uh, let's find something to do. You know why not uh, shoot some hoops? You know we're a multi-sport athlete here. Okay, we're not bad at basketball. Okay, maybe we are, maybe we, okay we are bad at basketball. And look at that, we're even making a friend. All right, it seems like we're making a couple friends here. You know we're a professional footballer. We're like a little bit of a celebrity. You know, you know we're taking a little jog over here now. Let's see what's over here. Like okay, we might be only 18, but I mean it's a karaoke bar. It's just karaoke bar you know, order a nice little beverage why not you know have a little relaxing time look at that we're making some friends you know making conversation i mean is it smart to be doing this like the night before a big game probably not but it definitely sounds like a professional footballer to me so bottoms up this is our first time ever being out in the uh, streets of london okay was there alcohol in that drink because i don't know what we're doing here this is turned into like a karaoke jam oh we're, we're getting into it we are getting into it okay we there might have been something in that drink i'm not sure okay people are literally getting up and leaving it's it's that bad matthew you're gonna be on tmz we gotta stop this are Reputation is bad enough. We need to leave. Okay, we definitely have some fun there, but it's time to actually be serious. We go for a little light jog to, uh, you know, run off whatever we drank. All right, finally, we get back home after uh, actually a pretty fun night. But we got Manchester United tomorrow. So you know what time it is. It's time to get pumped up, work out, and get ready for this huge game. Because if we get on the field, we have a chance to get revenge on Manchester United. So we need like a rocky type workout before a game here. Yeah, we're, we're dripping quite a lot of sweat here. All right, fast forward to the next day. It is game day. So we arrive at Old Trafford once again and walk in the tunnels. We actually see Steve McLaren. Like, as we know, basically the guy who told us we weren't good enough. He says, hey, you know, good to see you. He tells us that he's happy for all the success we've had at Brentford. And we're kind of like, yeah, yeah, I bet you are. And he tells us good luck in the game. And then Thomas Frank calls us over and tells us, I know this is late notice, but we've had an injury in the warm ups. You're starting this game. In our return to Old Trafford, we are starting against Manchester United. Now he tells us he knows there's a lot of personal feelings in this game. It's kind of why he's starting us, but he tells us to keep our emotions in check. Like, we could not be more happier. Finally, we're starting again. And then we see our good friend Garnacho in the in the tunnel and we tell him we're starting now unfortunately he is not starting so we decided to like mess with him a little bit we're like hey remember you said you're gonna score against us can't really score if you're not playing and he's like haha yeah don't push your luck like you better pray i don't get on the field against you and we're about to head back into the brentford uh, dressing room but then someone taps our shoulder and it's none other than david beckham he tells us he came to watch you know he's here today at old trafford to watch the game we tell him that we were just told we're starting in this game and he tells us he knows he's a former united legend but he tells us to make them regret not signing us like that is all the motivation we need. So United are currently in sixth place. Uh, that is current top four, by the way. And we sit down in the bottom half of the table. So, I mean, it's a it's a very big game. So we start in that left center mid spot. And this is our return to Old Trafford. Now, it was about like two or three months ago, we came here and played for the under 21 squad of Manchester United. Did not get signed. They didn't want to sign us. We have a chance to make them regret that. Like we could have been on that red side right there. We could have been in a red jacket playing for Manchester United, but we did not get it. This is like the biggest game of our career right here. It feels like. So Brentford v United kicked off. This one, this one's personal there was ever a game where i want to play well in it's this one ivan tony immediately chance 
it's gonna be dragged wide all right not a bad start though not a bad start to the game matthew rose into ivan tony gets it back to rose decently we were on we went around one there we might score oh okay that's actually an own goal that was so fast i could barely see what's happening but it's an own goal but we get to celebrate in front of the old trafford fans and it's one nil to brentford okay i could i barely was aware of what's happening we got past it there we go for the shot. De Gea saves it, but it's off, I think. Uh, the shot off De Gea is off Dallow's foot into the back of the net. Oh, I wish it was our goal, but hey, I'll take it. That's good enough. Dallow own goal based off our shot, and it's 1-0 to Brentford. It's been six minutes. You've already caused United to concede. All right, we know the attacking quality they have. We got to really be strong defensively this game. Anthony's shot. Anthony's shot. Anthony's shot is into the back of the net. What a goal by Anthony. Oh, man. Our goal is a race just like that. I guess we were kind of out of position there. I didn't expect him to, to move that fast or shoot like that. All right. Game is 1-1. We got to be more locked in than that. What a shot, though. And Buemo into Matthew Rose. Tries to get it to Ivan Tony. He was in there. We got to get him get the ball there. All right. Ben Me into Rose. Good pass, though. Works ball around into Matthew Rose. Look for the shot. We're going to shoot instead. That was selfish. Oh, man. We want to score against United. That was so selfish, though. Okay, we're working around the United defense. Not bad here. Another chance for Rose to get on a run. We're going to lay it off the striker into Ivan Tony. Tony shoots. We could have been there for the rebound. Oh, man. It's going to fall. That's a shot. And what is happening? That's going to be a corner. What a sequence. Okay, we are not taking this corner, but we are getting into the mix. That is across to Matthew Rose. That was actually off, uh, I think, Casemiro. Hey, we're getting in the mix here on these corners. We are getting in the mix. Rose, we're not going to win that one, though. Ball to Matthew Rose. We find the pass, maybe. We can't take another selfish shot. Good pass, though. Good pass. Gets it to Matthew Rose. He's fouled. I'll take that foul, honestly. We will take that. Who is taking the free kick, though? Don't tell me it's us. Oh, it's not us. Let us take the free kick. We would score this totally, I feel like. All right, Buemo, I, I have faith in you in scoring this. I wish it was us. Are we going to go up 2-1? Free kick into... It was a good free kick. I'll give them that good save, though. Ball lofted in again. That's a great corner. It's going to be out a little bit. Flipped up, though. Man, these corners are so chaotic. Okay, we just intercepted that pass to Veghorst. Beautiful. Now, we're going to play that up to Embuemo. Embuemo to Matthew Rose. Waiting for Ivan Tony. Waiting for him. I didn't see the opening, and we take the shot. It, okay, that was a, not as selfish as the last one. It wasn't our worst shot. We're really trying to make something happen here, though. We are playing with our emotions in this game. Probably a little bit too much. Okay, we got a chance to make a run here. Going to play that into Ivan Tony. Tony back to... Back to Rose, into Embuemo. That wasn't a great pass by us, though. All right, swing over. Tomine shot. Decent defensive work and cover there. Bad clearance by De Gea. Going to be into Rico Henry, into Matthew Rose, into... Okay, Embuemo, we're right here. We are right here. Oh, I didn't call for it. Rico Henry finds Matthew Rose. Oh, man, we're so close to this goal. We just can't get it to the right person. If he would have found us a second earlier, we'd have a much better shot. Bruno Fernandez, we are marking Bruno Fernandez. Quite a big... A big task for us, Veghorst. Okay, we're, we'll collect that. We're good. Ivan Tony, little give and go. Beautiful. Out to our striker. We got space here. Out to Matthew Rose. We pick out the pass. We're going to try and loft that in. Beautiful. Into Yanelt. And he is not going to put it in the back of the net, though. What a ball by Matthew Rose. All right, corner swung in. That is terrible. That is out to no one. That is out to us, though. We're going to try a first time pass there. Lay it off. And of course, he loses it. I am so I'm so upset with that. That is the first half. 1-1. One, one. What a first half. This is chaos. I mean, we caused the first goal. We didn't exactly score it, but we caused it. We need to have a big second half, though. Because I feel like we can score in this game. We can definitely win and score. We need to make the right plays. Jane Sancho over to Casemiro into Ben Fernandez. We're going to try and mark. He's kind of like a, our opposite player in this lineup. He's the one we got to make sure the ball does not get to a dangerous spot. But we're kind of we're doing a lot here. Where's our other midfielders? They're not doing that much. Sancho against Ben Me. Gets around him, and then we do make the tackle, though. Oh, we got space here. Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony, I see you. Ivan Tony lays it off. Wait, he does actually. Matthew Rose chance to score, and De Gea is going to save it. I didn't expect that pass from Ivan Tony. Oh, man, another chance to score, and we ruin it. Oh, man, long shot right at Strakosha. Man, we should have scored that. I'm actually so mad. All right, get this ball out. We kind of got, we got some space here, actually. Get it over to Ivan Tony. Get it out wide. Actually, down the middle is perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Good ball. We're in the box here. We are in the box. Cross in. Rose tries to climb for it. It's going to be cleared, though. Nord guard in to Matthew Rose. Into Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony shoulders the defender. Plays it back. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, this is, there's still space here. Rose into Enbuemo. Shoots. De Gea makes a save. We can't get the rebound. Corner sent in. That is going to be cleared out to Matthew Rose. We're going to volley that. Okay, that was right at the keeper. We wanted better technique than that. Matthew Rose in. Okay, I don't want that back like that, but we steal that. We actually stay with it. We have a chance here. Get out. Please shoot. He's going to shoot. Oh, he was so slow too. Bro, this game is winnable. Cross sent in again. Cleared. Out to Matthew Rose. Gets it to us. Okay. Whoa. Bruno Fernandez just took us out. We remember that. Oh, man. Attack for United. This is like our story of the season. We have chances. We don't take them. 
and then they take their chances and score that time they don't at least we got 15 minutes this has been just a chaos game okay both teams kind of going for it here at least it feels like last 10 minutes i think someone's gonna score here bruno into rashford defense sniffs it out though ball into matthew rose gets it ivan tony good ball ball out wide that is gonna be a pass oh ivan tony collects it into matthew rose plays it to the striker he's gonna turn shot oh gets right back to deheya bro another good chance we get a chance here final minute of the game through ball to Embuemo. chance to score Embuemo, please score he's gonna score and that's the winner we don't get a celebration but Embuemo just scored our assist and we just won at old trafford that came out of nowhere he made a darting run and we just played the ball into him we might have actually just won this game in the 90th minute based off our assist oh please let that be the final goal please ref blow the whistle have we just won in our return to old trafford ref blow the whistle please okay they might have one more chance tackled on Jaden sancho we have chance for another attack maybe we do rose out wide back into rose we hold it into the striker Okay, striker. Give it to Matthew Rose. Play it. We're swinging this around. Yanelt. Visa. In to Matthew Rose. We're going to shoot. And we have scored and sealed the game for our team. I don't know why we're not getting celebrations, but Matthew Rose just scored at Old Trafford to seal the game 3-1. What has happened here in the final, like, four minutes? Matthew Rose left-footed shot. We finally put one in the back of the net. Oh, man. We just beat Manchester United at Old Trafford. What a win for the team. What a performance. What an everything. That was such a dogfight type of game. So many missed chances, mistakes on both sides. Sloppy. But in the end, we had the assist to give us the lead. And then we had a little tiny bow in the game and our goal to seal the win. I can't believe we just did that at Old Trafford. As we're walking out the field, Ten Hag comes up to us. And he tells us he remembers watching us in our first under-21 match. And he saw that we definitely had some potential and he tells us good game and he gives us a little bit of encouragement saying keep going keep it up you can feel the regret in his eyes because we just beat manchester united oh man man of the match too in the dressing room the boys are going nuts like that is probably our best win of the season right there and in our return we get man of the match thomas frank tells us we fought so hard in that game he's so proud of us and he tells us once again the media wants to speak to us so yet again another post game press conference first question from a premier league reporter and they ask us how does it feel scoring against a team that almost signed you and oh man we want to say how we truly feel so badly but once again we try and be professional here and we just say like scoring in a game of this magnitude is always wonderful but most importantly the team got the win now next question tim slater from the athletic who if you remember we met previously before and he tells us have you seen the report from fabrizio romano saying that brentford are 100 percent looking to loan us out in january for sure he's given it the here we go now like we we are shocked for one why would the manager tell us himself like tell us before we get told by a reporter and then after that game what are you talking about how good we play like why don't brentford want us so like we have no clue what to say we just say uh the first time hearing about it and we kind of say like we'll have to talk about management before we have a comment on that so we can't really uh have a comment on that question and like we we are not happy right now so we go straight to thomas frank and we're asking him if it's true what the reporter just told us and he tells us that it is true but they didn't want us to find out like that it, it got leaked like these things happen and we're like with how good we've been playing why do you want to loan us out like we can stay and contribute to the team we feel like and he tells us well that might be true the coaching staff thinks that we got a lot to work on if we want to become like a regular starter including like positioning defensive positioning and we're still just 18 years old and tell us that they think that six months out on loan for the rest of the season will really really help us in our career and like honestly if we really think about it rationally he might be right but we can't help but be mad though so we give him a very short answer like yeah okay sure and we walk out so we head home after that game and we are just uh we're a little bit mad like we feel like no matter how good we do like things still change people don't believe in us or at least like that's how we're taking it so we just eat dinner you know try to relax try to cool off a bit and we start thinking to ourselves like come on we we know we believe in ourselves. that's the most important thing here like we go out on loan we ball out we come back and we prove that we we're ready to play at the premier league level like just how may United didn't sign us we came back and we proved them wrong we know we can do the same exact thing again so we start getting some frustration out with some push-ups and once again we receive a call it's of course from phil giles and he tells us he's calling about our loan move now like he said there's interest from mls air division and la liga 2 also a few other leagues but he says that himself thomas frank the management team that they are strongly recommending a certain league for us to go out and loan to that they think will definitely benefit our career and help develop our skills and you know what now we cooled off now we're thinking about this very rationally like like send us out on loan you know we'll prove you wrong again just like we proved steve mclaren wrong in manchester united so we're like sure we'll go to the league that you guys recommend and phil giles tells us the league that we're going to be loaned out to is going to be revealed in the next episode and also decided by you guys so when this video goes live there's going to be a poll on my community tab a vote on which league we should be loaned out to now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to leave that vote up for like maybe three or four or five hours and then i'm going to take it down so if you're watching this video after that the poll is not there it's already been decided so go vote and you guys are going to decide where matthew goes for the next six months out on loan.
Okay, Matthew Rose is about to be loaned out, and you guys voted and chose the league in which Rose will be loaned out to. Now, we have had a great time at Brentford, but the manager and staff think it's best for our career if we get loaned out for six months, you know, to get playing time as like a regular starter, hopefully. Now, we are not happy about this, but it's also a chance for us to yet again prove our doubters wrong. So if you guys want to keep seeing more of the series, then drop a like down below, and uh, we got to start packing here. But first, as you can see, I think we need to take a shower. You can literally see the stench. So very, very quick shower here. So we're packing our clothes, we're packing our belongings, and we we found out which league we're being loaned out to. And that league is going to be the Eredivisie in the Netherlands. I mean, it's a league that's known for developing a lot of young talent, so it makes a lot of sense. Although we're still not ecstatic about it. Now, in terms of the team we're playing for, as you can see, Fabrizio Romano reports that Matthew Rose will be loaned out to Vitesse in the Eredivisie. I mean, they're like a mid-level to low-level uh, Eredivisie team, but they guaranteed us regular starting time. So as we're researching our new team, we get a call on our cell phone, and it's our old manager, Neil Wood. Now he tells us he heard about our loan move, and we told him that we're not exactly happy about it, but we're gonna try and make our best of it. And Neil Wood says being loaned out is the part of being a very young, good player. That Brentford value us. They just want us to get regular starting time. And he says, hey, go play in the Eredivisie. If you play well, season two, you come back to Brentford, you could start regularly. Like, the sky is the limit here. And as annoyed as we are, he's right. So we tell him thanks. We'll be in touch. So for the last time in a while, we sleep in our own bed. And then tomorrow morning, we head off to Brentford offices. We sign the contract and we're off to the Netherlands. All right, 8 a.m., we go into Thomas Frank's office. We're here to, like, officially sign the contracts. And he tells us there's been a development, a last minute development here. There's a new team that wants to bring us in on loan. So we're like, all right, uh, who, who is this team? And he says another team in the Eredivisie, but a much better team than Vitesse. He says that team is PSV. That last minute they come in to try to steal the deal away from Vitesse. And PSV manager Ruud van Nistelrooy promises us to be a regular first team player and a potential regular starter for PSV. Because I mean, as we know, they just lost uh, Matawake, Cody Gakpo, like probably looking for some January reinforcements. So we take a second to think about it. Like it might be a bit harder to fight for a starting spot in this team, but our gut is telling us to choose PSV. So we choose PSV to sign for on loan. So we sign the contract. Thomas Frank wishes us good luck on our loan. And we are heading to the Netherlands, to the Eredivisie. So we go out the office. Our teammates wish us one final goodbye. We'll see you in six months, they say. And uh, we are heading to the Netherlands. So we take a same day flight from England all the way to the Netherlands. Like from leaving our parents' house to get our own apartment to now moving to a foreign country. This is just like so much change for us. So we land at the airport. Someone from PSV picks us up and tells us they'll take us to where we'll be staying for the next six months. Like I'm already missing our apartment. So we arrive at the apartment complex and he gives us the keys and says, if you need anything else, let him know and make sure to report to PSV training first thing in the morning. So I'm thinking maybe we can try and make this like into a little vacation. Like we probably got a new nice apartment. We're in a foreign country. We can experience new things. All of that is true, except a new nice apartment because uh, this is our new apartment here for the next six months. Uh, so first thing I noticed is uh, the front door has a window. I guess privacy is not a thing here. And so you walk in and so far, I mean, it's not, it's not that bad. Uh, the decor is questionable. And then to the right, we got our bathroom, which, okay, it's a it's a solid, solid bathroom. It's a little stain there. But you know what? Bathroom is, a bathroom is not the worst thing. Now, this is the kitchen. Now, it's not our kitchen back home. I mean, there's just a, a large feeling of things being dirty here. Things don't look clean. Like, these countertops have not been cleaned in six months. I mean, the fridge and stove do match, though. We got some, like, chip paint on the cabinets, of course. Uh, we also have a computer, which uh, looks like it's from, like, 1946. It is literally the first computer. And now, uh, this is the living room. So, we got a, we got a punching bag. That is going to get some use. So, there's the couch. I mean, it's just, it looks like a solid, solid sofa. Not sure about that chair. Uh, we have an exposed, like, power panel. What a nice addition to the living room. And then we have, like, some exposed uh, pipes. Like, oh, that's nice. And then, uh, this is our TV. Uh, there was no TV stand, so we just we just stacked our suitcases up as a TV stand. Like, yeah, that's where we're gonna be watching our uh, Premier League matches. Also playing FIFA on. And then, I mean, bedroom. I mean, what else do we expect? Coloring's weird. We got a dresser. We got a bed. The bedroom overall is not the worst part of this apartment. Like, we weren't expecting a five-star apartment here, but we were also not expecting this. So uh, we get settled in uh, watching some TV on the world's smallest TV. Like this is our home for the next uh, six months. Now there's not really a dining table. So I guess we eat on the couch. Another great feature of this apartment. Okay. It's been a long day of traveling. So we eat off to bed tomorrow morning. We report for our first training session with PSV. All right. Before that though, I think you should improve your stamina as you have to work both offensive and defensive. Yeah, definitely our play style box box mid. We're going to need our stamina to be high. We actually have a decent starting stamina at 78. So we're like, naturally we got a pretty high motor here, but as time goes on, we're going to need to improve that. Because Rose needs an agent, you should use uh, Jorge Mendez. Yeah, we still need to hire an agent. Like, it would be nice. That'd be our dream agent, maybe. But we're gonna need to sign someone soon. We've got to sign someone we can trust to be our agent. Like, that doesn't take advantage of us. As you can see, we've upgraded to a 71 overall now. So, from the last episode, another four skill points. So, ball control 74, dribbling to 70, and then short passing all the way to 79. So, this is like a very decent upgrade. Our passing's better, our dribbling and ball control are much better. I mean, coming to PSV, coming to their division, I'm hoping we can develop our skills even more. So, the next morning, we arrive at the PSV offices. The training 
training ground for our very first day as a PSV player. Manager introduces himself, of course. Rude Van Nistelrooy is our manager. And there it is, Matthew Rose in a PSV kit for the very, very first time. We have officially made our move. Now, the funny thing is, whenever team Salford, May United, uh, Brentford, all their colors were always in red. But we have officially made the move. Now, this is all our team. We got Sangata. We got uh, Luke De Jong, who's currently the captain. We got Xavi Simons, who we can maybe form like a partnership with. That'd be very nice. We also have Fabio Silva on loan here. But no matter what, no Cody Gakpo. We are the reinforcements brought in. So currently, PSV are 11 points off Ajax in first. Well, we're in fourth, which is not a bad spot. As you can see, we almost joined Vitesse. They're in 17th. So it feels like we dodged the bullet there, maybe. Now, PSV are in the Europa League. Uh, okay, they actually topped their group. So we're going to be in the Europa League. Matthew Rose may be playing in Europe for the first time. So that is pretty big. And if we become a regular starter here, I think we could do some very good things here at PSV. So here it is. First training session at PSV. Van Nistelrooy says, you work hard in training, you'll get game time for sure. It's guaranteed. And then he's very excited to see us play. He's got some large expectations for us. And also, Chavi Simons introduces himself too. Of course, says, welcome to the club. Looking forward to playing together. Now, ourselves and Chavi are kind of like in similar spots here. Like a little bit of a flop at PSG now trying to prove himself at PSV. Like pretty much same thing as us. So we say, yeah, we're excited to play. It's going to be fun getting out on the field together. All right, Van Nistelrooy wants to see us run some attacking scenarios. Like, hey, we got a really good chance of like honing our skills here at PSV. And I mean, we can always try and catch uh, Ajax. It's a, it's a tough task, but I mean, that is our task basically. Pretty simple first day of training. Rose taps it in for a tap in and they score. Matthew Rose, a little dink over to the captain, Luke De Jong, and he scores. I mean, we got a pretty good strike here, kind of like Ivan Tony. Luke De Jong is a solid striker for the Eredivisie, although we did just miss that chance. Into Matthew Rose. Oh, we just went for something special. Doing a bit of flair. All right, Matthew Rose, go for power shot in front of goal, into the back of the net, into the back of the net. First training session, that's an A. Ruud Van Nistelrooy says, great session. And then next game, you're not starting yet, but you'll be brought on as a sub for sure at some point. So after a good training session, we head back home. And despite the circumstances, we are ready to make the best out of this opportunity this next six months. And now they didn't give us like a workout gym or anything, but they didn't give us a punching bag, which would be very nice for getting our anger out on. I mean, it's an underdog story just like Rocky. You know, this computer is so old, it actually has one game on it and it has Tetris on it. That is how old this computer is. But you know what? It's something to kill time because our first PSV game is tomorrow. Now, as we're playing, we get a phone call and it's David Beckham calling us. Says he's calling to check in on us, see how we're doing. He heard about the loan move. And we tell him like, yeah, we wanted to stay at Brentford, but we're trying to make the best out of this. And Beckham says he was loaned out early in his career too. He was loaned out to Preston and he says it's a chance for you to develop your skills more. And then we've got a good manager in Ruben Nistelrooy. All right, fast forward the next day, though. It's time for our first PSV game. All right, for our first game PSV, you know, we got some new boots. We got the light blue boots. Now, we're trying to get sponsored, like maybe Mizuno, New Balance. But as of right now, we've got no boot sponsor yet. And also, we're thinking about having a new haircut for, uh, you know, a new spell in our career here at PSV. I think next episode, we'll try and have a new cut. But first game of PSV at home against Head and Veen, which I don't know how to pronounce. All right, into the dressing room for the match. Luke Deong, the captain of PSV, comes up to us and tells us, you did well in training. Just bring that same energy into the game and you'll do great. And then Rude Van Nistelrooy tells us, be ready to come on. And oh, trust me, we are ready. So we tell him we're ready, we're ready to make an impact boss, and also ready to prove every single doubter wrong. So fast forward, 60 second minute, Rose coming on, it's currently 2-0 to PSV. So we have the lead. It is time for our Eredivisie and PSV debut. All right, here we go. In front of the home fans, Matthew Rose coming on for the first time. We are looking to make a very large impact here at PSV. I mean, hey, we're 2-0 up, there's not a lot of pressure here, just keep the lead. Now, this is a league we should, we should pretty much dominate in. Like, we were doing it in the Prem, but they're Eredivisie, we should be one of the better players in this league. We should be. All right, that's good ball to Matthew Rose. First touch and a PSV kit. Now, I don't think uh, Chavi Simone's on the field this game. I think it's probably brought up on the bench, maybe. Okay, we're trying to make a very big impact. We just almost we almost just nutmeg that guy, I think. We have never been more hungry in our career than this. Matthew Rose into... I gotta learn names. I don't know any of my teammates, but that's a good ball to Matthew Rose. We got a cross to the striker, cross back. That's a shot. Almost our first assist immediately. Okay, we're taking corners. I like that. Matthew Rose swinging in the corner. Beautiful. Teammate doesn't get to it, though. Ball into Matthew Rose. Finesse shot, chance, finesse shot. Keeper saves it. That was a good shot right there. We're not taking corners on the opposite side, which makes sense. That one is going to be cleared. In to Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot left-footed shot over the net. Okay, we're a little bit too eager there, but we want, we want to score so badly. Prove the doubters wrong. We also have to get better at defending, which I feel like... Towards the end of our end of the few months, we've gotten a little better. That's a good save by the keeper, though. It's just something we've got to keep working on. Corner swung in. That should be cleared by our teammate. It is. Can we actually win this? We might be able to actually teammate. Get it throws. I think he did actually. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Now we got oh, just destroy that defender into the striker. No, oh, this striker's gonna lose it. We just destroyed that defender though. We're showing a little bit of skill there. We're not exactly a skiller, but we showed it there. Are right, we gonna try and switch the play here? Oh, a little left foot half volley pass to our teammate. That's not bad. Into Matthew Rose, looking for a teammate out wide. The right pass, I think. He's gonna cross it in. Matthew Rose header. Keeper makes the save. We almost just scored our first goal. It's not the bad debut. I'd like a goal and an assist to go with it, but so far, it's been not bad. What are our teammates? What did we just do there? Matthew Rose. Great pass, too. I'm not even sure who. 
and he's gonna send it wide. That could have been another assist. Hey, we're making things happen though. Wait, Chavi is on the field. I didn't see him. Was he brought on as a sub? I don't even know. But Rose into De Jong. That's gonna be a through ball, maybe into Matthew Rose. We were making the run. Yeah, we are like pretty much dominating this game right now. Rose over to Chavi. Is that the first? That is the first assist, and it's to Chavi Simons. Is there gonna be a new duo here at PSV? Matthew Rose and Chavi Simons. Because we just turn a little bit, left foot a pass into him. He did most of the work, got by those two defenders, and then it's a solid finish for 3 0. Debut assist, though, for Matthew Rose. Oh, even some defensive work. The tackle leading straight into the attack. Matthew Rose making a run into Luke De Jong. That pass was pitiful from us. Oh, that was so bad. Hey, we're pressing, though. We're pressing. How did he get biased there? How do we not steal that? Cross in the box. Whoa, that, that's a great cross and a great header. That was a great goal, but it won't affect the game, I don't think, that much. All around one defender. We're showing out here a little bit. He rose into Luke De Jong. Luke De Jong, he's looking for us. Gonna get it to Matthew Rose. Play it out wide. Good ball. Cross maybe into Matthew Rose. Mogazi, not gonna reach us. We're gonna try and fight for it, though. And we don't. Okay, boys, what are we doing? This can't be 3-2. They just hit the crossbar. What a shot. Okay, we're kind of lucky with that one. Ball into Rose. We have one more chance, maybe, for an attack. Back into Rose. Luke De Jong, I see you. Luke De Jong, we're overlapping. Luke De Jong, find something. Do something. Okay, what? Oh, okay, what a pass, actually. Final chance of the game. Cross in. Rose, we're up for it. We just got sandwiched. Ball into Rose, though. Rose, oh, we can't get a touch on it. That's going to be game. All right, you know what? 3-1. We had an assist. We looked, like, incredibly good coming on there. So, I would say a very solid debut in the air to busy for Matthew Rose. Like, we are here to tear things up in this league, in this foreign country. So, into the dressing room, the boys. Or that was a very good performance from us. That was, uh, was a very nice first game. And look at that. We're training before the next game. And the assistant manager comes and posts the starting 11 for the next game. I mean, hey, it's only taken us one game. But it seems that already Rude Van Nistelrooy is giving us the start. Rude Van Nistelrooy calls us over and tells us after that last performance, he wants to see more. So, he's starting us in this next game. He says you've earned it and to give it your all out there. So, that right there is lineup. We're actually playing as an attacking midfielder. Like, not as much box to box, which arguably, I mean, it complements our best ability. So, maybe that should be our best spot. I don't know. Our very first start in the air divisie. So, an assist in game number one. Game number two, we're starting. What can Matthew Rose do? We are looking to have a very good game in this one. And it's kicked off. We know Thomas Frank. We know everyone that doubted us is watching. Matthew Rose into Luke De Jong. Back to Matthew Rose. Looking for Luke De Jong. Not a bad ball. That was not a bad chance at all, actually. Now, playing as a central attacking midfielder, you got to kind of like, I guess, be more ready to connect the attack, not so much defensive work, which once again, probably uh, compliments us. Our skill is the best. Oh, what a move by PSV. Somehow, oh, they actually do score it. I was going to say, how do you not score that chance? That was beautiful. We weren't even involved really, but that's 1-0 to PSV. All right, beautiful start. All right, free kick for the other team. I got to pronounce these names. I don't even know how to pronounce half like the busy teams, honestly. Okay, that was a very interesting touch, but we're away here. Oh, man, I wanted I wanted a better through ball than that. Okay, ball in the box. Defense is nowhere to be found. What a block by our center back, though. Now, we're still a midfielder, though. We still got to, like, try to, uh, obviously, to help defend. Luke De Jong, though, out wide to Ogazi. Probably one of our better players. Ogazi crossed that thing in. Matthew Rose, we are so not fighting for that one, though. Man, we play faster at PSV. This is almost like a Premier League match. How fast we're playing. What a touch by Rose. Ogazi in to Matthew Rose. Shot, and that's our first goal in the Eredivisie. What a shot, and what a move by PSV. That right there was beautiful work first start that that toucher that to get by like three defenders was amazing then El Ghazi into Rose it's a solid finish hey Matthew Rose has arrived we just need to keep building on this as you can imagine we score and get a lot of assists we could really improve our skills here like in our overall maybe in like the mid 70s before we head back to Brentford I mean that's the goal here all right let's switch the play to El Ghazi okay don't don't do a switch to play with a left foot Matthew that was not good so far though I'm like what I'm seeing from this uh PSV team like we are one of the better teams in this league we should be at least that's gonna be a ball into Matthew Rose it's gonna be it is. We have a chance for maybe our second goal. And we're going to finish that. We have a brace in the first half. Oh, man. What a first half for Matthew Rose. We worked through their defense so easily right there. We are stat padding in a farmer's league in front of the goal. This is actually a solid finish. Like, the angle is not the best. But we get it by the keeper there. Man, two goals in the first half. This has gone swimmingly so far. Oh, as I'm saying that, they might score. But he's offside. That's unfortunate for them. All right, head that over to, is it Till or Teal? I don't even know. Looking for this pass, though. Okay, that's into Luke de Jong. Low in, okay, he could have found us for our hat trick, but he, he decided to shoot. He is a striker, so I'm cool with it. You can imagine PSV fans are sad about Cody Gakpo and, and Matawake leaving. But now they're excited about 18-year-old Matthew Rose. Into the second half, all we need is just more of the same, really. All even a tackle for Matthew Rose. We are here for revenge. Luke de Jong into Matthew Rose. Trying to find the pass. Gets it too. Luke de Jong, he's going to shoot. Into Matthew Rose. We're going to try and fake shot a little bit. Go for a shot. Okay, we tried, we tried something there. It did not work, though. Try this again. 
Matthew Rose. Oh, man, we just got tackled. Okay, all right, we actually passed it there. That's a pass. I'm going to call that a pass. Into our teammate, he shoots, and then it's going to go wide. And Eredivisie ain't the Premier League. That's all I'm saying. As I say that, we're about to concede. As I say that, we're going to concede. Nope, Cuba makes a good save. Almost uh, just jinx our own team. Ball sent in. That is going to be over the net, thankfully. Oh, we got, we got numbers here a little bit. Luke De Jong looking for Matthew Rose. Look for him. Finds us. We're going to try to get an assist, though. Oh, we were too slow there. Can we make up for it, though? Into Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot a finesse shot. That was actually so bad. Uh, scratch that one from the record, please. All right, doing a little bit of defensive work. Matthew Rose, we didn't win that one. That's a shot right at the keeper. And we got space here. This defense, the other team, is not that great. Into Luke De Jong. What a touch by Luke De Jong. What a pass. Is he going to get to it? No, he's not. And our front three has played so good, though. All over the top defense. See how they hold up. That's a great move by that guy, but our keeper's had a very good game in this one. I think he's one of our better players, Benitez. Oh, that's around one. We got a few more, though. Oh, around the other one. Matthew Rowe is going on the run of his life. Looking for his teammates. Looking for his teammates. Oh, we can't finish it off. We just ruined it. Hey, we're becoming like a little skiller. We're like Anthony. We're in the air debates for two games. We already know how to skill. All right, a few minutes left. See if we can get one more thing in this game. That's a bad pass. Okay, we're running forward, though. We got space. We're going for a power shot. Okay, it goes over the net. Was that selfish? It might be. Was it the worst shot ever, though? Uh, probably not. It had some fizz to it. But that is full time. 3-0. It's a brace for Matthew Rose in his first start. Like, playing as an attacking mid, we got a lot more freedom to go forward, obviously. And, hey, that might unlock more of our attacking ability in this team. If Van Nistelrooy keeps us at cam. The boys are hype about that one. That was a very, very solid performance there. Especially, especially for us. Van Nistelrooy tells us, pretty much simply put it, keep playing like that, you'll keep starting. So we tell him, yes, sir, we're going to try to keep it up. Like, I feel like we're going to absolutely tear it up in this league. And after a game like that, of course, the media wants to talk to us. So our first interview at PSV. First question is from ESPN. They say, congrats on your first game. Congrats on those two goals. And they ask, do you feel like you have a point to prove in your loan move here? And yeah, we're a little bit angry about our loan move here. So I feel like we're going to let some of that out with these answers here. So we say that in a way, yes, like we're here to prove our ability. And we say that having a point to prove in our play also will help the team win. So that's our two goals. Next question is from Sky Sports. And they ask us, do you think you guys can catch Ajax in first place, like in PSV, try to make a comeback for that league title or title race? And we say with us here, we have a chance that we, if we play the best of our ability, PSV has a chance of catching Ajax and we're going for this league title. Now that kind of just came out like that's one of our more, uh, I guess, like egotistical answers. And that's it for the interview. And we head back into the dressing room and Luke Dion comes up to us and says, he knows that we're just on loan here, but don't lose the team mentality you have. Like play for the team, not for yourself. Like I think we're letting some of that uh, loan anger come out in a bad way. So we tell him that we'll keep that in mind moving forward. So we head home after that game. And man, like after sitting down and cooling off a bit, we realize we can't let our ego get in the way of the team. Like we got to remain the team player that we are like even here out on loan so after a long game we head in bed for the night like this is probably going to be like the biggest six months of our career like it's either sink or swim okay matthew rose has been loaned out to psv in the air divisie so for the next six months this is our apartment here uh yeah it's it's pretty bad but we're gonna try to make the best out of this fall out in the air divisie and then get back to brentford in season two and then earn a premier league starting spot and also we're starting to make a name for ourselves in our career so we might actually have some sponsorship deals here very soon but as always drop a like down below if you want to see more of this series like i said before this is probably the biggest six months of matthew rose's career and you might have noticed we've changed our hair a little bit i mean we didn't actually change it we kind of just grew it out more so hair is getting longer also the barber we usually go to is back in london so we don't really know anyone here that cuts hair so we're kind of stuck with this for now so you might notice a few more things in our apartment like we've tried to add a few more things to the apartment to make it feel more like a home but honestly this place is just a dump you know what it's our dump not gonna lie though this place is uh pretty lonely we're getting a little lonely in here so we've got a solution for this um we're gonna buy a fish we invested in a little small uh fish tank right now it's currently unoccupied and uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna buy a fish to be our friend here so goldfish tetra or guppy i mean we gotta go for a classic uh goldfish right okay just like that we have we have a new fish we have a goldfish oh man that's our new friend there he, he looks cool he looks like a chill guy you know i mean they're very chill what do we name him though he needs a name um how about how about gary i feel like i like gary yep that's his name so this is our new friend gary like we're not alone in this apartment anymore gary's such a chill guy look at the boys the gang's all here ah uh, this might be a little sad um we did get a treadmill in here though we're trying to get some workouts in here we can't get a full gym we got a treadmill though it's good enough you know we can break some sweat in the apartment hey being a midfielder we gotta work on that stamina you know but okay we say goodbye to gary and we head off for training okay as we get to the training grounds we notice a new face is here because as we know we're still in the transfer window basically and that new player is kareem adiyemi so it looks like psv have brought in another player on loan from dortmund he says hey good to meet you we're like yeah it's kind of funny we both malone in recently the past couple weeks and we're like hey we'll try to get you some goals in the next game and adiyemi says yes sir sounds good so i guess psv are like matthew rose and adiyemi are the matawake and cody Gakpo replacements but shavi simone's rose and that adiyemi those are three solid young players all right ruben Nistroy wants to see us uh, do some in-game set pieces training now we do kind of want to be like a free kick specialist we just haven't been given the chance yet so if we can show in training that we know what we're doing 
then it might sound like okay we just hit the crossbar how many times have we hit the crossbar from free kick training okay we're scoring this one 100 percent into the back and then we even hit the uh we even hit like the goal the target all right a penalty for matthew rose in training good save by the keeper that's not great give another free kick a go i feel like that one looks good and keeper what a save we are gonna swing this one in matthew rose not the okay that's actually not the worst delivery you know i was gonna say bad actually wasn't that bad all right last one though we gotta score this we gotta score the final one to show Ravenna's story we can shoot free kicks i mean it was on target all right actually one more penalty and that is into the top left hand corner and we get an a on that training drill like that's what i'm saying like let us take free kicks then this comes up and says our next game is a huge huge game we're facing finord so he says to make sure to bring your a game okay first comment i think cam is way to go is your position as you can score goals assist more and still defend a bit yeah it seems that psv they play with the cam so we we're playing at cam i think it probably suits our our best skills better but i think whether we play sentiment or cam depends on which team we play for if, if, if they have a formation that has a cam next one beckham is very close to rose he should find him an agent yeah i would say within the next like month or two we need uh, we need to hire an agent like sign one and we got to be careful don't sign someone that doesn't take advantage of us but we need one extremely extremely soon and hey asking beckham's actually a very good idea okay this episode's upgrades we're up to a 72 overall that's pretty good but finishing to 60 dribbling 74 then short passing to 82 so passing into the 80s is really good to see like we're slowly slowly getting better and i feel like in the end of AZ, we can really really get better quickly also there's another look at our new hairstyle i mean it's pretty similar it's just uh it's just overall a bit longer but yeah kareem adiemi like that's a pretty good signing for us i think it becomes our best uh, right winger so he He's going to help us out a lot this season, along with us. The uh, reinforcements are brought in. And currently, we sit now, what? 14 points off Ajax in first. We uh, do have a game at hand. We also face them, I think, in this episode. So we could gain some ground. But first up, huge game against Feyenoord. So we start at camp, and then Adiemi starts at right wing in the first game. I'm curious to see how this is going to go playing with Kareem Adiemi. Okay, our first appearance for PSV off the bench. We got an assist. Second game we started, we scored a brace. So, so far, it's been a very good start for us here, here in the Netherlands. We just got to try and keep it up. Feyenoord, one of the better teams in this league, along with us. This one here is a decently big game also curious to see how eddie emmy does in his first game because he's a solid player here's eddie emmy himself we're making that run he goes for the shot himself okay the shot wasn't too far off i'm kind of a little bit mad that he didn't pass to us but it was fine oh you might notice we have a new number two you guys noticed that uh there was a bit of a kit uh kit error in us and algazi have the same number so instead of being 21 for psv we actually changed it to 11 which was open the problem with this many players on loan it's like everyone's kind of playing for themselves we got to keep like Luke De Jong said, keep the team mentality. Okay, this is a great move. Oh, what a great move into Luke De Jong. Okay, I didn't expect this pass. We're going to pass it over to him. He's going to shoot. I didn't expect that pass at that moment. That was extremely unselfish, almost too too unselfish. Cross in the box. That is going to be cleared. Okay, give it a rose. I'm shooting this. Outside the box, finesse shot. That's going to be deflected. We're going to try to head it to Luke De Jong. Can't head it to him. All right, got the ball on the wing. We're making this run. Adeyemi, Adeyemi. Feeds us way too late. We're offside. Okay, a little bit of chemistry issues to start the partnership of uh, Rose and Adiemi. All right, doing some defensive work. That's a weak shot. Should be clear it is. Something I like about PSV is a 4 through 3 attack. I feel like it really suits us. All right, Adiemi, I see you. I think De Jong is about to pass to you. He does. Adiemi, a little back heel. Into Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot off the defender. Not a bad move. Luke De Jong right at the keeper. All right, that was uh, decently created there. Oh, no chance for him to score. What a horrible finish. The quality in this league compared to the Prem is so different. Okay, we got to help out defend, though, because our team, I mean, Feyenoord, they're putting up a decent little fight, a challenge to our defense. That's a shot, and that's going to be a goal for Feyenoord. Wait, that was offside? How was he offside? Oh, it must have been. Wait a second. Wait. That's that's completely onside. Is this league rigged? We are PS VAR. All right, go ball out wide. El Ghazi. Played into Rose. We got the pass. We got the better pass. Rose. Over to Luke De Jong. It's actually Till. He's going to shoot. And that's an assist. What a shot. I thought that was De Jong. It was not. But that shot was amazing. We get the assist. That's a power shot. That's, that thing is just fired past the keeper. This is 1-0. First goal of the episode and a first assist for Matthew Rose. Second half. Let's just try to, of course, keep it up. Oh, we just stole that. And we're showing pace here. Going around a few. Matthew Rose on the run of his life and the keeper makes the save though bro our pace we didn't have that much pace we're just flying past people though all right eddie emmy on corner duty now i guess i don't really like that i wish we were taking corners i'm shooting this because the opportunity is too grand okay that's gonna be a free kick i think honestly we might take the free kick or matthew rose chance to score and we drag it wide we should have passed it oh i thought we had this chance we had the sweat though to luke de jong man that doesn't look good for us all right boys make the tackle i feel like we're in a decent spot we're kind of defending a little bit more than we should but i'm trying to help out my defense trying to help out these center backs good tackle when we get the ball out though oh man we can we can play in luke de jong immediately okay we get it over beautiful move okay matthew rose in two. Oh, it's beautiful okay luke de jong we just fed you on a plate and you missed it oh man we, we met up for our missed chance gave him a chance and he just sent it to the stands this really should be three nil our defense holding up i was now now playing as a cam we're very forward all the time i like it kind of okay we're very forward luke de jong into matthew rose chance to maybe 
seal the game and that's gonna be a goal for matthew rose we got a goal we got an assist and this game is 2-0 i'm feeling a, like a breakout six months right here for matthew rose where we put our name like on the map if not already it's a one-on-one -on -one. it's a very solid finish though psv finord and matthew rose might win psv this game it's crazy how it's easier this league is compared to the prem it's so much easier tell me why thomas frank brentford management want us to play here get our skills up our confidence up get more experience now game is not over yet we can't talk like this is over because that's a good uh cross into the box matthew rose we're even doing some a little a little bit of defensive work there that was a decent little uh interception eddie emmy up to matthew rose we got a pass here maybe i see a pass i'm not sure he's gonna get to it though probably not that was just a hail mary type pass all right eddie emmy i'm trying to feed you in bro I'm trying to feed you in eddie emmy beautiful ball Eddie Emmy, maybe, okay, he just scored on his debut. That's two assists for Matthew Rose and Kareem Eddie Emmy scores. The lone signings getting it done. Wow, at home, we're giving the fans a treat in this one. Okay, so we waited for the through ball. It was perfectly weighted in time. Then Eddie Emmy did the rest of the work. Hey, Ajax, we're coming for you. Oh, we reached that. We reached that. Oh, we just took him out. Wait, that's, okay, be careful. Be careful. Okay, it's gonna be a yellow card for us. A little bit aggressive there. 3 nil up, that was not a smart tackle to make. We got sent off. That would ruin this game. We're trying to lose the, uh, the reputation as a hothead. So doing that is probably not good. That's gonna be right the keeper though. Javi Simones, we have a more chance to maybe get this fourth. Chavi. And now I didn't expect that pass so quickly, but the ref blows the whistle anyways. 3-0 though. One goal for Rose, two assists. Another great game in our second start in the air to busy. Once again, we just gotta try and keep this up. And after a win like that against Finor, the boys once again are going nuts. And Van Historia says that he really likes the chemistry he saw from Eddie Emmy and us. And of course, wants to see more of it. Okay, we got Ajax on February 18th. So we're gonna sim these three games before that. First game is gonna be we're gonna win on penalties, actually. Rose scored his penalty, which is great. And a scored our goal actually in the game next game is volendam it's actually like a sick name this one is gonna be it's gonna be a 1-1 draw deong scores uh, matthew rose got a 5.9 that is very average and the next one is gonna be a 3-1 win deong algazi then uh Mwene. rose got an 8.1 a much better game now it is time for arguably the biggest game of the season it is psv versus ajax so we're currently 10 points off them we can make that down to seven if we beat them if they win it pretty much means we might be on the title race and we know there's gonna be so many eyes on this game right here so once again matthew rose eddie emmy starting by far our biggest game in the Netherlands yet. We we're playing in this beautiful, large stadium against a full crowd, and we're gonna try to show off our skills. So PSV Ajax kicked off. Let's see what the boys can do. Now Ajax in real life are actually struggling a bit. Okay, that okay. Look at the pace from Matthew Rose there. That is beautiful ball control, but the pass is so bad. Dance is still alive though, guys. Into Matthew Rose. We're gonna go for a finesse shot. Oh man, over the net. That was a very uh sloppy and chaotic start. Although the shot actually wasn't that bad. Alright, we definitely gonna help our team defend here because they got some good attacking players. All defense did good there though. Alright, Veerman into Matthew Rose. We got our winger on the left. Okay, that was a bad touch, but we stuck with it. Past one player. That was not great from us though. We gotta be sharper than that. Ball down the middle. It's Brobby, and he is gonna score. We give the ball ourselves to Ajax and then they score. That is not a good look for us. We can't make mistakes like that, especially on a game of this stage. It's 1-0 to Ajax. Alright, we gotta try and make up for our mistakes. Oh, Gazzy. Good ball to Matthew Rose. Any players making runs though? Okay, that's a run from Gazzy. I like that. Get it to Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose chance to swing it in. Not a bad cross to Adeyemi. He's not going to get it, though. Ball over to Matthew Rose. One touch off our chest into De Jong. Adeyemi looking for something. Gets it to Matthew Rose. We can't get the shot away, though. Okay, we're making a run. Now help out our team. Good touch from Matthew Rose. Great touch. We played into Luke De Jong. Oh, man, that pass is so bad. I thought we improved our passing. That's a through ball. Like, what was that? After our mistake, are we feeling some nerves here? We know the player we are. We, we can't be nervous in this game. All right, we see Adeyemi. All right, that. Please reach the Eddie Emmy. Please don't make us. Oh, okay, it goes out of bounds. All right, this is not a great spell for us, honestly. Change quick, though, into Matthew Rose. Oh, beautiful dribbling. We find a striker. We're going to find our teammate, Algazi, and he's going to score. What an assist. We just, like, dribbled around two defenders, played it to our left winger, and what a solid finish. Look at that. Right through the middle there, and then we picked out the right pass, and then it's a one-touch. Finish actually wasn't that great, but keeper does not save it. Okay, 1-1, one, one, and we made up for our mistake, I think. All right, coming for our right back. We need to try and cover for him because he's having some issues around here. See if we can try and block that cross. We can't, but our center back did well there. All right, ball to Luke De Jong. Swing this around. Back into Matthew Rose. Get it to the left back who's making a great run. Now, can he cross it in? Okay, not to us. I want him to cross it to El Ghazi. Try this again. Rose, into Adeyemi. Adeyemi, what are you doing here? What do you got? Very patient. Very patient. Very patient. Cross up. Oh, man. That was going to be to us. This has been a chaotic first half that is currently tied up. Ajax looking to take this lead, though. But instead, the ref blows whistle. Okay, game is 1-1. This is, like, just a very, very tense game for us. At halftime, Van Nistelrooy comes up to us and says, You made up for your mistake with that assist, but focus and keep your head on straight. Yeah, like, we know we were a little crazy in that first half. A little bit everywhere. Focus up in the second half and have a better, better second half. Probably a good tackle. Cool. Can we get the ball out? Yes, we can. Center back's doing a great job in this team right now. All right, ball down the middle to Matthew Rose. Swing it out wide. Adeyemi. Okay, El Ghazi. We're making that. We're making that opposite run. And Matthew Rose has scored against Ajax. We are scoring goals for 
fun in the air divisie right now hey that talk from van Nistelrooy helped because we come in the second half we score immediately and it's like a great team move like we're keep overlapping overlapping and they find us and then we score man another goal another assist in this game and we're leading against ajax this game is far from over though now van Nistelrooy actually changed the formation a little bit i think we're playing a little bit more like a 4-3-3 like a normal one so we're not exactly playing cam we got to defend more which uh with the with the one goal lead it makes a lot of sense ajax being so patient here we're trying to block these passes though oh man oh man they get out oh keeper what a save yeah this is gonna be difficult oh man crossing get it out get it out matthew rose we're gonna try and win that actually teammate almost wins it we get the ball and we do get it out expertly all right we're gonna overlap the right back because he is on the run of his life cross i think and actually get it to matthew rose we can cross that in cross into luke de Jong. oh man it wasn't a great cross it wasn't even de Jong. they were trying to fight for this lead or at least try, i mean trying to hold it that's a great ball though Okay, I see that overlapping pass. We did good there defending it. Cross in the box. Decent header. Keeper, I think... Uh, did he save that? No, it was over the net. Very dangerous, though. Right, ball into Rose. Yeah, we're playing much deeper now. Trying to hold this lead. All right, we got players making runs. We just got taken out from behind. Like, give us that foul, ref. Look at that. We just got taken out. Give him a card. Give... Is that... Who was that? Clausen? The Ajax captain took us out. He gets a yellow card for it. If we spoke the same language, we'd have some things to say. We're not exactly trying to be a hothead, so we're just gonna... We're gonna be chill. Although I'm taking this power shot. Oh man, that was embarrassing. Hey, we have a goal and assist. We are allowed to take that. This is Operation Park the Buseth. Man, we're like, we're like our deepest midfielder right now. We're not used to this. Oh man, didn't get that interception. They might score. They might score. They are going to score. They kept breaking in on that left side. Like our left back was not doing a great job, like actually sticking with his man. Like this isn't our fault. Our left back just literally falls asleep. Oh man, the game is, this game is 2-2. Two -two. Still got 12 minutes left, but now we got to, now we got to try and not like let them get a winner if anything we're trying to score the winner matthew rose want a little bit of a run oh man our stamina is depleted we've done a lot of work in this game plus in we're trying to block these passing lanes trying to not give them an option down the middle if they do we make an interception like that which unfortunately okay defense what are we doing here boys don't give the ball like that in a bad spot man look at our left back he is having trouble marking these dudes matthew rose in the box Good. Oh, what a tackle by matthew rose now defense leading into an attack please be on side oh guys he's on side oh man we got no stamina we got no stamina. Adeyemi. Oh, someone shoot. Into Matthew Rose. First time shot. Oh, we hit the post. That could have been the winner. That was such a good move. We hit the post, though. Oh, I'm so mad. Okay, we got to defend, though. We can't lose. Uh, we can't let them win this game. I can't believe we just hit the post when we could have scored the winner. Oh, man. They're coming forward. Looking very strong. Okay, that's going to be a corner. Chance to win the game. The post denies us. Now we just defend this with our life, and we walk out here with a point which will be a well-earned point. Honestly, we should win this. Okay, <laughs> our center back stood in front of us there, but that's going to be full time. The game was going to be 2-2. Oh, man, we were so close to a winner, which would have been so good. We still played good. A goal and assist. We had chances there, but it's going to be a draw versus Ajax. So, I mean, it keeps the title race, I think, open, but it's definitely advantage Ajax now. Yeah, the boys can't help you a little bit down there. I feel like we dropped a, we dropped two points. Defense didn't hold up on left side and then couldn't score a chance. It's why we didn't pick up all three points. Hey, despite that, we played good, though. Van Nistelrooy says, despite the draw you played a good game you made a comeback in the second half he says that's what great players do and then chavi comes over and says hey we all miss big chances like that he said you're the reason we were in that game in the first place so don't be too down on yourself now as we're walking out of the dressing room we get approached by a man in a suit and he introduces himself and he says he's from mizuno of course like the football brand and he says they've been watching us for a little bit and they want to talk to us about a potential sponsorship deal and they think it could be a beneficial relationship between us two and like to help our career so we're like hey our very first like sponsorship kind of offer like tell me where to sign but he then tells us to give him our agent's number so we can talk to about contract stuff over with him and we're like oh man we still don't have an agent so well uh, we give him neil wood's contact information and he says he'll be in touch uh, pretty soon i mean i i don't think neil would mind right so after that game of course we head back to our very nice apartment yeah very very nice and of course we gotta say hi to gary we're like hey gary we got our first like sponsorship deal maybe and look at gary he's so happy for us you know we chill out with gary you know watch watch some tv watch some fifa watch some premier league whatever we're watching we're like daydreaming about like being sponsored by under armor nike jordan adidas like for now it might just be mizuno but for us it is special and it's barely just the start all right we are starving though so we got to make a meal now i've gotten a little bit better at cooking like not great but a little bit better okay actually maybe not that good we're making some mac and cheese uh yeah you didn't see that hey that doesn't look that bad though doesn't look that bad yeah we still kind of need like a dining table hey that macaroni and cheese it doesn't even look that bad it looks appetizing look at that even gary wants some being a player on loan is like kind of boring like you're in a foreign country you know you're not gonna be here for long so it's pretty much like wake up football eat sleep football 
over and over and over again. But hey, we might have a first sponsor, so it's not bad. But nevertheless, the Eredivisie season keeps on going. All right, next game is a 2 and win against Vitesse, team that wanted to sign us on loan, and we actually scored against them. So Rose got 8.3, he got a goal. Not a bad game. All right, next game, though, is going to be AZ. So they're in second place, second versus third here. So once again, starting at Cam, and we just try to somehow keep this form up. Like, I believe so far at PSV, we have five goals and five assists in nine games. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a very decent spell for us, and we have no we have no plans of slowing down. All right, ball on Matthew Rose. Deong, I see you. Deong, we're not going to reach him, though. We're going to try to fling it. El Gazi into Matthew Rose. We see a dink, maybe. I see a dink to... Man, that was almost Eddie Emmy. Not bad, though. There's Eddie Emmy. Into Luke Deong. We're overlapping. We find the pass. We find someone in the middle, but no one's there. All right, this is a chance for a long shot, maybe. You know what? They're laying off Matthew Rose. Okay, that thing once again is over the net, but it had some fizz to it. Like, it wasn't that bad. Like, our, our long shots have a little bit of, like, swerve to them. Oh, man. What a through ball. We might go down 1-0 here. What a ball. But that's a terrible pass decision. Luke De Jong, Matthew Rose, out to Ogazi. Okay, we almost just, like, out. We almost just sprayed an angle, actually. All right, that isn't a fine. Matthew Rose. We're waiting for a pass into Luke De Jong. Should be a goal. And that's another assist for Matthew Rose. We are taking over this league. It was just extreme, extreme patience. We uh, received the pass, waited for De Jong to get that little bit of space in the defender. And then that's a great finish from Luke De Jong. Okay, we're not even part of this attack. Man, it looked really good there. That was a horrible pass by Ogazi, I think. This PSV team is extremely, extremely solid. Like, we're having some really good games ball to luke de Jong. out to el gazi get it into matthew rose el gazi oh man he didn't even see us there now reaches matthew rose into kareem adeyemi shot and that's another assist another goal and also another great finish by our teammates like similar spot we just get the ball top of the box we find our forwards and they score all right two nil and two assists for matthew rose oh man this attack is rapid quick adeyemi you need help i'm there for you ball down the middle oh man Ed, i want to get that to adeyemi didn't quite work Bring it back to Luke De Jong. His shot's going to be blocked. I felt like being unselfish there. I thought we'd find like a tap in. Ball down the middle to Matthew Rose. And we're going to feed in Kareem Adeyemi. Kareem, run. Okay, he's not being unselfish. In to Matthew Rose. Left-footed shot. Oh, it's right at the keeper. And still almost goes in. Man, our left-footed finishing is just not great at all right now. Hey, hey, still though, a very solid first half. Two assists. All right, ball out wide to Adeyemi. Decent ball. Adeyemi, can you feed us maybe? We're going to stop. Okay, I don't know what... I don't know what that attempt was. All movement right now is looking so good in this team, though. Through to El Ghazi, through to De Jong. El Ghazi, find Matthew Rose, find us through ball. Oh, man, that ruined the, that ruined the move. I feel like something we're really getting better at is defensive, like, positioning to, like, block passing lanes. Like, Van Nistroy is teaching us a lot about that, and it's solid. Oh, what a ball. What a ball by Matthew Rose, and what a finish by De Jong. Oh, that was dirty. That was like a one-touch little dink over the defender, and then the volley from De Jong. Like, this is just disgusting. The one touch. Oh, it's perfect, too. That is so clean. That's also a hat trick of assists for us in this game, too, by the way. Yeah, we're having quite a good game here. Ball to Matthew Rose. We got a winger. I think he's going to be offside, though. Oh, uh, I think we were a little too late there. Is he still onside? Okay, he actually was, but Fabio Silva... What did you just try there? He was actually onside. You wasted that chance. All right, like, we're in third. Azad are in second, but we're making them look foolish in this game. Matthew Rose through to Adeyemi. Adeyemi gets it back to Rose. We got a cross to the left winger. Fabio Silva in the wrong spot again. Probably would have scored that if he kept running straight. Oh, defensive work by Matthew Rose is beautiful. Then our teammate cleans it up, too. If we were a basketball player, we'd be called a two-way player because that's what we are. Okay, there's a chance for another goal. Adeyemi shoots and what a save by the keeper cross in out to matthew rose oh man it doesn't let me shoot although volley attempt does it's gonna be cleared oh man what a shot was it our fault i don't think that was our fault i didn't expect him to shoot that okay 3-1 is a score line but it's not gonna matter much we got a chance for one more attack and we got we got some a little bit of stamina left matthew rose in the box we're gonna do Ronaldo chop and we we're in a corner at least corner sent in it is to matthew rose Diving header. We almost just scored from a header. Oh, that was such a good chance, but the header like went straight past the net or over it. All right, you know what? 3-1. We just had a hat trick of assists. Like, that was a great game by us. Absolutely wonderful. We are putting our name on the map. That's what we're doing. Yeah, the manager's got to be happy about that one. Ben Nistroy tells us you've been playing so well for the team. Like, he's just telling us how pleased he is with our performances. And as we walk out of the dressing room, another man in a suit walks up to us. And he says hi that he's from New Balance now. So, first Mizuno, now New balance and he almost gives us the same exact spiel like we're looking at maybe signing up on a sponsorship deal he thinks that they can help our career you know boost our reputation a little bit so we do the same exact thing we give him a neil woods number and they also say they'll write up a contract and uh, send it to us to go over soon so it sounds like we're gonna have to pick between new balance and mizuno so we get home after that game we're like we're about to be a sponsored footballer like this is actually nuts but now we got a very important decision here which we need some advice on from our most trusted friend um gary we're like gary what would you pick would you pick new balance or would you pick Mizuno as your sponsor. Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. All right, Gary has given us some very good insight that we'll use in our decision making. And funny enough, look at that. We get a call from Neil Wood and he tells us that, oh yeah, he's received some contracts and he's like, did you give them my number? And we're like, yeah, we didn't really have anybody else. Like, we're sorry. And he's like, okay, kid, I'll help you with this. But this is the last time. Like, you need to hire an agent. But he says he's been sent two contracts, one by Mizuno, one by New Balance. And each contracts are different. So first one, Mizuno contract is for one year. You have to exclusively wear their boots. And when you do, you get a plus seven finishing boost like a plus seven is kind of a lot now for new balance it's another one-year contract you wear their boots and for them you get a plus seven boost to your pace so plus seven to acceleration plus seven to sprint speed so if we choose mizuno we get better finishing if we choose new balance we get uh we're a little bit faster so we're like okay we can't really go wrong here it feels like like both both are good good deals we think we ask neil wood what would you take and neil wood says you know you're a midfielder so having more pace would probably be more helpful than finishing so he says he would take the new balance deal and we're like yeah that makes a lot of sense so we say we're gonna take a night to think about it we're gonna sleep on it and then first thing in the morning we'll call with our decision and then get things going and he says sounds good and before he says bye he once again says hire an agent yeah we totally need to all right we've had some very busy weeks here so we just crash right on the bed immediately so we have to choose mizuno or new balance we make that decision tomorrow and we become a sponsored footballer okay matthew rose is about to sign his very first sponsorship deal now it's either new balance or mizuno and also we need to hire an agent we just have no clue where to start so yeah we're probably gonna ask around for help but it's been great for us so far at PSV we're playing amazing but in this episode we have the biggest game of our career to date and it's gonna be insane so if you guys want to keep seeing more of the series then drop me a like down below we got a very big episode ahead of us but before that we got some issues right now now we know this temporary apartment is pretty pretty bad but somehow it's gotten even worse so we got this like panel in living room it's it's sparking right now doesn't sound safe and uh, not only that um we also we also have rats there's currently an infestation in our bedroom like this has somehow gone from bad to worse so we need to figure this out so I guess first course of action with the power panel we got to complain to the landlord yeah we're making a phone call we are we are heavily complaining here you know at least the repair man comes pretty quick i don't i'm not sure what he's doing is he's assessing he's assessing the situation i think at least i'm hoping oh uh the power just went off too the lights went off that's that's nice is this guy gonna do anything wait a second is that jose Mourinho? no it can't be okay, i believe he just closed that hole or treated it and now he's fixing the power panel so we should be all good after this this absolute nightmare and you know what just like that everything's fixed you know everything's good so a little mini nightmare is over uh matthew like you gotta really uh clean up after yourself like what is that there you go okay we're gonna clean this place up a little bit and it's also time to pick our sponsor either new balance or mizuno so we call neil wood we told him we'd call him in the morning to let him know our decision so neil wood asks us what brand do you want to be sponsored by now of course mizuno we get a plus seven to our finishing while new balance we get plus seven to both our pace attributes and in the comments there's a winner here so we're gonna choose new balance to be our first sponsorship deal neil wood says great choice what i would have picked we sign the contract on our computer and he says that he'll send it to the new balance guy he'll, he'll be in touch with us but we are now a sponsored footballer of course still neil wood thanks for helping us out and right after that we had a call from the new balance representative and he says they're ecstatic to have us on board and he tells us you made the right decision hey i mean i hope so he says they'll send over like a collection of boots for us to wear and he also tells us he might be able to get us like some different sponsorships that have partnered with uh, new balance so this opens like more opportunities so we tell him we're of course happy to be partnered with new balance and he says he'll stay in touch all right that was a very eventful morning of course we got to tell gary now gary we are sponsored by new balance like maybe we can slap like a new balance sticker on his fishbowl because gary is also now sponsored by new balance now we've been like stuck in this apartment for a while so i think later in the episode we're gonna try and go out and find something to do but right now it is time for training and soon the biggest game of our career so far okay first comment i think you should choose new balance because they are more popular brand than mizuno yeah i think along with that plus our the pace boost i think we could use that more as a midfielder pretty much why we chose new balance i think we i think we made the right decision we'll find out though we gotta change our boots pretty soon for the next game though so we're still rocking the generics make matthew as a camp make his play style similar to kdb or james ward prowse yeah we pretty much played cam at psv and so far it's worked out really well like 10 games five goals and eight assists now we go back to brentford i'm not sure if we're gonna play cam or center mid like i said before i think it depends on which team we play for and if they play with a cam okay our biggest upgrade yet because we had a lot of goals and assists in the last episode so stamina 81 vision 76 long passing and short passing both upgraded and then also ball control and dribbling so we're now all the way up to a 75 and that's also including our pace boost from the new balance deal so now 80 acceleration 82 sprint speed i think now that we hit 75 we're gonna make it a bit harder to earn skill points like we're gonna need more goals more assists to get one skill point just to make it more realistic like not growing too fast so psv were in the europa league still in the europa league actually and they finished top their group without us now we joined in january and we're about to play the round of 16 the team we have this is gonna be insane because that team is gonna be fc barcelona we are actually facing barcelona this early in our career so we arrived at training ruben Estroy tells us we got a very big game coming up next we're going to spain to face barcelona we're playing at the camp new tells us we are the heavy underdogs in this game 
but it doesn't mean we still can't win. Like the whole world's gonna be watching this game and it's a chance for us to make a statement. Like undoubtedly the biggest two games of our career so far, both legs. But before that, let's do a little bit of training. Now the game is tomorrow, so we're going pretty light today. You know, a little, a little dribbling drill. You know, nothing too crazy, just some light work. And honestly, we're not on dribbling lately, so we're kind of, we're kind of blazing through this. Like it is something that we've recently upgraded. So I want to see it. I want to see that translate into the game actually. And we get an A on that drill. And notice by the way, it's time for some new boots for us. Now spawns by New Balance, we have to wear New Balance boots. We can't wear anything else. So we got some like nice pink ones. We got some nice orange ones. You know what? I think our first game being sponsored by New Balance, let's go bright and pink here. You know, making a statement, our first game sponsored by New Balance. All right, it's game day. We arrive in the dressing room. Now we're talking with Cream Adeyemi and we're like, we can't believe we're playing at the new camp. Like this is insane. And he says, hey, we don't want to just play here. We want to win here. That's the goal. Cause we're going to try to relax here. Like, of course we're excited. Like this is literally where Messi became Messi. But we got to try and act like we've been here before. So we're like, yeah, of course. And Rude Van Nistelrooy comes over and tells us you've been playing so well. He says on this kind of stage, you can really make an impact and that we could pull off something very, very special here at the new camp. And oh yes, we are ready. So the game is about to start. We line up in the tunnel. Now we're seeing players like Lewandowski, Ter Stegen, and Jordi Alba. But next to us is Frankie de Jong in the lineup. And he leans over and says, great to meet you. I've heard about your, your play for PSV. And he kind of laughingly says, like, unfortunately, it's not going to happen this game. Like, you're not going to keep it up against us. But like in a much more joking way. So we kind of laugh ourselves and we're like, oh yeah, okay, we'll see. Like, hey, if de Jong knows about us, we're trying to make some waves in our career, I would say. But there is Barcelona's lineup. It's a very strong team. And there is ours. We're playing Cam, Adiemi to our right. Like, playing at the new camp. This is the biggest game of our career so far. Like, hey, I don't think a lot of teams or a lot of people are giving us a chance in this game. They probably think we're going to lose no matter what. But we can prove them wrong if we play good enough. But at this first leg at, at the new camp, this is going to be extremely, extremely tough. Because Barcelona now dropped down to the Europa League. They're probably the favorites to win this. Like, the whole Europa League. And it's the biggest game of our career without a doubt. So, PSV Barcelona is kicked off. We'll see what we can do. We're playing against uh, Gavi, the current Golden Boy winner, which that is something we want to win ourselves. We are definitely going to help our team defend in this game because uh, they have so many good attackers. We are going to need to try and help and defense did okay there against Lewandowski. And these pink boots look pretty clean. And we got a pass to our teammate, Adiemi. Adiemi is going to swing it. That's a great pass. And Luke Dion against his former team almost just scores. Oh, man, that was a great chance already. That was so quick. And honestly, we've had a very good start. We're moving this ball around pretty well. Now, Matthew Rose picks it up. Adiemi going to try to flip it out to him and goes to Dion instead. That's not our greatest pass. Come on, we upgraded so much. I want to see it actually in the game. I want to see it translate. Oh, Adiemi. Adiemi's so in there. Oh, I wanted Dion go to Adiemi, not us. Adiemi had so much more space. Hey, we're winning this ball back a lot, but then we give it to the golden boy, Gabby, and then he gives it away. What is happening in this game right now? Matthew Rose into El Ghazi, El Ghazi, then loses it. This is such a sloppy start from both teams. Absolute chaos. Into Matthew Rose, though. Rose, oh, swing it. I could have played it to Adeyemi. I think it's fine. Oh, our right back can't get it to him, though. This is just nonstop chaos. Oh, man. On soon to Rafinha. We're trying to mark. We're trying to mark Lewandowski. Our defense just disappeared, though. And Rafinha strikes first for Barcelona. I mean, like, what happened here? We're trying to get back, even though we're playing Cam. And, like, just our center backs don't mark him. Loss of concentration or something. All right. Chaotic start, but starts in a, a first goal for Barcelona. Oh, man. They're pressing a lot. They win the ball back. That's not good. If they're pressing, we got to try and be there for our teammates and help them out. Lewandowski hits the crossbar and we're the one to clear the ball this is this is a bit nuts oh no somehow that gets rafinha but he's offside i thought that was off us that was so close to being bad all right ball into rose we gotta try and get our rating up because it's so low that's a good touch gets it over tries to find deong doesn't find him but again they give the ball up barcelona playing so sloppy here crossing cross to matthew rose matthew rose up for it matthew rose the header is not at all good enough though oh man that was a great chance but we could actually maybe played it to Luke Diong. I wasn't thinking that in the moment. Well, that's a big, that's a giveaway from Ter Stegen. Matthew Rose chance to score. That came out of nowhere. Chance is still alive though. That's an open net. That's an open net and now Gazi scores. What has just happened? Ourselves and Luke Diong are pressing the keeper trying to force a mistake out of Ter Stegen. He, he makes a mistake and then we miss our chance. Goes out and then finds El Ghazi and it's an open net and it's 1-1. Absolute chaos at the back with Barcelona. That is ugly and this game is tied up somehow. And we're not going to get an assist there, but we we helped like create that chance. Man, what a first half. This is 1-1 at halftime. Like this is a very chaotic game right here. But second half kicks off. It's 1-1. Better than expected so far. See what the boys can do. Matthew Rose up to Luke De Jong. He's going to play it to Adeyemi. Now, Adeyemi gets by one. Oh, we were so open there for the overlap. He didn't see us, though. Oh, man. Lewandowski. No, we're trying to help out all oh, keeper. That was a bad shot from Gavi, I think, right? We're doing a lot of work here. Like, we're tracking back a lot just to help our team. Ansu gives it to Gavi. The golden boy winner into Ansu. Trying to prevent a shot from an angle. That's going to be... 
an attempted block from us, but they still got a shot off. Corner for Barcelona. That one is going to be, that should be a good, should be a goal kick. And yes, it is. All right, come on, boys. You got to wake up, try to find this second goal. You can't just lay down and let them attack the whole game. Oh, Gazzy finds Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose tries to get it to De Jong, but I mean, Barcelona are much a better team than what we've been facing there to busy. I think it's showing in this one. Although Adeyemi into Luke De Jong tries to get it over, but once again, we just can't string a pass together consistently. All right, that was some very good positioning from us. And Lewandowski just destroyed us. He just took us out. Whoa, Roberto. We're like, hey, don't touch us. He gets a yellow card. That was a very rough challenge right there. Like uncharacteristic of uh, Robert Lewandowski. Are we, are we hurt actually? Okay, no, it looks like we're staying on because we are we are tough. But that was an extremely hard tackle. Like what? All right, now we're a little angry. Adeyemi into Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose gets it too. Not the player I wanted to. I oh, mean, I thought the pass to Luke Diong was off. Oh, that could have been so much better. We're like choking here. Oh, what is that ball now? We're screwed. Fedan Torres, chance to Barcelona up. Keeper, what a save. That is an amazing save right there. Ball is crossed in. That is going to be two of the keeper, and it is, and he's taken out too. This game is getting rough. Diong, Adeyemi, Adeyemi, through to Matthew Rose. Doesn't find us, but can the right back find us? We're still on side. Okay, we're going to stop. He's going to get it to us. No, he's not. Oh, our teammates cannot find us when we need them to. Oh, no. Lewandowski. I'm, I'm trying to track Rafinha here. That shot is going to be... I think that was actually by Rafinha. That's another great save, though. Oh, man. We're being subbed off. Javi Simons is coming on for us in, like, the 78th minute. What is that all about? Now, Ruben Estroy tells us he sees us limping. He doesn't want to risk us being injured further, so that's why he's taking us off. Now, we're pissed because we just got tackled so hard. We wanted to, like, get our revenge on Lewandowski. But there's there's nothing we can do about it. And the game actually ends 2-1 because Luke De Jong scored in the 84th minute. Like, we actually just beat Barcelona at the new Camp. Now, it's not over yet, but what an insane result. Now, once again, Ruben Estroy comes over and tells us that he didn't want to take us off, but he had to. Us being a lone player, you got to be more careful with injuries. So it was in the best interest of our career to take us off. Now, thankfully, the injury is not too bad. Like, we should be back by the next game. But oh man, are we pissed? Like, I want to get my revenge in that second leg. So after that game, we're back home. We're trying to rehab, you know, get ready for the next game because we have a league game in between the second leg. And like, hey, we're serious about not missing these games. Like, we want our revenge on Barcelona for that tackle. And also to show how good we are on a world stage because I feel like that game, we were, we were a little bit underwhelming in that one. And during our workout, we're thinking, like, hey, we need to hire an agent still. So we figure it's time to call an old friend here. And of course, that friend is David Beckham. Now we're like, hey, we need an agent very, very badly. Like to negotiate sponsor deals, our contract stuff. We need a legal representative and we don't know anybody. So David's like, I think I can help with that. I got a few contacts, a few friends who could maybe help. So we're like, if you can make that happen, that would be amazing. So he tells us he'll get back to us in about a week and try to set up like some agent interviews for us. So we can interview them, see how they are and try to find the best fit for us. So we're like, thank you. That's going to help us out a lot. All right. So Barcelona second leg is in a week, but in between we have a league game. Now we're coming off of an ankle bruise. So like it's not a bad injury but we're kind of in pain here and we're still trying to somehow catch Ajax for this league title so it's a must win game and also a game for us to like get back up to speed before Barcelona so it should be a game we win should be a game we do decent in so let's let's have a good game by the way the season is is coming down to an end pretty quick like we have maybe one more month at PSV then it's back to Brentford back to the Prem which is going to be interesting at Yemi chance to give it into us we just played it off to our teammate oh what a little pass by Matthew Rose into Luke De Jong that's an assist and that was a little bit disgusting by Matthew Rose now I think we all need a closer look though Eddie Emmy gets by this player and then into Matthew Rose a little tiny like little side dink of the boot and we get it to Luke De Jong for the first time finish like here's a closer look oh that is just beautiful all right already an assist and already one nil up to uh, PSV all right defense needs to hold up I feel like in this kind of game we can definitely play more forward we don't need to help out the defense like that much the max in to Matthew Rose Wait for that winger to get some space. Oh, Gazzy. Oh, Gazzy back into Matthew Rose. Can we try a ding to our teammate over there? Into Yadiemi. Goes for a volley attempt. Falls the till and he shoots, and that's gonna be saved. Not a bad start of this game overall. Winner in. That is gonna be what a clearance. In to Matthew Rose, though. This one is from distance. New balance. Okay, boots. Don't help us there, but that should be a free kick, I think. And we're still not taking free kicks. I feel like we have the best free kicks in the team, but we're just not taking them yet. So El Ghazi, can he score this free kick? It's a decent hit. Oh, it's okay. That's why we're not taking free kicks because El Ghazi apparently is a beast at them. I'll allow it. That is a 2-0, just like that. All right, defense. That's a good block. Whoa, what a good shot. Great save. So our keeper is actually so good, Benitez. He's so good in this team. Young into El Ghazi. You know, we're in a decent spot here. Can they find us over the top, maybe? Over the top, into Matthew Rose. Chance for a header. Hey, we went for that. Did it work? No, it did not. That's another free kick, though. Okay, Elgazi, this one's a little bit too far out. Actually, it might not be. Let's see if he scores. Elgazi, another free kick chance. Hit well. Okay, this guy's this guy's a legend. We just found out again why we're not taking free kicks yet. Like, bro, what a free kick. That's actually nuts. 26.9 meters out. And oh, that thing. Oh, that is just perfect. We're not taking free kicks anytime soon. All right, that's a pretty good steal by Matthew Rose. And leading to a counterattack, Luke De Jong. What was that pass? Right, Eddie Emmy gets to Matthew Rose. I see Eddie Emmy's run into Luke De Jong. 
Out to Matthew Rose. We got a cross to Adeyemi. Dink over. Adeyemi in front of the goal. Somehow doesn't score that. What a ball by us, though. Like, Kareem, you gotta, you gotta repay us for that assist. Crossed in. That is gonna be cleared. Play it. See if we can get a return ball. No, we can't because our teammates can't keep the ball. Oh, what a touch by Matthew Rose. And now we're we're turning the Jets on. Into added time. Can we do something for halftime? Oh, we need a teammate. We need a teammate. I see a cross opportunity. I see a cross. Left footed cross. What a cross. But can't get to Adeyemi, I think, again. Oh, that was beautiful. We steal it, though. Chance. Two, shoot a finesse shot. It's right at the keeper. Bro, that cross by us again was disgusting. Hey, three now we're playing good so far. We got one assist. We probably should have at least like one more. Let's just try to keep it up. All right, that's a pretty good interception. Getting in those passing lanes. Now Luke de Jong should be timed right to Luke de Jong. Okay, plays back to us. Wasn't expecting that. We're going to shoot and keeper makes the save. I was not expecting that. Corner swung in. That is going to be cleared out to Matthew Rose. Chance for maybe a shot. Okay, why did our teammate just get in the way there? Not really sure why. Let's take this a bit slower. Oh. Oh, guys, a beautiful shot. We clean it up, though. We clean it up into our teammate. Oh, man, we're trying to be unselfish. Okay, honestly, play this Matthew Rose. Okay, I guess not. That is going to be cleared out to Matthew Rose. Get it to get it to our teammate. Good pass into Veerman. Veerman, okay, apparently he was offside. What a bad free kick. All right, chance number two. We're going to try to play it. Oh, what a ball by Matthew Rose. Luke de Jong scores. What a pass from ourselves. Ourselves, ourselves. That was just disgusting. Like, our playmaking has gone through the roof. Find the space for Luke Deong. Beautiful ball. And then it's a beautiful finish. 4-0 and we got two assists in this game. I feel like when we return to the Premier League, we're going to be in a much better spot to play. Play much better. And we get a chance against Barcelona to show we can play against really good teams like that. Ball down the middle to Matthew Rose. All oh, right, when I say that first touch wasn't great, we clean it up though. Matthew Rose in to Luke Deong. Oh, to his to the teammate. What a shot. This team is playing so good right now. That is crossed in Matthew Rose. Oh, I wanted to go for the volley attempt. Gets back to Matthew Rose, though. Matthew Rose, chance to shoot. It's going to be blocked. There's so many people in the way. All right, teammates making a run. I feel like this game has been one of our more stronger games since coming to PSV. We got space here. Matthew Rose into teammates. Into teammates. Should score. And he is going to score. It's no assist, but we were part of the move. That was like a hockey assist, I guess. And 5-0, though. This team stood no chance. And we're making a lot of tackles in this one, too. We are doing absolutely everything. And we're in here. Matthew Rose, chance to get a goal, finally. Matthew Rose. Calm and composed and probably the weakest finish we've had in this series. That thing had no power on it. Maybe that was our bad ankle or something. All right, they might get one back if they score this, but Keeper denies them. Adeyemi into Matthew Rose. Trying to make... I want to get a goal in this game. It's been such a good game for us. I'm trying to cap it off with the goal. We were onside there for a second. In to Matthew Rose. We don't have the best pass, and we just got... We just got clobbered right there. All right, one more chance. Ball through to the striker. Good play. Tries to get it back to us. Oh, man. He tried to get us a goal there. He was looking for us, but... We're going to have to settle for only two assists in this game. It was still a very good game. Five no win. I mean, that's the way you want to head into a Barcelona second leg where we got a one goal lead. Like, we look all healed and ready to go for Barcelona. All right, it's the night before the big Barcelona second leg, and we're just chilling with Gary and watching some TV. And now we're like super tense. We got Barcelona tomorrow. Like, we're so we're so stressed out. So we're like, hey, why not uh finally leave this apartment and try to find something to do? Like, sorry, Gary, we're heading out. So we get dressed, and for the first time since being here, we ask, like, what is there to do here? So here in the Netherlands, outside of our apartment right there, we have like this big old like central park thing. I mean, it's not much of a park, actually. Now there's no like karaoke bar like last time there is the, like a very nice like art gallery but like hey you know what why not check out some art you know this will uh, definitely get our minds off football for now uh this one has definitely got its uh its own style i would say we're not really feeling it though you know, after all that art viewing now we got a little thirsty here so why not order ourselves a drink now this is a little bit more like last time you know having some conversation they don't really know who we are because we don't we're not of course we're not dutch so they don't really know we're like almost a kind of half celebrity so we enjoy a nice relaxing drink and we're like hey why not try a painting ourselves uh matthew what are you painting uh, I, I guess that's our first painting. Like, uh, I don't know what was in that drink, but I'm not sure what that is. It's some type of animal. I'm not sure, though. Now, right above us, we're looking at these apartments here. Like, these are some very nice apartments. Like, can we imagine living in a place like that one day? Like, a big old porch, like almost a penthouse? I mean, we're not really close to that yet, though. Yeah, honestly, it's time to head back home. Like, there wasn't actually much to do here. Like, dare I say, nothing to do. Like, nothing beats the, the London nightlife. And now Gary's mad about us leaving him. But okay, we got Barcelona tomorrow. We need to get ready for that. Like, we could do something special in this game. All right, once again, it's game night. We head into the dressing room and we're talking with Javi Simons. He's actually starting this game behind us. And we're like, hey, we got a chance to do something special here. And this game is kind of personal for Chavi, kind of like us and United because Barcelona let him go. So he wants 
wants to win this game really bad too and knock Barcelona out. Van Nistelrooy says there's still so much more work to do, but we're in a good spot. We're at home. Let's try to do something special in this game. This might be one of the first few times where it's actually us, Adiemi, and Xavi all starting together. Because usually it's either one of us two starting together. But oh man, we shocked Barcelona at the new camp. Now, what can we do at home? Second leg is kicked off. If we win this, it would be incredible. But like the boss said, there's so much more work to do still. Like they know they got to score goals. They're going to come at us pretty hard here. Luke De Jong gives it to Matthew Rose into Adeyemi. A lot of space here into Matthew Rose. Can we find the right pass maybe? We're going to flip it, Adeyemi. Adeyemi, can you get to it? It's going to be cleared. Wasn't the worst move though. Veerman in two. Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose shot. What a save and what a shot by Ter Sagan though. Or wait, opposite. What did I just say? Hey, we get the point though. That was an amazing shot. Imagine we scored that to start this game. Out to Matthew Rose. Volley attempt by Matthew Rose. It's on target at Ter Stegen. Oh man, that would have been insane. All right, into Matthew Rose. We're going to dribble around a few. Oh, we, we ride that tackle. And then do a little roulette and then get into our right back, I think. Is he onside? He still is onside. Into Adiemi. Okay, Adiemi. What was that diving header? That wasn't even close. Hey, we're trying to force the mistake I had to take it again. He's looking shaky in the net, I gotta say. Oh, man. Rafinha is, is bombing down the wing. And then he might get a shot away. He might. Good tackle. And Xavi clears it. Okay, we're marking top of the box here. Trying to do our best. Volin. He's gonna get it to Rafinha. Great save by the keeper. But it's gonna be put in. And this game is 2-2. Fedan Torres scores. Oh, man. He was just the first of that rebound. This is gonna be an absolute game. This game is all tied up. Young out to Adeyemi. Adeyemi is gonna find us. He should have. Hey, Cream, We gotta have a better pass there than that. All right. Interception. Matthew Rose. Like that. Okay. A better a better pass this time. Adeyemi. Again. That's just so bad. Like, I need a better pass than that. Oh, no. Balde. Bombing down the wing. I'm marking the teammate here. Oh, what interception by Matthew Rose. That was beautiful. All right, we got to try and open up this attack. Adeyemi, better pass to Matthew Rose. We're going to try and dribble around. Play it to Luke De Jong. Oh, man, that was just like barely offside. I just waited for him to find that space. A little turn to the right. Oh, that's so close. All right, we're having a little bit of a better spell here. Now, once again, play it out wide. Good ball. In to Luke De Jong. Luke De Jong, we're there. Right there for that. Oh, I don't like that shot. Play it back. Oh, then Xavi loses it. Man, we could have done so much better with that chance. Oh, that could be another good tackle by us. That's a good tackle by our teammate, actually. All right, into out of time. This has been a very quick first half, and I'm trying to find something. Teammate gives us an outlet. But El Ghazi is then going to lose it. Barcelona are defending our passes so well. Half time. This thing is 2 2. Oh, man. 45 more minutes, and it's all square. Oh, that's a great ball to Ferran Torres, the goal scorer. He's going to try and track back. We're there, though. We're blocking that lane. Oh, he just, he just shouldered and pushed him, our defender. What was that? Okay, this is Barcelona are looking for this this go-ahead goal, but we're going to get that out. All right, that's a good little turn by us into Adeyemi. Now, Adeyemi, you are pretty alone here. He's doing some moves, though. He was pretty good moves. Now, if he can cross that in, it could be decent, although it's going to be blocked. Adeyemi gets it to Matthew Rose into Xavi. De Jong, oh man, he tried to get it to uh, El Ghazi there. And Barcelona ball movement is so good. And Pedri finds space between our center backs and he scores. Just no one's marking him. What are we supposed to do there? This game is 3-2. Barcelona retake the lead. It's just center backs and Xavi. I mean, they just, they just don't really mark Pedri. I don't know if they're trying to play him offside or what, but we are down a goal now. Probably got to make something happen. Xavi should have got to us there. Doesn't. Adiemi into Matthew Rose. Luke De Jong, I don't like your run there. Going to try to get to him there. Luke De Jong. Oh, man, he tried to find us. We're trying everything we can, but the team is just not connecting like usual. It changed quick, though. De Jong. Oh, man, should have found us there. Adeyemi. Cross that thing in. Adeyemi. Oh, Adeyemi just loses it. We got 20 more minutes, boys. Here, we are pressing Barcelona here, and we're coming. Did they see us? I'm not sure they did, but they're saying... He is, oh man, he's looking so shaky. He does get it out though. Man, we just can't keep the ball right now. The team is just honestly not doing great. We win that though. It's still gonna go back to Barcelona. Cross in, that should be one, although it's not completely one. Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna pass to us. All right, Xavi, good tackle. We're gonna shoulder that and we are gonna try and get this ball out. That's good enough, honestly. Teammates clean it up. Now this is a chance. Matthew Rose, we get a chance here. We're gonna try to get it to De Jong, although he has no pace. Oh, that's a good pass to Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose gets it to Luke De Jong. He's onside. The finish is so bad, though, from our star striker. Oh, that might be our one chance. I can't believe you missed that. Corner swinging by Adeyemi. That one is going to be clear out to Matthew Rose. Are we shooting this? Are we shooting this? You know what? It sets up pretty well for us. Oh, we shouldn't have shot that. It goes over the net. Oh, I want that one back so badly. We just uh, showed our experience with that shot. Oh, no. Ferran Torres is in. And Ferran Torres is going to score. That's game. Man, we had so many chances this game. We tried to play here at the end. Our team honestly just wasn't playing great. But it's not going to be enough to beat Barcelona. They're going to knock us out. And we were absolutely rinsed. Like, no stamina. So, Van Nostroy takes us off. All right. Somehow, Barcelona scored three more in the, in the final, what? 
two minutes. Yeah, I'm not sure how that happened. We just lost to Barcelona though. And honestly, ourselves, we looked okay, but we didn't look that great. Not as good as we wanted to look. So coming out of the field, uh, Frank Dion comes up to us and he says, hey, you seem like a very good player. Just keep working on your skills and you can become a really, really good player. And we're like, hey, thanks, bro. Good luck in the rest of the rest of the Europa League tournament. Now we get back in the dressing room and the boys, the boys are definitely mad. Like Kareem Adeyemi says, it feels like we had that in the palm of our hands. We just let it slip. And Van Nistelrooy says that that team has so much more experience than us. We're a bunch of young players. And despite the result, he's proud of how we played. And as we're about to leave, we're walking out of the dressing room. We actually see Xavi in uh, in the hallway. Now it looks like he's walking back to their Barcelona dressing room, but he comes up to us actually when he sees us. And Xavi's like, hey, you played a solid game for your team. Like he says, I really liked what I saw out there from you. And I mean, this is Xavi saying this out of all people, like one of the best midfielders of all time. So we're like, hey, like we appreciate that. And he says, keep that up and you can go places in football. Like, hey, that is quite the compliment right there. So after that game, we head back home and we're starting to realize we only have about a month left in the Netherlands and we're back off to London and Brentford. So like we only get to hang out with Gary for like another month. I'm just kidding. We're taking Gary back with us to London, of course. But our time at PSV is coming to a close. Now we get back home and we get a call from David Beckham. And he tells us he's reached out to a few contacts, a few friends, and there are two agencies that want to sign us up to be our agent. And that this week he set up two interviews for us so that we can talk to them, you know, get a feel for who they are, see if they're a good fit with us. And then after those two interviews, we hire one of them and we finally have ourselves an agent, which we desperately need. So we once again say, thank you so much. He's helped us out so much in our career. And he's like, hey, I got you that May night trial. Like I feel responsible. Like I kind of feel like I put you in this place. So he's happy to help. So we're still a little worried about like, you know, the rats in our room. So we're sleeping with Gary tonight, just uh, crashing on the couch. But hey, our time at PSV is coming to an end and we also need to hire an agent before we get back to Brentford. And we don't want to end up with a bad agent that can ruin our career. Okay, Matthew Rose just signed his first sponsorship deal. We are now sponsored by New Balance, but our time at PSV is quickly coming to an end as we get closer to the end of season one. But once again, before we get back to Brentford, we need to hire an agent and David Beckham has helped us out. We got two interviews set up with two different agencies. We got to make sure we're careful though, that we pick the right agent here. But if you're enjoying the series, drop me a like down below. Like hiring an agent is a very big moment for our footballing career. So it's going to be a big one. So we only have like a month left in this apartment. Now it may be one of the worst apartments I've ever seen, but it honestly feels like we're going to miss it a little bit. Like we've had a decent time in the Netherlands, you know, we've, we've played really well, upgraded our stats, but we're going to be leaving soon. Look at that. We also just purchased a coffee maker. I don't think we made coffee yet. Look at us being all fancy and stuff. Maybe it's a habit we picked up in the Netherlands. Now we're a coffee drinker. Um, we were also sent this. Now I don't even know what it does, but a gaming company sent us this saying it was like some kind of VR device. So, I mean, we got, we got to try it. All right. This is a little bit frightening. Okay. It's honestly extremely frightening. Okay. It's like a holographic, like VR type game. Honestly, that's pretty sick. This is the perks of being a celebrity almost like the people just send you free stuff. We're playing Tetris IRL right now, but as we're playing, our phone starts buzzing and it's actually Thomas Frank, our manager at Brentford. And he tells us they've been closely watching our performances of PSV said they're really happy with our, with our development. And we're like, yeah, you know, we think we've made a, a lot of strides here at PSV in terms of becoming a better footballer. And he says they're very excited to have us back next season, season two back at Brentford. Now we're still a little salty that they sent us out on loan, but I think with how much better we've gotten, I think it makes a lot of sense why they did it. So Thomas Frank says, bye. They'll be seeing us soon. Like season's coming to an end, but we still got work to do with PSV. So off to training we go. Okay. First comment following a really good season. Rose is likely to get a lot of transfer offers next season. Do you think it will be beneficial for new to a big club? Yeah. This is something we're going to have to start thinking about very soon here. Cause we've played so good at PSV that it makes sense that some big teams probably be looking at Matthew Rose to maybe sign him at least teams better than Brentford. I think the plan is still to stay at Brentford for now, but if we get some offers in season two, I mean, who knows what's going to happen. You should get Matthew a girlfriend or friends. Cause he definitely looks lonely. Hey, I mean, we're alone in a foreign country. That's why we've been a little lonely. We got Gary though. And Matthew is focused on only football right now. Like that stuff can come later on. And also notice our new upgrade systems. Now it's every three goal contributions. We get one skill point. And uh, last episode we only had two. So we have zero skill points for this episode. Like I said, it's going to be harder to upgrade our stats, make it more realistic. So we don't grow too fast. So we're still stuck at 75. All right. We arrive at training. Now Van Nistelrooy tells us we can still catch Ajax in the league title. It's still possible. So we have to play to the very, very end. And he wants us to run some shooting training today. Yeah. I think of recent we've, uh, we've had, we've kind of struggled to finish our chances, like our one-on-one -on -one chances. So this training should help that we hit the post there. That one's got to be a goal. There's a goal. Like we would score so many more goals if we could just finish our chances and we get an F on that drill. Yeah, we got to work on our finishing. All right. So after being knocked out by Barcelona in the Europa League, we only have about a month left worth of games. And also after that call with Thomas Frank, I'm actually wondering like where are Brentford currently in the Premier League table? So if we look, they're currently in 17th. So they're actually not safe from being relegated. If they get relegated to the championship, does that mean that we for sure leave Brentford? We transfer away? I don't know. I mean, we hope they don't get relegated, but we're gonna have to wait and see. So next game is Utrecht. If we win this game, we would get within what? Five points of Ajax. So that would lower the gap a lot or tighten the gap, I mean. Now, any loss from here on out probably means the title race is done. In our last uh, league game, we won 5 0. So, in the area division, we we're playing very well. We got to try and keep that up. So, Utrecht, PSV, we're wearing still the pink uh, New Balance boots. Let's, uh, let's have a good game. And the pink boots with the blue kit do look pretty clean. All right, Philip Max, get it to us. 
Now we're gonna try. We're gonna try and dink it to our teammate. I wanted him to make that run. He didn't even make a run there. But that's a good pass. That's gonna fall to Matthew Rose. A little bit of turning. Beautiful. Oh, what a shot. What a save. That was like some little tight dribbling from us. Now that is gonna be cleared back out to Matthew Rose shot. That's gonna be deflected. I wanna score a power shot. Like I don't think we've done that in the series yet. I feel like we've been close and we almost just scored there. Bro, I feel like we could really, really catch Ajax if we keep winning. Like, that would be incredible if we did. Okay, that's out to Matthew Rose. Okay, whoa, what was that? Wait, that was handball on us? Matthew, what was that? Oh, man, through ball. Have I jinxed it? Have I jinxed it? Okay, he just he just missed that. Luke Dion gives it to Matthew Rose. We're going to wait for El Gaz to make a run. El Gaz is on fire recently. He has been scoring a lot of goals. Okay, Luke Dion, get it to Matthew Rose. We're going to do a little Dion turn that we took inspiration from him. And that's over to Ver Vertessen, and he should have shot. Oh, the tackle from Matthew Rose. It's beautiful. Play it down the middle. Going to get it back to Matthew Rose eventually. Or up to Luke De Jong. Oh, it's swinging beautifully. Matthew Rose chance to score. And we hit the crossbar. Oh, chance. Okay, someone score. How does that go back to the keeper? Okay, what is that throw by the keeper? I'm not sure. To El Ghazi. El Ghazi. Back to Matthew Rose. What a chance. Oh, and the keeper saves it. How have we not scored yet? Bro, we just love hitting the crossbar. Rose try to get that to El Ghazi. Could not find him though. Look at the defensive work from Matthew Rose. We've gotten so much better here at PSV. It's incredible. And we're going to try to feed in Luke De Jong. Okay, soon as I say that, we play the worst pass so far. That is a jinx. Matthew Rose is going to find out, guys. He's got some space to work with. He's going to cut it back to Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose, chance to shoot, shot. Keeper makes another good save. We should have like four goals this game. We've had five shots. Four should be goals. That's going to be cleared out to Matthew Rose. Volley attempt. Okay, that was on target at least. Oh, another chance for a volley. That's going to be off an arm. This is such a chaotic game. Get it, El Gazi. Oh, the triangle is beautiful. Our shot is going to be blocked, though. How many good chances are we going to get? Still haven't scored yet. Like, we're playing great. We just don't have the finishing touch right now. Oh, no. See, we don't take our chances, and they might take theirs. Oh, what a save by Benitez. All right, Fabio Silva is on for Luke Young. I don't think we've played with Fabio Silva that much. Rose, we're going to pick this up in to Fabio Silva. Currently, the Wolves player on loan, just like us. A loanee from the Premier League. Play that to Teal over to El Gazi. Good move. Great move. He's not going to find us, though. All right, we are top of the box for support. If they want to find us, and play it over. Decent. Decent. Matthew Rose. Oh, man, I tried to get it to Fabio Silva because we're missing all these chances. Good ball. Good ball. Can we find Fabio Silva? We're going to try to dink it to him. He's going to go for the bicycle kick, and it's going to go wide. I mean, that was that was something. Oh, man, what a move. And Bastos scores, and it's 1-0 to Utrecht. We can't help but feel like we are we are the cause of this. We've missed so many chances, and they they take theirs. All right, 1-0 down. They're going to time left. We're actually playing left striker right now. Ruben Nistor has gone very attached. We're playing striker. Okay, that's interesting. Rose into Fabio Silva. Overlapping. He can't find us, though. For the first time in our career, we're not playing a uh, midfield. We're playing something different, I think. Now, I believe it's a 4 4 2. That's what I believe we're playing. Okay, we, we got some space here. All Vertes go all the way. Score that. Vertes goes all the way, and he's going to score, and this is 1 1. Okay, that was just pace, I guess. Stamina. He just broke free, and this game is all tied up. The 4 4 2 change by Van Estroy works, and this game is 1 1. Now, can we help take the lead, though? We want to point good, but the finishing has been so bad. That's the one down part or downside of this game right now. Our stamina is not the best, but we got some stamina. Fabio Silva gets it to Matthew Rose. Good ball. Matthew Rose into the teammate. Oh, we just, what kind of finish was that? That wasn't a finish. That was nothing. Oh, ball in the box. And it's going to be blocked. Bro, our teammate had a chance there. A clear chance. Bro, time is running out. We need to score here. We got to win this game. Oh, no. He's in. Benitez makes the save, though. We only got like three minutes. Are we about to drop points? Corner in. That is going to be a great header. And they have actually scored the winner in this game. Oh, man, I can't believe it. So many chances we didn't score, and they're going to end up winning. Oh, it makes me sick. We got two minutes to try and do something, and Matthew Rose is trying to do everything here. Goes around a few. Actually goes, okay, Fabio Silva picks it up. Oh, then he's going to lose it. He just has to pass it out Why he doesn't pass it. Man, what a, fr that's like the most frustrating game I think we've had at PSV. We're going to lose actually 3-1. All those chances to score, we can't. And we actually end up losing 3-1. Man, it was an outside shot of catching Ajax. We probably, we maybe still can. But this right here is a heavy, heavy blow to our title hopes. Absolutely the most frustrating game we've had at PSV. Like, without a doubt. All right, we get back home after that game. Like, we can't miss as many chances that we did in that game. We just can't do that. So, you know, we decided to hop on the treadmill, get a little workout in. We're not going to lie. Workouts in this apartment suck. And I mean, there is a gym nearby, so why not check it out? Uh, sorry, Gary, but you're not coming with us. All right, this place is called the Sky Gym, and this place is actually pretty nice. You got some weight machines and also like a full basketball court on the roof. So why not get a little uh, get a little workout in? You know, working out at home is great, but sometimes working out at the gym is just different. You get a much better workout in. And look at that. We're actually getting recognized for the first time out in public. Like, look at this. People are walking up to us saying, you're Matthew Rose, or you play for PSV. Okay, maybe this wasn't as good of an idea we thought. All right, no one's in the basketball court, so why not? Why not put up some shots? Yeah, this, this place is pretty sick that shot wasn't sick though like we don't want to get an injury right now so no oh okay oh no 
We're out for seven months. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're just a little sore. We're good. All right, finishing up with some treadmill work. You know, this treadmill is much nicer than what we have back in the apartment, the one they gave us. This is probably the best workout we've had since coming to the Netherlands. And I'm pretty sure they have one of these in London, like right next to where we live too. So maybe we should be going to the gym to work out more often. I don't know why we are running like that though. We're running a little awkward. Okay, we head back home and get ready for our next game. As we know, we got two interviews set up in the next two weeks. The first interview is after this game right here. So eight point gap with uh, six games left. I mean, it's possible, but it's very unlikely at this point. We gotta try though. We gotta try and just win and see what happens. Now, honestly, I think those pink boots are a little bit distracting us. So we're going to go for the New Balance orange ones and we're going to have the long sleeves on us. We need to switch something up here. We'll see if that helps right. our finishing. All right, PSV versus team that I cannot pronounce the name of. Uh, let's try to have a better game than the last one. Actually get an assist, maybe score a goal here. All right, decent start. That was a good ball, but we're going to make the run. Ball into Matthew Rose. Can we find it? Okay, we lost it, but it's fine. It's, it's cool. Everyone relax into Matthew Rose. Chance to shoot. Okay, at least that was on target. That was a very wrangle. Matthew Rose into Luke De Jong, into Adeyemi. What a weird chance. But also, what a save. These keepers are on fire against us. Corner swung in. That is going to be at right, right at the keeper, actually. Disappointing. Oh, the tackle from Matthew Rose. We're getting so much better defensively. And now, defense leading to attack. Matthew Rose is in. Matthew Rose. These are the chances we got to finish, and we still can't score. Bro, we are getting frustrated here. Corner swung in. That is a great corner. Almost scored. Actually, should have. All right, ball to Adiemi. Adiemi. Back to Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose over to. Someone, someone shoot. That's going to be a shot from De Jong and it goes wide. Matthew Rose. Okay, that's much better than ball to Young. Beautiful. De Jong. Can he find something? What is he going to do? What is he going to do? He does nothing with it. Has De Jong like lost all his confidence? The whole team has. Cross has been swung in and that's over the net. Okay, we got, we got the ball on the wing here. Making a left foot cross sounds nice. And Luke De Jong almost got to it. That was a very weak cross though. Oh, this is a chance for a power shot from Matthew Rose. Okay, that was like, that's like a bruised rib for that guy. Rose into De Jong. Swing it. Oh man. Okay, our team, our team is like dropped in form a lot. We're not exactly playing bad. It's just like the... The attacking third passes are not the best right now. Come on, boys. We're going to find this goal. Luke De Jong, I think you're offside there. We're going to play it over to El Ghazi instead. In to De Jong. De Jong. Okay, could have found us there. I needed a pass to our feet, not a through ball. All right, it's been more of the same first half. Like, we've created chances, but the passing has not been sharp enough. So, half time, this game is still nil-nil. We signed our first sponsor deal, and we become a flop. Oh, man, they're going to score, and they are going to score, bro. Our team has dropped in form so much. Not even just us. The whole team is just not connecting like they were before. We're going to try and do something here. Oh, that's a great pass from Matthew Rose, but our teammate can't score. That should have been an assist. Corner swung in. That is going to be cleared out to Matthew Rose. Okay, can we get across, maybe? See if we can get to the edge and cross that thing in not the worst cross header it's gonna be another corner i think okay let's try a short corner short corner matthew rose we pick out a teammate dink it over great cross teammate gets to it but it goes just inches wide like boys come on find it that's gonna be a header it's gonna be it's also gonna go wide oh man this is torture right now we gotta try and find something here because this whatever is happening is not working matthew rose gets it to luke de Jong. back to matthew rose we got to shoot that, and the keeper makes an amazing save. At what point are we just getting unlucky? All right, that's back out to Matthew Rose. Can we get once again to the byline for a cross? Decent dribbling cross. That's going to be actually fortunate. Wait, is that a handball? Okay, that's going to be a free kick in a very weird spot. You know what? Okay, that's crossing actually. Crossed in, cleared. Get it to Rose. Someone get it to Rose. It's going to be cleared again. We got 15 minutes. We got a decent attack, though. Working this ball around. Matthew Rose going to get it out wide, maybe, if we can. Actually, let's get to our teammates. Keep the ball. I don't want to lose it there. Patience will be rewarded. Into Fabio Silva. Silva into Matthew Rose. Get it back to him. Fabio Silva. Hey, someone's got to shoot, though. Hey, get that to Matthew Rose. In. Oh, what was that pass to us, though? Yeah, these title hopes are about to be gone so quick. Because even if we score here, it'd only be a draw. And our teammate can't feed us in there at all whatsoever. Oh, man. We got one more chance, maybe. Matthew Rose and Fabio Silva have to do something here. Waiting for his run. Waiting for it. Going to get it to him. Oh, Fabio Silva. What is that cross, though? Why would you cross that? Oh, we're getting so frustrated with this team right now. We lose 1-0. Like, this is not how we wanted to end the season playing like this as a team. Oh, man. After that game, Van Nistelrooy is not happy with us. Like, he tells us our play recently has been unacceptable as a team. And that he won't settle for these lackluster performances. And he says if this continues, he's going to drop some players from starting 11. Like, just back-to-back -back frustrating games. But, okay, it's time for our first meeting with our first potential agent. So, we arrive at the cafe. You know, David Beckham set up this meeting. And this first meeting is with Sports and entertainment group now this is a dutch agency that represents players like uh, cody gakpo even eric ten hog and also even luis suarez and the person we're meeting his name is pede guardiola and uh yep he is the brother of uh man city coach pep guardiola so we sit down he introduces himself says we've been really making a name for ourselves uh, playing for psv on loan and there's a lot of big names of a lot of big teams looking at us currently and he says that himself along with sports entertainment group they can help us make sure we get the best deals possible the best contracts possible for us and guide us through like the business part of football and he says they just 
best facilitated move for uh, Cody Gakpo going from PSV to Liverpool. And he was like the main man getting that deal done. So we asked him, how many clients do you have? And he says they currently have about 25 to 30 clients. And he says, if you were to sign with us, that I would be your main contact. But we also would have other agents that you could contact in case I'm busy. So what we're getting from this meeting is it's a very like corporate type agency, like not as personal. But he does tell us they have a lot of partners that can get us more sponsorship deals. Sponsors like Mountain Dew, like Optimum Nutrition, a protein brand. So we tell him we appreciate your time coming out here and explain this to us. We say we're going to take some time to think about it and uh, we'll be in touch shortly. So I mean, it sounds like a professional agency. Like I don't like that there's so many players on their client list where we're just going to be another one of them. Like there's not that much of a personal feel, but there are a lot of sponsors though. That's for sure. Okay. So before our next interview, we got another game. Now we are still starting, but like Van Nistelrooy said, if we don't play well, we might not start like the final games of the season. So it is extremely important that we have a good game here. We have a better game. Like these last two games have been so uncharacteristic for our time at PSV. Okay. Immediately FC 20 in our box and looking dangerous. We are doing a lot of defensive work here. Very deep, but we're trying to help out and uh, we do get the ball out. All right, Adeyemi into Luke De Jong. Is he going to find us? He's, we're going to stop. Oh man, see, he needs to play it to Adeyemi there, not us. Like the decision making is so off right now. Oh, then this guy just runs all the way forward and it's it's going to be an absolute tap in. This is actually embarrassing. Like how are we all of a sudden playing this bad? It makes no sense. Oh man. Oh man. They almost just scored. How are we playing this bad right now? It feels like we're getting no help from our teammates at all. Here we got some space here. Oh, the dribbling from Rose there was beautiful. Eddie, I mean, I need you to get on your bicycle, my friend. And then he does that. Like, what am I actually playing with right now? Is everyone just clocked out like the season's over? Oh, man, it's going to be maybe more, but that's a good block by Max, at least. All right, Max gets to us. We're going to try to play to Luke Deong. Good pass. Luke Deong shot off the post but Eddie Emmy does score okay there's a step in the right direction finally we should have got the assist but Eddie Emmy cleans it up all right game is 1-1 can we wake up as a team and actually come to life here all right Rose good ball to Ogazi Ogazi is gonna find Deong Eddie Emmy Eddie Emmy what are we doing here Eddie Emmy hits the crossbar we were kind of in the way there but I thought he was gonna pass to us still not a bad shot into Matthew Rose Rose two Oh man, that was a good pass, but what a good save. In this episode, the keepers have just been insane. All right, second half begins. Game is 1-1. And we build off that Adiemi like lucky rebound goal. Nope, it doesn't look like it because they almost just scored. Benitez, good save though. No Gazi, good ball to Matthew Rose. Rose into De Jong, back to Adiemi. Okay, this is the passing from before. Oh, it's beautiful. Matthew Rose shoots. It's right at the keeper. That passing was really good though. Okay, we are doing some defensive work here. Teammate blocks it. Okay, block the space. We block that pass at least, I think, or the lane. Okay, Loki, well, okay, it's us and Adeyemi here. We got numbers. Okay, maybe we don't actually. All right, Matthew Rose cut inside. Beautiful into Adeyemi. Adeyemi, can you get by him? He actually does. Adeyemi shoots. What a goal by Adeyemi. That's actually our assist. Bro, Adeyemi, what a like solo goal there. I mean, he just showed how good he is. Like, we gotta thank him for that assist right there. All right, game is 2-1. That's finally our first assist of the episode. This has been a struggling one, though. It'd be nice if we can actually secure the win, too. Okay, Luke Deong. If you see us, we're so free. He doesn't see us, though. Okay, if we if we lose this lead, it'll be such a bad result. Good defending right there. Oh, we got four minutes. Our teammate gives up the ball, though. Now, oh, it's gonna lead to an attack. You gotta be joking. You gotta be joking, Benitez, great save. I still can't believe how bad this team is playing now. Corner swung in, that is gonna be out by Matthew Rose. Not the greatest clearance, but it's all we can do. And we're gonna try to win that. Okay, we just we just took him out, one for the team right there. Okay, we kicked the bottom of the field and we actually came out with a 2-1 win, so. We got the winning assist, which is great, but we still haven't scored. So probably, definitely our worst episode uh, since joining PSV. But at least this one, we had kind of a bounce back game. All right, back home once again. Now that first agent meeting went pretty well. Now we have our second meeting though. So a quick change of clothes, and we are right back out the door. So we go to the same exact cafe. This second meeting is with Sturridge Sports Management. And we're meeting Dean Sturridge, former Derby County striker and also uncle of Daniel Sturridge. So he's pretty much like a former player turned agent. So same like before we introduce ourselves, say nice to meet you. And he tells us when Beckham called him that he was really excited to get to talk to us. Now this agency is much different. Like their biggest player that they currently manage is Tyler Roberts. So he tells us, you know, he thinks that he can really help our career. They have a strong foundation set in England. Like being a former player, he knows the ins and outs of the game and he has a lot of contacts. And he says that what they can offer, what other agencies can, that they would be fully focused focused on us like we would be their highest profile client therefore get all their attention pretty much so he's like if you need it something day or night call me and i'll get it done for you and the way they run their business is very family oriented and while they might not have as many connects in terms of like other brands or partners but what he can do is give us his full focus so like this one smaller agency but i would say more personal so once again we tell him thanks coming out that we'll be in touch shortly with our decision so we got a choice to make so we get back home and now we only have weeks left at psv before we go back to brentford and we need to make a decision here so like the the bigger more corporate 
agency with uh, Pep Guardiola's brother, or the more personal, like family oriented, smaller agency with Dean Sturridge. Now, it's a very big choice that will affect our career. So, that is why I need your guys' help to decide this. Because if we don't make the right choice, it's going to hurt us in the future. Okay, this is Matthew Rose's final episode at PSV. It is time for the season one finale. Now, we've had a very, very good time at PSV, and we have a chance to end things on a very, very good note. And we also need to hire an agent, which you guys have helped decide our choice. Like, it's been a crazy year one for Matthew Rose's footballing career, but this is still only the start. So if you're enjoying the series, drop a like, hit that sub button down below. This is a very big moment for Matthew Rose's career because we only have three weeks left here. Like Thomas Frey at Brentford told us they're excited to have us back in season two, but we're not sure if we're even going to be at Brentford in season two. Like it depends if they get relegated or not. So we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. We're pretty homesick though. So we can't wait to get back to London to our apartment, you know, even see the parents too. So we got a pretty nice meal here to eat. And after we eat this, we have to pick what agent we're going to hire, which once again, you guys voted on this. So we get on the phone to make our choice. So it's either Sturge Sports Management or Sports Entertainment Group. And you guys voted for Sports Entertainment Group. So we tell Pep Guardiola's brother, Pede Guardiola, that we accept his offer and we are ready to sign for his agency. And he says, wonderful, they're extremely happy to have us. He says, welcome to Sports Entertainment Group. And he says, this is going to be a mutually beneficial relationship, they think. And we're like, we are ready to work together. And he says, they already have some new sponsorship deals lined up for us when we get back to London in a few weeks. I mean, hey, that sounds pretty good already. But we tell him we'll be looking forward to speak more. Like, I hope we made the right choice. We went for the more like the bigger agency, more professional, but I'm hoping they give us enough attention though. We'll just have to wait and see. So first comment, try and get a sponsorship with the gym so you can focus on strength and pace. Yeah, I think a sponsorship with like a gym or even like a, like a nutrition brand, those sound like some good opportunities to get our strength up, our physical stats up. So definitely gonna be a lookout for those. Next one, Matthew's finishing needs a lot of work. Yeah, like I don't know how many chances we missed in the last episode. It was so many. Like we only had one assist. So because of that, again, no skill points to spend in this episode. Like our last episode is probably the roughest we've had at PSV. So I have a feeling this episode will turn it around. But yeah, our finishing was so bad in the last episode. So we got six games left. And I don't think we're going to catch Ajax here. We're still going to try our best to, but I, I don't think we will. But we still have a chance to win our first trophy of our career. And that is because PSV are in the final of the Dutch Cup. So we're facing Head and Veen. And they knocked out Ajax. So it's PSV, Head and Veen in the final. And that's our next game too. So like our last few games have been so shaky. But we have a chance to win Matthew Rose's first trophy of his career right here, which will be a very solid way to end our loan spell at PSV. So it is the day of the cup final. We get into the dressing room. We're talking to Kareem Adeyemi and we're like, we've both very much enjoyed our loan spells here. And to give the fans a trophy would be so special on our way out. And he's like, absolutely. Like we got to win this for the fans. And then Ruben Van Nistelrooy comes over and tells us that our form has been shaky of recent, but all that is out the window in this final. It's a fresh new game. If we played our best, we can win this cup final. He knows we can. He knows that a lot of us young players, a lot of us haven't been in this situation before, but he believes in us to get the job done. Like 18 years old and playing in our first cup final. This is just pretty nuts. But we do have a chance to do something special here with PSV. So playing in this huge and beautiful stadium and also playing for a beautiful, beautiful trophy. If I remember right, we played Head and V in like early days when we joined PSV. We played really well against them. So we know we can do good in this game. So come on, boys. The Dutch Cup final kicks off. PSV Head and V. Come on, we want to claim our first trophy so badly. Matthew Rose out to El Ghazi. El Ghazi in to Matthew Rose. Decent touch. We get across maybe. Let's stop. Swing that one in to our teammate gets to it header right at the keeper. I mean, not the worst start of all time. I'm fine with that. Oh, Gazi. Okay, this ball movement is beautiful. Oh, man, I tried to play it to De Jong there. Okay, the press steals the ball back and then Luke De Jong loses it. These games always erupt into just chaos all of a sudden. All right, boys, we got to try and help defend Benitez. Good save. That was a great shot. Another great shot. Benitez is going gonna, is gonna to save it, though. I feel like we've lost our chemistry with De Jong. I feel like of recent, we have not connected well with him. Oh, no. Ball through. Defense needs a hold up. We're trying to help out. Oh man, what a move and what a tackle actually. Okay, we're going to try and find spaces here. We're going to play it to De Jong. If he finds Adiemi, Adiemi was the right pass. Al Ghazi is going to cross it in. We're there for it. Header right at the keeper and he saves it. Oh man, I thought De Jong was going to get that. We actually got to it, but the header was literally straight at the keeper though. Oh no, now it's a breakaway. El Benitez, what a save. Bro, both teams are getting chances here. Adiemi, De Jong, Al Ghazi, we're right here. We're going to go to Adiemi though. Adiemi, long ball into Matthew Rose. We get that. We can't quite get to it. Okay, it's actually dragged back for a foul. Okay, El Ghazi, you're not scoring this. This is way too far out. Is he actually going to score this? El Ghazi, free kick. It was actually on target. It wasn't even bad. El Ghazi is a free kick god. Well, five minutes out of the first half. It's been very tense. Both teams have chances. We make something happen before halftime. Eddie Emmy. Okay, drags it back. Eddie Emmy into Matthew Rose. Get it to El Ghazi. It's going to get to him, actually. Max into Matthew Rose. Rose into El Ghazi. 
Good chance. Okay, as he crosses it, all oh, keeper actually cleared it with his boot. What? How does it just fall to him and he just kicks it, clears it? Incredibly tense, but this is still nil-nil. Boys, our first cup final. We can't lose it. We got to win this. Because if we get a trophy, that's a whole bunch of skill points too. So this one win can really upgrade our player like a decent amount. Oh man, they're getting some really good chances though. What a block. Corner crossed in. Should be cleared. Should be. That actually looked great. Matthew Rose cleared again. Didn't quite clear it, but we're going to try and tackle him. We do. Great tackle from Matthew Rose. Now, it's Matthew Rose to Adeyemi. Okay, Adeyemi, I need you to start running more. Plays it to us. Oh, Adeyemi, what was that pass, man? I feel like all of a sudden our teammates just don't know how to pass the ball anymore. Try this again. El Ghazi. In to Matthew Rose. Actually, Deong takes it. Cool with that. Cool with that. Matthew Rose, a little bit of dribbling. Gets it to El Ghazi. El Ghazi, someone get it back. Someone drag it back for a shot. Oh, we're not going to find someone for a shot. How? Like, that was a great chance. We just couldn't find someone that had a clear opening at goal. Come on, boys. Find this move. Find it. Into Matthew Rose. Into Max. Max. Back to Matthew Rose. Down in the middle to De Jong. What a move. Is he going to shoot? He shoots and he somehow scores that. That's our assist and Luke De Jong scores in the 71st minute. I don't know how he scored from that angle though. I literally can't believe this. We play the pass into him. It's a very good pass to find him. And he does like a, I don't know what he even did there, but he flicks it up in front of him. And then that is the most impossible angle I've ever seen. I think somehow he's done it and we're up one nil with 20 minutes to go though. Oh man, Xavi Simone's brought on the field. Boys, this could be it. We're going really defensive here. I think like Van Nistelrooy is parking the bus right now. Yeah, we're being very deep here. We're being told to stay very deep. All right, play it to Tim. Up to De Jong. Luke De Jong and into Matthew Rose. Get it out wide. One more. We'll seal it. El Ghazi. Oh, man. I called for that pass like a second ago. We didn't even play it. Oh, now we got to get back. We really got to get back. We are the last line of defense. What a tackle by Matthew Rose. We just maybe saved a goal. Why are we the final man? I don't know, but we are. Oh, man. We still got 10 minutes. We're being told to defend a lot here. We might be playing like actual center mid. Oh, man. Okay. Defense, defense, do well there. Holding on for our life. All right. Keep the ball. Control the midfield. That's what we need to do right now. Control it. Gets it out wide. Cross to Matthew Rose, and we have scored. What a goal by Matthew Rose, and that seals the trophy for PSV. Bro, what a run, and Xavi Simons, I think, played in that cross. What a goal by Matthew Rose. Oh, it could not be more perfect than that. We make a great defensive play. It wasn't Xavi Simons, it was someone else, but oh, man, what a finish. I don't know who played that cross in, but it was beautiful, and that seals the trophy for PSV. Talk about a moment in our career right there. Bro, what a moment. That is how we secured our first silverware of our career. Not gonna lie, I think we're actually playing center back right now i'm not sure why but we're playing center back we actually did pretty well there but that is full time we have won the dutch cup i don't know the actual name but the domestic cup in the netherlands we have won with psv we had the assist on young's goal then we scored the goal to seal it i mean it's just absolute perfection of a game right there it was tough but in the end it was perfect there's matthew rose behind the trophy there first trophy hopefully the first of many but the captain psv have won the the dutch domestic cup and that's the first trophy of our career. What a beautiful game. That last goal we scored was sick too. If this is the only trophy we get with our time PSV, it'll be perfect still. We gave the fans, you know, something to celebrate, something big to celebrate. So couldn't be much more happier than this. Of course, the boys in the restroom are going absolutely nuts. Like trophy is sitting there on the table in front of us. And like I said, hopefully just uh, the first of many for Matthew Rose in his career. So Ruben Estroy gives a speech. He says, our recent games have been that great, but this game we show the team we are. Like deserving winners of this trophy. And he says he's proud of us, especially the younger guys who came through in this cup final. I know this huge game and we look over to Addy Emmy and we're like bro we actually did it and he's like yeah that was that was amazing and our phone starts buzzing and we're getting a call from David Beckham and he says that he watched the final that he's calling to congratulate us on a great game that great goal we scored to seal it and he said that he's proud of us like once again he's pretty much the reason we're here so we tell him that means a lot coming from you and then we also get a call from Pede Guardiola also congratulating us on that trophy win and he says that this is just the first of many that working together they hope to bring more and more trophies in our career man what a night for us what a way to win our first trophy but the sad thing is we only have two weeks left here and they're about to go by really, really fast. Like we're already starting to pack, you know, get things together, get things out of here. We're still going to try to catch Ajax. But more importantly, we need to check on Brentford soon to see if they're even going to be in the Premier League next season. But we need some time to unwind on the oldest computer known to mankind because we got two more games left at PSV as we just try our best to somehow catch Ajax. Although it pretty much looks impossible. So that is the current league table with two games left. So five points behind uh, Ajax, six possible points. So I mean, there's a chance if Ajax lose both games, win both two. There's a mathematical chance, but it's probably unlikely. We're still going to try and win and see what happens, though. Now, let's check on Brentford. So, Liverpool in first, probably win the title. Let's see where Brentford are, though. They're going to be... They're going to be in 18th, actually. Okay, so them, Fulham, Bournemouth are in danger getting relegated. Like, Leeds are safe, so... Man, Brentford might actually get relegated. That's crazy. Still three games left, though. So, our second to last game, playing for PSV. I mean, hey, a mathematical chance is still a chance. We got to play and try to win. We to keep ourselves in this race for as long as we can. Okay, we're showing some pace there. And play it back. Still into Deong, into Matthew Rose. Can we try and turn? 
We turn, we get the shot off, but the keeper makes the save though. I feel like we made a decent chance out of that. It wasn't much to begin with though. Come on, this team is not that good. We should really beat this team easily. Oh guys, he should find us again. Should find us, finds us there. Matthew Rose, chance for a finesse shot. That actually, it's actually gonna be a free kick. But Eddie Emi decides to cross it in. I guess not, it's actually off offside. Wait, what? What just happened there? We are running with some pace here. You know, we're out for vengeance this game. We just got taken out though. And that's gonna be actually a red card. We just baited the other team into a red card. I mean, is that really a red? I feel like that's not a red. I feel like that's a yellow, but I mean, I'm not gonna argue. And of course, we can't take free kicks because El Ghazi is an absolute free kick god. He misses that one though. Come on, let us take a free kick. Matthew Rose into El Ghazi. Back to Matthew Rose. Gonna pass that. Okay, just keep the ball. Actually, that was a really good pass in to Matthew Rose. Shot attempt. Why does it have no power on it? Like, good thing we're not a striker because we have lost all our finishing touch. Corner swung in. That should be to Matthew Rose. It's going to be Matthew Rose. Long distance shot. Of course, that's blocked. Try again. Try it again. Adiemi. Adiemi. Into Matthew Rose. Into Matthew Rose. Oh, the pass. I wanted to take a first time shot, not take a touch. Okay, we're making a run. Found some good space here. Cross it to De Jong. Crosses it, but he ran too far. I mean, it was booking it. Ball to Matthew Rose. Can we actually score for once? Can we score? The keeper makes the save. We just can't score. It's so frustrating. I don't know why. Either our shot is terrible or the keeper just makes an amazing save. Corner crossed in. Whoa. That was their own player just trying to score, I think. What have I just seen? Matthew Rose into a teammate. He's going to shoot and also another save. Can we stop messing around and get a goal here? Through to El Ghazi, onside. El Ghazi is gonna finish that one. There's our assist, and there's finally the first goal. Hey, I mean, we can't score, but we're still we're still assisting at least. Like El Ghazi's been a very good teammate for us in terms of scoring goals. Like he's been really good actually. All right, it's probably half time, and this is currently gonna be one nil at half time. I wanna go for a power shot, but if, is it selfish? No, what? It's not selfish. If it's this far out, okay, it was it was pretty selfish. I respectfully apologize. Young into Matthew Rose, get it to El Ghazi. Beautiful El Ghazi. Through to Matthew Rose. We're gonna go for a finesse shot. Okay, we just tried something there. It did not work. All right, Chavi Smones is on for uh, El Ghazi. I wonder if he would take free kicks now. That'd be very interesting to find out. Eddie Emi through the middle. De Jong into Matthew Rose. Played over. Beautiful. That's a shot from Philip Max, I think. I think that's his first name. That was a great save, though. Corner swung in. That's gonna be cleared out to Matthew Rose. We're going for the first time volley, and it goes all the way right to the keeper. Those never have, like, the lift I think they're gonna have. Mateus Rose through ball to De Jong. Gives it right back to us. Get it to Adiemi. Adiemi shoots. I mean, that, was, that wasn't a bad shot attempt. Dance still not done, though. Into Chavi Simons. Another great save. I swear, the last two episodes, the Eredivisie keepers have been superhuman. That is cleared. Give it to Rose. Give it to Rose. Rose. Chance for a screamer. Oh, it's going to go over the net. Hey, Van Nistelrooy liked it, though. He said keep trying. Like, that wasn't the worst of our shots. All right, trying to help defend, but our, our right back does his job. Even this game's only 1-0. We should be winning this. It feels like we're winning this by, like, 2 or 3-0. Rose into De Jong. Gets it back to Rose. Get it to over Adeyemi. Adeyemi is in a feed. Matthew Rose. Can we wait a second? Find a little bit of space. Then cross that in to De Jong. He's not going to get it, though. Oh, our teammate wins that. Our teammate wins that. Cross it over to Chavi Simones. Gets to it. Oh, what a header by Chavi, but it's saved. Like, how are these keepers doing this? Short corner to Matthew Rose. Find the cross again. Find it. Actually, actually. Oh, man. I was looking for a tap in. You know what? Try that again. I don't know why he's flipping up to us, but it's fine. Okay, Matthew Rose in the box. Cut inside. Get it over to Chavi. Oh, it's beautiful. And there's another assist. Picked out the pass just perfectly. All right, so a brace of assists in this game. A little fake shot. Find some space. Track back to Chavi. That's a very good first time shot. All right, I really like that goal. That was a nice goal. We're looking like Kevin De Bruyne out here. We got space here. I want to try to get on a run for a one on one. Although, like, it's not really our role, so it's kind of hard to get onto it. Chavi, good cross though. Chavi, can you get a cross? It's gonna be a corner. We'll let that corner be swung in. Oh, what what an attempt! Try that again. That one is gonna be clear. We get a hat trick of assist. We find the space for a cross. We need it on our strong foot though. Strong foot cross to Chavi. Good header, but it's right at the keeper. One more chance. Matthew Rose, don't lose it. Get it to our teammate. Oh, that was a bad pass. All right. Man, we can't score a goal. It's so frustrating. I feel like we should, but we're just not taking our chances. All right, boys. Boys, don't don't let them score. Thank you. And that is going to be game. So 2-0 win. We had, we had two assists. That was a solid game. Now, if I X won, that means the title race is done. But if they lost, that means there's still a chance. Oh, man. Okay, I X won their game. So the title race is done. And that's disappointing. We actually got close, though. Only five points within I X. It's not bad. Like, we caught up a decent amount. So now we're only playing for second place. So we got one more game to play for PSV before we go back to Brentford. So our final training session here. Van Nistelrooy comes up to us and says that we've had a very good uh, six Six month spell here. He says he's extremely happy with our play and he admits that he's very sad to see us leave, but it is sadly time. Suiting up in a PSV kit for the final, 
final game. Let's try to end our time here with a win. All right, so we're, we're playing for second place. We still wouldn't want to lose this. Like second place, third place, there's a big difference there. We also, of course, want to have a good game in our final match. Okay, I'm saying that and they almost just scored, but Benitez is such a good keeper. He's actually insane. I guess it's just all air division keepers are so good. Is that the thing here? Probably is the thing. Okay, we're going to head that to Adiemi now. We got, now it's the dynamic duo, the Bash brothers. Do we have the pacer to break away? We might. Adiemi, I see you. Adiemi, always going to be offside, right? I think he's just going to be offside and that pass didn't even get to him. Okay, we get a second chance though. Matthew Rose in to De Jong. Man, De Jong, his speed has like decreased or something. He's like not the same player from a couple episodes ago. Matthew Rose, get it to Adiemi. Good pass. Adiemi shot. Great shot. Good save though. Okay, let's try these short corners again. I like these short corners. Although this one's a little bit awkward. We're going to try to go around one. We go around two. Matthew Rose shoots and it's going to go just wide. Okay, we may have gotten better as a player here at PSV. We're still though so young and still uh, not great as our team gives up a penalty. I didn't even see what happened. Is this a penalty? Um, Is that a penalty? I feel like it's not, but we are going to be going down 1-0. Okay, Benitez, you could probably get to save that. All right, not a good start to this game. Ball to Algazi. Good ball. Algazi, play it to Matthew Rose. We were in there. He's going to find us. Matthew Rose, chance to shoot. Keeper, of course, makes the save. We just can't score. Ball lofted in. That's a great corner. Not going to amount to anything, though. That is going to be cleared again. Then send back in the box. What is this volleyball? What is happening? Matthew Rose, Adiemi, I'm, I'm waiting for your inside run. There you go, Adiemi. Score. Shoot that. It's another save. What are these keepers on? There needed to be some serious drug testing in the air Eredivisie. Cross in. Okay, that's not where I wanted that one. Whoa, what a bad giveaway. And they tried to feed us there. I didn't call for that. They tried though. All right, I'm not sure what's happening here. We're trying to press them a little bit and they do give it up. Wow. They are looking shaky. Matthew Rose to Adiemi. Back to Matthew Rose. We're going to shoot. Of course, it's going to be blocked. This is the try to score challenge impossible edition. Oh, this team is playing so bad. They're getting the ball up every single time. De Jong into Matthew Rose. Can we get a closer shot at goal? Of course, it's blocked. We're about to like set a record for how many shots in one game. Okay, what is that? What is that? Somehow he doesn't score that either. Someone tell me what's happening. Please score that. It's it's going to be another save. Corner swung in. That is going to be over the net. Oh, it's actually another corner. Not even surprised at this point. Sent in gonna be cleared out to Matthew Rose power shot time by Matthew Rose and it's literally into the keeper's chest what is this game right now we've had five shots in the first half that's how bad this has been Adiemi oh man this run is beautiful from us beautiful now Matthew Rose we're gonna go inside pass it to a teammate please score Adiemi doesn't score gets it back to us though no he doesn't oh man I feel like our angle was too tight there to shoot through ball into Matthew Rose we got crossing options and how does no one get that oh man I I don't understand it okay, there's a lot of space here for us I'm trying to overlap De Jong De Jong I don't know what he tried there that's a good cross not gonna find De Jong that header is not gonna find us either okay, get it to Ogazi the goal score back to Matthew Rose through the defense and we're gonna put it wide I can't believe that we're struggling to score this much we look so good until we shoot we look amazing actually it's like a mix of bad finishing and also some really really bad luck though and they might score Benitez great save hey this summer this offseason we know the number one thing we need to work on though and that is absolutely finishing Adiemi might be in though Adiemi why aren't you sprinting okay Adiemi all the way through to Matthew Rose Matthew Rose we gotta score that we gotta score that thank you it's about time we got 15 minutes now to score the winner oh man it feels like we've taken like 25 shots but shot number 26 goes in finally and it's probably the easiest of the chances into the top left hand corner all right the drought is over can we actually start finishing our chances now now it wouldn't be especially nice if we win this game now at Yemi into Matthew Rose oh man De Jong what kind of run was that and also what kind of touch was that from us we got two added minutes needs to be one there it is one into Matthew Rose we got a chance Matthew Rose to Fabio Silva. 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 No, get it back to us. Adiemi. Fabio Silva tries to get it to us. I didn't even call for it there. I didn't want it. Fabio, please win it. Okay, we got to press. Our only chance, it's going to get free. We're going to draw the final game. Okay, you know what? We tried our best there. We absolutely tried. We gave it everything. We scored. But final game for PSV, our final match in a PSV shirt is an end in a draw. Oh, man, it's kind of sad. Our time at PSV is officially over now. Oh, man, our final time in the PSV dressing room. I mean, it's an extremely sad moment. We look over to Adiemi and we're like, hey, bro, this is our final time playing together. And Adiemi means who knows in the future, maybe it's not the final time. But he's like, you got my number. If you ever want to hang out, let me know. And then our manager, Van Nistroy, comes over for the final time and tells us once again he's enjoyed coaching us so much and he thinks we're gonna become a very very special player and of course wishes us good luck now the media wants to talk to us for our like last press conference in the netherlands so our final press conference with psv first question is from espn and they ask us how do you feel about your loan spell here at psv and we're like our time was great teammates were great the coach was great we're sad about leaving but we're also excited for the future in our career going back to brentford and getting back to the premier league and last question is from sky sports and he says now that you've signed up for sports entertainment group and your agent is pede guardiola is there any chance we could see you playing under 
Pep Guardiola at Man City in the near future. I mean, that sounds like such a crazy step up to where we are right now. So we're like, hey, we're not thinking about that too much right now. We're just focused on getting back to Brentford, having a good offseason, you know, developing our skills in the offseason, and then taking things one thing at a time. So our final stats of PSV, 21 games played, 7 goals, and 14 assists. That's a very solid loan spell for an 18-year-old, like literally averaging a goal contribution every game almost. So what truly is the next step in Matthew Rose's career? Like, all right, this, this is it. Like literally everything is packed. Even Gary is packed in the van right now. We're about to fly back to London, move back into our basically brand new apartment in London and enter the next stage of our career, which our next stage heavily depends on if Brentford stayed in the Premier League, they didn't get relegated, which I know you're probably wondering, did Brentford get relegated? The position that Brentford finished in, in the Premier League table will be revealed in the next episode. So drop a like down below. If you want to see more, hit that sub button too. If you want to see me play Spider-Man on the channel, then click on screen. And as always, hope you have a great day.